Uh, TV man, bro, this ice cream is so delicious. I'm so happy to have a good hangout today. Yeah, dude, we're finally away from all of these girls. Oh my gosh, these girls are literally so annoying. Yeah, they sure, bro. They literally all have crushes on me. It's so crazy. Yeah, well, at least we get to relax today and just eat some ice cream. Yeah, at least we do. Uh, I really want some ice cream. Oh my gosh, wait a second, Speaker Man, is that you? Wait a second, are you kidding me? Black woman, what are you doing here? Oh my gosh, I came in to get some ice cream, but I saw you and I literally have the biggest crush on you. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it, bro. I thought we were going to escape all the girls today, TV man. Yeah, me too, but wait a second. Where are you even from, Clock Woman? I am from the Skibbity Toilet Multiverse. Wait a second, there's a multiverse? Uh, I didn't even know that. Well, lady, could you please move along because Speaker Man and I are just trying to have a relaxing day. No, he's going to go on a date with me. Now, Speaker Man, be a gentleman and buy me some ice cream. Wait, what? You want me to buy you ice cream? Yeah, I came here, but I forgot my wallet. Oh my gosh, honestly, Clock Woman, I really do not want to go to a date with you. I'm sorry. I'm hanging out with TV Man today. What? No, you just got to get to know me. We're going to go on an amazing date. Trust me. You know what, Speaker Man? I think you should just go on a date with her. I'm going to leave. Wait, what? You're leaving, bro? No. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah, get out of here, TV head dude. Well, Clock Woman, I guess we have to go on a date now. Yay, I'm so excited. I love dates. Now, to start off our date, please give me some ice cream. Okay, yeah, I guess I'll buy some ice cream. Well, little Timmy's not even here right now. So, here, let's just steal some birthday cake ice cream. And here you go, my lady. Wow, well, thank you so much, Speaker Man. Birthday cake is my favorite. How'd you know? Oh, uh, honestly, I just took whatever I had. Well, now that we have our ice cream, we can start our date. Now, let's go somewhere. Uh, all right, well, where are we going to go, Clock Woman? I think we should go and sit by the beach. By the beach? Oh, okay, yeah, that's not even a bad idea. Well, let's go. And here we are at the beach. This is going to be so romantic. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess it will be. Well, where do you want to sit? You want to sit right here on these chairs? Yep, and we can just talk and eat our ice cream. All right, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, Clock Woman, since we're on a day and I don't really know you that well, how about you tell me about yourself? Okay, yeah, I can do that. I am Clock Woman, and I am from the Metaverse. Yeah, I heard that. You literally said it inside of there. Oh, uh, well, let me tell you something else about me. I have a humongous crush on you, and I really want to kiss you. Bro, what? You want to kiss me? I literally barely even met you. Well, Speaker Man, you just got to get to know me. I'm a great girl. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I do. But I am not going to kiss you, okay? Uh, well, I'll get you to kiss me by the end of the day. Oh, uh, okay. That's kind of weird. But for now, how about you just ask some more questions about me? Oh, uh, okay. Well, Clock Woman, I have a super important question. Okay, what is it? You want to go somewhere else because I'm getting super duper hot here. My ice cream literally just melted. Oh, that's so sad. We can go somewhere else. Uh, okay, well, where do you want to go? I don't know, Speaker Man. You can lead the way. All right, well, here, follow me. And Clock Woman, we're at the park now, so I think we should have a swinging competition. Ooh, okay. I am totally going to beat you, though. Yeah, right. Oh, Clock Woman, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Let's go. All right, yeah, let's do this. Ready, set, go. And oh, my gosh, look at me. Oh. I'm literally swinging so high right now. Uh, I'm going to beat you. No, I'm going to beat you, Clock Woman. All right, wait a second. Whoa, what the heck? Are you all right? Ouch, Speaker Man, I fell for you. Bro, what? You fell for me? Are you serious? Yeah, literally, and I totally hurt my leg. Well, what do you want me to do about it? I don't know. You Maybe you can kiss it and make it feel better. Bro, what? I think you literally just did that so I can kiss you. You know what? You could just heal by yourself because I'm not going to kiss you. No, please. Just a little kiss on my leg. Nope, I'm sorry. Now, get up. I can't get up. I just fell off a swing set, Speaker Man. Oh, my goodness. Do I have to bring you to the hospital or something? Yeah, honestly. Honestly, it hurts super bad. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Well, here, let me pick you up. And now I'll bring you to the hospital. And clock woman, we made it to the hospital. So, hey there, doctor. This girl literally fell off the tippity top of the swing. And uh, I think she kind of broke her leg. Yeah, my leg really, really hurts. Okay, well, let's go to the back room and let's see what we can do for you. All right, yeah, let's do it. And clock woman, don't even think about it. I'm not going to kiss your leg to make you feel better. Okay, you can just kiss me instead. Bro, what? I'm not going to kiss you instead. Oh, my gosh, doctor. Come on, do something to this girl. She's so crazy. All right, let me see what's wrong with her. All right, yeah, you do that. Well, first, I'm gonna check her leg to see if anything's wrong. Yeah, and okay, it seems like it's broken. No, not my beautiful legs! Well, don't worry. It's not both your legs. It's only one of your legs. So, you're gonna need a wheelchair for that. What? Then how am I supposed to go on a date? Well, you can still go on the date. You're just gonna have to be in a wheelchair probably. Oh, uh, this is so horrible! Well, I'm Clock Woman. You probably shouldn't have fell for me. But I have a humongous crush on you, and I really want you to kiss me! Oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, I know that. It's not that hard, Speaker Man. Just kiss me! No, I'm not gonna kiss you, okay? All right, you guys argue outside. I take this wheelchair. Okay, Speaker Man, it's time to continue our date. This is not stopping our date. Bro, what? Are you serious? But you're literally in a wheelchair. Okay, and I can still move. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Now we are gonna go to the town hall. The town hall? What are we even gonna do there? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Well, Speaker Man, can you push me up the steps? Uh, okay, yeah, here you go. Oh my gosh, you're so handsome. Uh, bro, what? Are you serious? Well, Clock Woman, why are we even here? Well, push me up the stairs real quick and I will show you. All right, well, here, let me push you up, and I really wonder where it's going to be up here. All right, Speaker Man, turn right. 
right, and come in here. All right, uh, why are we going inside of the courtroom? Oh, hey there, clock woman. Uh, are you here to get married? Yes, we are here to get married. Wait a second, get married? All right, well, speaker man, what I need you to do is say that you will marry her. Dude, I'm not going to marry her. She's crazy. Come on, guys, I don't have all day. Now, speaker man, say you will marry her and kiss her. Bro, dude, I'm not going to say I marry her and I'm not going to kiss her. Come on, speaker man, do it. I have a humongous crush on you. Yeah, I know, and that's why I'm not even going to do it. Because you're one crazy girl. Did you just call me crazy? Uh, yeah, I did. I am not crazy. Now come over here and marry me right now. Wait a second, what the heck? You have a gun? Yeah, I do, and if you don't marry me or kiss me, I am going to use this gun on you. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Okay, uh, well, look, lock woman, I have something to tell you. Oh, what is it, honey bunny? Honey bunny, are you serious? Well, I just want to say I'm not going to marry you, and I'm not going to kiss you. Catch me if you can. Hey, get back. Here. Oh my gosh, guys, I gotta run from her. She's so crazy. Okay, I'm just gonna hide right here behind the sign and hopefully she doesn't find me. Oh, uh, guy, you can't even get down the stairs. Oh, yeah, wait a second. I forgot she's in a wheelchair. Okay, well, here goes nothing. Geronimo! Ouch! Oh my gosh, wait a second. No way. She just face planted on the ground. Oh, lady, are you all right? No, I am not all right. I need to get up and I need to get out of this courtroom. Okay, here, let me help you off. Well, thank you, sir. You're so kind. Now I have to go out. After my boyfriend. Wait, what boyfriend? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. She's literally right there. How did she not see me? Oh, speaker man, where are you? Oh my goodness, guys. Now is my chance to run. Wait a second, speaker man. Oh my gosh. What are you doing over there? Oh, uh, hey there, clock woman. Uh, I'm doing nothing. Well, honey, sweetie pie, come over here. Bro, I'm not your honey, sweetie pie. Uh, guys, this is so bad. She's literally chasing me right now. Oh, uh, speaker man, I'm so much faster. You're in this wheelchair. Wait a second. Yeah, she is. What the heck? She's literally better catch up. Oh, my gosh. Speaker man, I can smell you. I'm so close. Oh, no, no, no. This is bad. I gotta run. Oh, speaker man, I'm almost there. No, no, no. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Haha, <laughs> I got you, speaker man. Oh, my gosh. Why did you run me over with your wheelchair? Because I needed to stop you somehow. Now, come on. Our date is not over till our date's over. Bro, what? Are you serious? You're so crazy. Yep, I know. Now, come on. I'm gonna carry you now. Bro, what? You're gonna carry me? You're literally in a wheelchair. Yep, I hope you enjoy your time on the Clock Woman Express. Oh my gosh, where are we even going? We are going to Brooks Diner. I've got a rumble in my tummy. Oh my gosh, okay. And now we are here. All right, Clock Woman. Well, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna get some eats? Yep, we are gonna get some yummy, yummy food. Oh, hello there, guys. Hello, Mr. Richie. We are hungry and we would like some food. All right, I'll be bringing out a steak and a few. Okay, thank you, Mr. Richie. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening right now. Speaker Man, this is gonna be the best dinner ever and then we can kiss. Bro, what kiss? Are you serious? Lock woman, I'm sorry, but I told you I'm not gonna kiss you. Hugs, speaker man, you know what? I've had it up to here with you. All I want is just one kiss and then I will leave you alone forever. Well, sorry, clock woman, I'm not gonna kiss you. Uh, speaker man, you gotta kiss me. Come on, or else. Oh my gosh, can you please not put out the gun? Okay, okay. You know what, clock woman? Will you leave me alone if I kiss you? Yes, I will leave you alone forever. Wait a second, you'll actually leave me alone? Yep, if you kiss me, I get to go back to the multiverse. Oh my gosh, no way. Okay, guys. Honestly, I think I'm gonna kiss her because she is super duper crazy. <laughs> if I kiss her, she'll literally leave me alone. You know what? Black woman, I, I guess I'll kiss you. Yeah, I am so excited. Now come over here and give me a big smooch. Okay, ready, set, moi. Mwah. Uh, okay. Oh, and it looks like I'm going back to the Multiverse. Wait, what? Are you serious? Is that easy to get rid of her? No way. I wish I would have just kissed her before. Mr. Speaker Man, your steak is ready. And this will be $100. Wait a second. What? $100? It's such a relaxing day today. I'm just relaxing on my couch watching some pandas on the TV. Look, look at that panda. It is literally so cute. And it's pretty nice being alone by myself in this house. Because I just get to relax and I'm probably going to order some pizza also. Oh my gosh. Ding dong, Speaker Man. Are you home? Wait a second. Uh, who is at my door? Is that TV woman? Here, let me go see who's at the door. Uh, wait a second. Who are you? You're not TV woman. No, I am not TV woman. I'm microwave woman. Microwave woman? Uh, I've never seen you before. Oh, well, I just moved here, so that's probably why you haven't seen me before. You just moved here? Uh, well, welcome to the neighborhood. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. But what are you doing at my house? Well, I'm here to see you and get to know you. What? You're here to see me and get to know me? Uh, okay. Well, do you want to come inside or something? Yes, I would love to come inside. Uh, okay, okay. Well, here is my house, and you can walk upstairs, and uh, let's just sit on the couch or something. Wow, your house is amazing. Thing. Yeah, I know. It's pretty cool. I like this house a lot. So, my grave woman, how do you even get in Brookhaven? Well, I'm from the Skibbity Multiverse, and I took a portal here. Wait a second. You took a portal, and you ended up in Brookhaven? Yep, I sure did. Wow, okay. Uh, that's pretty cool. Well, have you met any of the other people in Brookhaven, like Camera Woman, Speaker Woman, or TV Woman? Uh, 
Uh, no, I've only met you so far. Uh, okay, well, how long have you even been here? Uh, like an hour. Wait a second, you've only been in Brookhaven for an hour? Yeah, is that Shane's speaker, man? Uh, yeah, that is pretty strange. You've been here for an hour and you only talk to me? That is pretty weird, but you know what? It's okay. Wow, speaker, man, your arms are so big. Wait a second, my arms are big? Uh, thank you. I actually work out a lot. If you saw at the front door, I literally have, like, a workout bench there. Oh, yeah, I did see that. Maybe we can work out together sometime. Uh, yeah, maybe we can work out together sometime. That would be, uh, pretty cool. And, oh, speaker man, your face is so handsome. Wait a second, my face is handsome? Uh, uh microwave woman, you're actually being pretty weird. Can you please sit down? No, I don't think I'm gonna sit down. I think I'm just gonna stare at you. Wait a second, you're gonna stare at me? Uh, okay. You are getting pretty weird, microwave woman. What? Me? Weird? No, I'm not weird. Uh, yes, you are pretty weird. What do you want from me? Well, speaker man, the only thing I want is your love. Hey, yo, what the heck? Are you saying that you have a crush on me? Yep, I sure do, and that's the only reason I came to Brookhaven. Okay, uh, you are super duper weird. Get out of my house. What? No, you invited me to your house. Nope, you have to get out of my house or I'm gonna call the cops on you. Get out right now. Ugh, speaker man, you're so rude. Yeah, whatever you say, you're so crazy. Uh, well, I'm gonna get you to love me. Yeah, whatever you say, don't come back to my house. Oh my gosh, that is literally so weird. That microwave woman really came to Brookhaven just to have a crush on me. And she was literally saying so much weird stuff to me. Oh my gosh. That is so disgusting. Well, thankfully she's gone. Oh, speaker man, I'm not gone. I'm gonna stay outside your house till you let me in. Wait a second, what the heck? You are not allowed to stay outside of my house. Uh, who says? I say, it's literally my house. Now you better get out of here. I'm gonna call the cops on you. Well, technically I'm not at your house. I'm on the road and this is public property. Oh my gosh, okay, I guess that's true. Well, I'm gonna go back to watching TV and I guess you can just sit out here. Okay, and I will wait for you to come outside so I can give you some love. Oh my gosh, this microwave lady is literally so weird. She's not leaving me alone. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna try to ignore her and now hopefully she does not come inside the house. So let's see, what shows are on? Family Life, Brookhaven Dental. Oh my gosh, all these shows literally suck. Oh, speaker man, I'm opening the door. Wait a second, you're opening the door? Yep, I opened the door and now we can work out together. Wait a second. What the heck? She literally broke into my house. Hey, lady, you're super duper crazy. Get out of here. But you said we could work out together. Yeah, I know I said that, but I said that before I knew that you were crazy. You literally have like a mega crush on me or something. You know what? I guess you can stay in my house if you want to, but I'm leaving. What? No, speaker man. Come back here. Nope, I'm leaving my house and you better not follow me. Oh my gosh, I have to get out of here. This microwave woman is literally so creepy. Well, I guess I'm just gonna go hide in Starbucks or something and hopefully she does not follow me here. And I made it to Starbucks and it doesn't seem like anyone's here right now. Timmy's probably on break. Well, I guess I'll just sit down right here and uh, hopefully that lady does not come here. Oh, hey there, speaker man. I found you. Wait a second, microwave lady. What are you doing at Starbucks? Did you just follow me here? Yeah, I sure did. And now we can go on a date. Wait a second. Go on a date? Uh, I did not come to Starbucks to go on a date. Well, clearly you did. Who drinks at Starbucks alone? Well, first off, I didn't even come here to get coffee. I came here to get away from and you. And second off, I did not come here for a date. Now, you are super duper weird. Oh, come on, speaker man. Just give me a chance. No, microwave woman. I'm not giving you a chance. You are super duper weird. Now, get out of Brookhaven. No, I'm gonna stay in Brookhaven and I'm gonna be with you. Yeah, whatever you say, I'm getting out of here. And I made it back home. Now I have to lock my doors fast because this microwave woman is literally chasing me. Oh, speaker man, you better let me inside. No, I'm not letting you inside. And you know what? I'm gonna put an extra lock on the door so you can't break in this time. Uh, you're so annoying. I am gonna find a way inside. Yeah, whatever you say, microwave woman, this girl literally has the craziest crush on me. But thankfully this time she won't be able to get inside of my house because I put two locks on the door. Well, luckily in my white van, I have a ladder. Wait a second, did I just hear that she had a ladder? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, hi. Man, I see you smile. Wait a second. Are you taking photos of me now? What the heck? I need to hide from this lady. This lady is literally so creepy. I literally forgot to lock the balcony door. Oh, no. Hopefully, microwave woman does not know that it's open. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you're so sweet of leaving the door open, speaker man. I knew you want me. Oh, my gosh. Give me away. Ugh, speaker man, stop being a baby and just accept that you love me. No, I don't love you, microwave woman. Now, get out of my house. This is super duper creepy. No, I am not leaving without your love. Wait a second. You have a gun. Uh, okay, okay. Put the gun down. Down. One kiss, that's all I ask, speaker man. Wait a second, one kiss, Evan, you'll leave my house forever? Yep, I will leave forever and ever. Uh, okay, microwave woman. Well, uh, I'll give you a kiss in a second. Just please put the gun away. You are super duper crazy. OMG, yay, I'm gonna get a kiss from you. Yep, uh, you sure are. Well, microwave woman, you have a big crush on me. Psych, I'm not gonna kiss you. Get away. Oh my gosh, no, come back. Here. Nope, I'm literally locking you inside of my own house. Take that. And now you're not even able to get out of my house. Ugh, speaker man, let me out. No, you are literally the craziest person I've ever met. You literally have the hugest crush on me ever. Now get out of here. I am gonna kiss you. Wait a second now. Get away from me. Ha uh ha -huh. You. Oh my gosh, you literally just tackled me. Yep, and now that you're on the ground, I can finally kiss you. What the heck? No, you're not kissing me. Speaker man, stop projecting it. You know it's gonna happen anyway. 
idiot. No, you're not going to kiss me. I'm literally running for my life. Uh, uh, I gotta get somewhere fast. I have to hide somewhere. Uh, okay, I'm going in the subway. Oh, subway. I love subway. Oh my gosh. Okay, get me on the subway. Hurry, start the train. Somebody. Haha, -ha, I made it on the train. Wait a second. You made it on the train. Oh my gosh. Hi, speaker man. Isn't this romantic? Our first kiss in the subway. Oh my gosh. This is not good. Now sit down. And let me kiss you. Wait, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Okay, are you ready for it, speaker man? No, I'm not ready for it. Get me off of this train. Oh, you're so annoying. Come back. Just one kiss and I'll be gone forever. Yeah, whatever you say. I'm never kissing you. You know what? I'm gonna use my speaker powers to send you back home. Wait a second. What? Ah! Oh, phew, I think she's gone. Microwave woman literally had the hugest crush on me. And it got pretty out of hand, but thankfully I sent her back to the Skibbity Multiverse. Guys, this party is so lit right now. Yeah, look at my dance moves. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, TV man, those are awesome dance moves. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, yours are also pretty good, TV woman. Aw, thank you, guys. Well, we've been dancing for a while now, guys, so do you want to play a game? Oh, yeah, I would love to play a game. Oh, well, sorry, guys. I actually can't. I gotta go. Wait, what, uh, TV woman? Why are you leaving? Wait a second, TV woman, get back here. We're supposed to be partying for the whole entire day. Dude, she's already gone. What the heck? That was the weirdest thing ever. She literally just got up and left. Yeah, I know, dude. That was super duper weird. I wonder why she left. There's literally nothing that she has to do. Yeah, there sure is. And she literally told us earlier today that we were gonna party all night, bro. Yeah, bro. Well, do you just want to go inside and play some games by ourselves or, like, dance or something? No, bro. I don't think we should do that. Honestly, I think that we should go follow her and we should go spot on her and figure out all of her secrets because I think she's hiding something from us. Wait, really? You think she's hiding something from us? Yeah, bro. I really think she is. No person would just stop partying mid-party. Yeah, that is pretty true, Speaker Man. Well, we can't let her see us because we need to find out all of her secrets. So let's just go to her house and sneak around. Yeah, we sure can't, bro. So you know what? I think we're gonna have to go to the disguise to get some disguises. And after that, we can figure out where she is and spy on her. All right, Speaker Man, that's a good idea. Let's go to the disguise store. Yeah, let's go, bro. And now we're at the store. And wait a second, uh, little Timmy, what are you doing here? Oh, hey, bro. Uh, I actually work at this job now. Wait, what? You got fired from the other job? Uh, no, I didn't get fired from the grocery store. I just work like 50 jobs now. Holy mackerel. Dude, that's insane. Yeah, I know it is. Well, uh, welcome into the store, guys. What do you guys need today? Well, Timmy, we're looking for a disguise. Uh, all right. What kind of disguise do you guys need? Literally, like, any disguise, little Timmy. Uh, okay. Well, do you guys want to be in, like, a unicorn onesie or some girl clothes? Or maybe you could dress as a turtle? Uh, TV man, what do you think? Dude, I think we should do girl clothes or something like that. Because we'll probably blend in. What? Girl clothes? Really? Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, little Timmy, I think we need some girl clothes. All right, boy. That sounds good. Well, uh, go over there to the girl's clothes, Evan. You can try some on. All right. Thanks a lot, little Timmy. And little Timmy, uh, I'll I'll take the unicorn ones. You're just gonna give me the girls' clothes? Dude, the unicorn ones, he is a girl clothes. Oh my gosh, bro. All right, well, here, let me put on some girls' clothes real fast. And what the heck am I wearing? What even is this? Well, Speaker Man, you're looking really fancy. Dude, I cannot believe that girls wear these clothes. This is so weird. Well, we have to find out TV Woman's secrets. So you just have to dress up like that, bro. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, let me just put my onesie on. And there we go. Now I'm a unicorn. Your outfit is better than mine. Well, little Timmy, I guess we're ready to purchase these outfits. Well, guys, it's actually my birthday on the job today. And it says I can give someone a discount if I really want to. So you know what? I'm going to give you guys a discount. Everything is free. No, wait, really? Well, Timmy, thanks a lot, bud. Yeah, no problem, bro. Well, All right, wish you guys the best luck figuring out TV Woman's secret. Thanks a lot, bro. So, TV Man, let's go head over to her house so we can start spying on her. And hopefully we can figure out all of her secrets. Yeah, let's go. And, bro, now we're at her house. And wait a second. What is she doing right there? She's on the couch. And wait. Do you see what she's drinking, bro? Bro, are you serious? She literally left the party to drink a Frappuccino at home watching a pig on a TV. Well, bro, let's just spawn her and see what she does next. Oh my gosh, this frappuccino is so good, and that piggy is so cute, but my stomach is really starting to hurt. Uh oh I gotta go to the bathroom. Wait a second, bro. Why did she just run upstairs? Oh no, I think she's going to the bathroom. <laughs> Uh, bro, did you just hear that? Yeah, I think she really had to go to the bathroom or something. But I wonder why. Yeah, me too, bro. Well, wait a second. She was drinking a frappuccino. Oh my gosh, I think I'm lactose intolerant. Wait a second. What did she just say? She said she's lactose intolerant. What does that mean? Uh, dude, I'm pretty sure that means when you drink milk, you really have to go take a massive poop. What? Are you serious, speaker man? Yeah, bro, I'm actually totally serious. Well, why did she come home and decide to drink a frappuccino just so she could go to the bathroom? Bro, honestly, I have no idea, but at least we figured out one secret that she has. But I'm still thinking that she has a lot more. Yeah, I think that too. So let's try to figure out all of Well, them. Speaker Man, we can't really see much from this window. So how about we sneak inside? Bro, what? You want to sneak inside of here? Yeah, I mean, she's in the bathroom right now. So let's go. Come on. We don't have much time. Yeah, bro. That's true. Wait a second. What? We can literally just walk inside of her door. Oh, man. Her door isn't even locked. Okay, bro. Here, let's just sneak into her bedroom real fast and perfect. Now we can spot on her even better. And hopefully we can figure out more secrets about her. Yeah, hopefully we can, bro. And hopefully she gets out of that bathroom soon. Yeah, hopefully she does. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad that thing 
is all over. But now we have to go meet up with a secret boy. Wait a second. Did you just hear it, bro? A secret boy? Are you serious? Okay, speaker man. That just really got me angry, bro. A secret boy? What is she going to do with that secret boy? She better not be going on a date. Yeah, bro. But there's only one way to find out. We have to go follow her. <sighs> all right, bro. Well, I'll try not to get angry, but I might actually get really angry. Yeah, bro. I'm sorry. Well, here. Let's sneak outside real fast. And let's see if the coast is clearing, bro. Okay, it is. Well, we're going to have to round there and hopefully she hasn't left yet because we're going to have to follow her car. So let's go outside and let's see. Wait a second, bro. She's driving away right now. All right, perfect. We need to follow her car. Yeah, we sure do. Look, she's going this way. Oh my gosh. I wonder where she's going. Yeah, me too. Hopefully she's not going to Brooks Diner. I can't wait to go to Brooks Diner to go on this date. Wait a second. Did you just hear that? Oh my gosh. She's going on a date with somebody. Bro, I feel so bad for you. I'm sorry that she's cheating on you. And she's also going to Brooks Diner. Oh my gosh. But we still have to spy on her because we have to figure out more stuff that she's hiding from us. Yeah, bro. We have to figure out all of her secrets. So let's go to Brooks Diner. And bro, now we're at Brooks Diner. So let's go spy on her. Speaker man, honestly, I don't want to spy on her for this one. Because I do not want to see her cheating on me. Bro, what? Are you kidding me? But you're literally my right-hand man. Well, Speaker man, I don't want to see my girlfriend sitting with some random person. She's literally my girlfriend, bro. That's really going to hurt my feelings. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess it will, bro. All right. Well, you can go somewhere else, but I'm still going to spy on her. All right. I'll just be waiting at the pool then. Come out whenever you're done. All right, bro. I'll let you know. Well, guys, now let's go over here and let's go see. Wait a second. Is that Skibbity Toilet? And wait, what? TV Woman? No way. TV Woman's cheating on TV Man. It was Skibbity Toilet. Oh, hey there, Skibbity Toilet. You're looking really nice today. Oh, you're looking really nice also, TV Woman. Well, I'm so happy that you decided to go on this date with me. We are going to have so much fun. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is happening. Yeah, I can't wait to do that thing later today. Wait a second. What thing are they talking about? Oh, this is really, really suspicious. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait for it to happen. Well, Skibbity Toilet, now that we planned that thing for later today, I'm going to go back home. Wait a second. You don't want to eat any food? Oh, uh, no. I'm going to go home and prepare for the thing that's happening later today. Oh, uh, okay, TV Woman. Well, uh, good luck. Wow, she is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh, guys. I cannot believe that just happened. She's going home right now. Oh, my gosh. She's right there. And phew, she passed me. Okay. As I was saying, I cannot believe that just happened. I really wonder where the thing is later today. Uh, hey, there's Skibbity Toilet. Uh, Speaker Man, what are you doing? And why are you dressed as a girl? For no reason, okay? Oh, okay, Speaker Man. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, wait, what the heck? Okay, guys, that was kind of weird. Why did he just laugh like that? All right, whatever. Well, I'm going to head over to the pool so I can tell TV Man about what just happened. And then we're going to go back to finding secrets about her. So, hey, TV Man, bro, I have an update for you. Oh, what happened, Speaker Man? Tell me, bro. So, dude, when I was following them, Skibbity Toilet and TV Woman said they're going to be doing something later today. What? It was Skibbity Toilet? And they're going to be doing something later today? Oh, my gosh, what could they be doing? That sounds so sus. Yeah, dude, it sure does sound sus. Well, I guess we're just going to have to wait to find out. But in the meantime, bro, let's go back to TV Woman's house so we can figure out more of her secrets. Yeah, that's a good idea, Speaker Man. Let's go. And bro, we're back in her house. Yeah, so let's just go up to this window and spy on her and see what she's talking about. The first thing I gotta do to prepare for the big thing today, I gotta go gun shopping. Wait a second. She has to go gun shopping? What big thing are they preparing for? Dude, I have no idea. But that is even more suspicious than wait a second, bro. She's leaving right now. Quick, hide in the trees. Okay, phew, I don't think she saw us. Yeah, me neither, bro, but wait a second. We gotta go follow her to the gun store. Yeah, quick, let's follow her. And bro, look, she's walking inside right now. Oh my gosh, this is so bad, dude. I really wonder why she's purchasing this gun. Yeah, me too. You know what, Speaker Man? I'm fed up with this. I'm going to go confront her. Whoa, wait. No, 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 bro. You cannot confront her. We still have to figure out all of her secrets and what the big thing is happening later today. Oh, okay, Speaker Man. Well, let's just see what she's doing up here. All right, yeah, bro. Let's see. Hello. I would like one gun, please. All righty. What kind of gun do you want? Uh, I was thinking maybe a shotgun. Oh, uh, a shotgun? Are you serious? A shotgun? What the heck? What could she be using this for? I have no idea, bro. All righty. One shotgun. Come right up. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Telecom Man. You know, my gosh, bro. She's coming down. Quick, hide. Hurry, get out of your speaker, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I cannot wait to use this bad boy. Bro, did you just hear that? She just said she cannot wait to use this bad boy. Oh, no, no. We have to watch out. She's going to see us. If you, I don't think she did, bro. Oh, wait a second, bro. Where is she going? I have no idea, bro. Here, let's follow her. Oh, my gosh. She's literally running all over the place. And I think she's teaming up with Skibbity Toilet to do something really bad later, bro. Yeah, bro. I think that, too. Well, bro, her car's right here, so that must mean she's back here in this alleyway. Yeah, she probably is, but, bro, we can't go back there because she's going to see us. So let's just sit right here and see what she's talking about. Yeah, bro. Good idea. Hello. Are you the person I buy the tank from? Yep, I sure am. All right, perfect. I would like one of your strongest tanks that you have. Wait a second, bro. Do you hear her? Is she buying a tank right now? Why does she need a tank? This is really suspicious, dude. All right, it's going to be $1 million. Ooh, that is a little pricey, but luckily I have the money. Wait, what the heck?
Like, how she have the money? I don't even know, dude. I think it's like Skibbity Toilet's money or something. Yeah, it probably is, bro. All right, perfect. Here are the keys to the tank, and you can pick it up at the car dealership. All right, thank you so much. Hey, bro, she's coming around fast. Hide. Oh, my gosh, bro. How did she see us? And look, oh, my gosh. Okay, thankfully, she did not see us. Yeah, thankfully, she didn't. Well, bro, that was literally like five secrets we've already just found out. Yeah, bro, and they're all adding up to something. This is really suspicious. At first, she was drinking a Frappuccino on a couch, and she was lactose intolerant. And then we figured out that she went on a date with Skibbity Toilet. And then she bought a gun, and now she bought a tank. Yeah, bro, they also said that something's gonna happen later today. And I'm assuming that it involves the guns and the tanks. Yeah, bro, me too. Well, let's just keep following her and investigating. And then when the time comes, we're gonna have to stop her shenanigans. Yeah, we're gonna have to, bro. Let's go. And it seems like she's at the car dealership. Okay, quiet down. All right, bro. Well, let's see. Wait a second. The tank is right there, and there she is. And perfect. I have the last piece to my puzzle. Time to initiate the plan. Wait a second. You just hear her, bro? She's initiating the plan here, hi. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that she's in the tank right now. Yeah, and where is she going? Oh, no. She said she's initiating the plan. Yeah, and wait a second, bro. She's going towards our houses. Oh, my goodness, bro. This is bad. Yeah, dude, it sure is here. Let's go see her car real fast and let's follow her. Hopefully, my house isn't going to get harmed. Wait a second. We're stealing her car? Yes, bro. It doesn't matter. Let's go. Hey, bro, look. Wait a second. Why is she outside of my house? Oh, no, bro. And she literally just went inside. Dude, this is so weird. What is she doing inside of there? I don't even know, bro. And why do you have your door unlocked? She literally just walked inside. Bro, honestly, I don't even know. I swear I always lock it. Wait a second, bro. What if she's meeting up with Skibbity Toilet at my house? Uh, bro, why would Skibbity Toilet be inside your house? That literally makes no sense. Oh, hey there, TV woman. Oh, hey, Skibbity. It's so great to see you. Wait a second, bro. bro. Did you just hear that? I'm pretty sure Skibbity Toilet's inside my house. Bro, how did he even get inside your house? Dude, I don't even know. I think he, like, broke the lock in my door or something. All right, well, quick, let's get inside and let's go spy on that. Yeah, bro, that's a good idea. Well, TV woman, are you ready to initiate the plan of destroying Toilet City? Yep, I'm so ready. Let's do it. Dude, oh my gosh. Even, man, we have to stop her right now. Yeah, bro, they said that they're gonna destroy Toilet City. This has been her secret all along. Yeah, bro, this is literally her final secret. There are literally, like, seven secrets we found. Oh my gosh. Well, bro, you go inside the room and confront them. And I'll stand out the door to make sure they don't escape. All right, bro, yeah, you do that. So I'm just gonna walk up and, hey, guys, what are you doing inside my house? Oh, hey there, speaker man. We were just in your house to say one last goodbye to it because we were gonna explode it with a tank. Huh? What? Are you kidding me? No, we're not kidding you. We have a tank outside of your house. Yeah, I saw. I cannot believe this is happening. You know what? I literally came here to stop you guys. Uh, speaker man, you don't have a gun or anything. How are you gonna stop us? Well, it doesn't seem like that you guys have a tank anymore. Wait a second. Who just said that? Was that TV man? No way. I'm pretty sure TV man just stole your guys' tank. Oh my gosh, my precious tank. Haha, uh -huh, see ya. Oh my gosh, no, our tank come back. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that that just happened. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, how did you know about our plan? Because we were spying on TV One all day to figure out all of her secrets. And we figured out that you guys were planning something. We also figured out that she was lactose intolerant. What? No one is supposed to know my biggest secret. Wait a second, you're lactose intolerant. Are you serious? You can't even drink milk without pooping yourself. Hey, no, stop being so mean. Ha 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 I'm done. I'm not gonna take over Toilet City with you. Wait a second, you're not gonna take over Toilet City? Hey, get back here, wait a second. We need to take over Toilet City! Oh my gosh, guys. That was so insane. We figured out all seven of TV ones. Uh, good morning, world. Today is going to be such an amazing day. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and now it's time to get some breakfast because I'm super duper hungry. And I also get to relax all day. Oh, hey, TV woman. Oh, hey, TV man. Can we talk? Uh, can we talk? Uh, yeah, sure. You can tell me anything. What's wrong? Well, TV man, I've been really fed up with you, and you haven't been giving me enough attention. Oh, TV woman, I'm sorry about that. I've just been really busy recently. Yeah, I understand, but I'm sorry. I'm breaking up with you. Wait a second, TV woman. You're breaking up with me? Yep, that's correct. And I have to go now. Bye. Wait, TV woman, where are you going? No, hey, get back here. No, TV woman. Oh my gosh, my girlfriend just left me. Yeah. TV woman literally just broke up with you because I wasn't giving her enough attention. Are you serious? I thought today was just gonna be a relaxing day where I just get to eat breakfast and relax and watch TV. But now TV woman just broke up with me. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess that's what I get for not giving her attention. Well, now it's time to just watch TV by myself. Well, let's see. What's on the TV today? So, it seems like there's a dentist show. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to watch that. And there's Survivor. That show's pretty good, but I don't really want to watch that either. Oh, my gosh. Rosie's Gym. Are you serious? Oh, I just really need the perfect show to take my mind off of this whole entire girlfriend thing. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the dating show. Wait a second. The dating show? Uh, what is this? One lucky man will be going on five dates with five different girls. Wait a second. Five dates with five different girls? This sounds amazing. Hold on. Let me watch this. And we need one lucky man to find his true love. So come on down to the game show. Wait a second. Come on down to the game show. Oh my 
gosh. I could be a contestant on this game show and I could get a new girlfriend. This is literally the most perfect thing that has ever happened in my whole entire life. But uh, where is the game show? Oh my gosh, I should have put directions on the screen or something. Uh, let me look around. Okay, well, the hospital's over here. And the police station is right here, but I don't really see a game show. Wait a second. What are those lights in the air? Oh my gosh. Guys, I think the game show is right over there. So let me head on down and I'm going to become the contestant. And I can get a new girlfriend. And I've arrived at the game show. Oh my gosh, this is literally the thing I saw on TV. Oh, uh, hey there, Mr. Man. I am here to see if I can be a contestant for your show. Oh, hey there. What is your name, buddy? Oh, my name? Uh, my name is TV Man. Wow, world, this guy's name is TV Man. Everyone welcome him to the show. Wait a second, are we recording right now? Yes, dude, we're literally live right now to 10 million people. What? 10 million people? Oh, uh, hey, guys. Well, this is a 5 versus 1 game show. And there are going to be five beautiful women coming down the stairs any second now. And you're going to have to go on dates with all of them. And after you finish all the dates, you're going to have to choose one of them to be your girlfriend. Oh, uh, all right, Mr. Man, that sounds amazing. I literally just broke up with my girlfriend this morning, so uh, I really need a new girlfriend. And hopefully she is not watching this show right now. Well, she is watching this show. You lost out on a lucky man. Yeah, she sure did, dude. Well, guys, let's bring down the first contestant. Hi, everyone. I'm Speaker Woman, and I'm looking for my true love. Uh, Speaker Woman, what are you doing here? Wait a second. You guys know each other? Oh, uh, yeah, we know each other. I did not expect her to be here. I thought you were dating Speaker Man. Shh, be quiet, TV Man. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Whoa, guys, this is awkward. I did not expect you guys to know each other. Well, anyways, let's go on the first date. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, let's go on the first date then. And now we are at the first date. Los Pachos Taco Shop. Well, oh my gosh. It smells like poop inside of here. Dude, it does not smell like poop. Just wait until you see the food. Uh, I don't really like tacos. Yeah, me neither. But uh, I guess we're already here, so we just have to stay. All right, guys. Well, you chatter up while I get your food prepared. Uh, all right, Mr. Man. Thank you so much. Well, Speaker Woman, what are you doing here? You're literally cheating on Speaker Man. Yeah, I know, but I was using Speaker Man just for his money. Wait a second. You were using Speaker Man just for his money? Are you serious? Do you know what you're doing right now? There are literally 10 million people watching this show. Speaker Man could probably be watching this right now. And if he sees you cheating, he's going to be so mad at me, and he's going to be so mad at you. Yeah, I know, but I don't think he watches TV. Oh, okay, Speaker Woman. Well, let's hope he's not watching. And here is your Lost Ponchos Tacos, guys. Make sure to enjoy and eat it all the way up. Uh, all right. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. This light is so bright, dude. I know, right? He's literally blinding us. Yeah, guys, I'm sorry. Well, make sure to eat your tacos now. All right, well, let's eat our tacos. Well, guys, how's your day going so far? Uh, I would say it's going pretty good. But there is definitely some interesting stuff happening. Let me tell you, mister. All right, what is happening? Are you guys falling in love? Are we falling in love? Uh, no, probably the opposite. What? Really, dude? Uh, spill the beans. Well, you see, speaker woman right here is cheating on her boyfriend, and she's using it for money. Wait, what the heck? You're a gold digger? What? TV man, you weren't supposed to tell him. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, I'm sorry about that speaker woman, but I do not feel like that's right. Because speaker man is literally my best friend. Yeah, that is not right. And speaker woman, what if I told you that we had speaker man on the line right now? And he really wants to talk with you. Wait a second. You have speaker man on the phone right now? Yes, sir. We do. Oh, no. I don't want to talk to him. Well, too bad. Speaker man, I'm here with your ex-girlfriend. I just want to say that we're done. And I'm never, ever buying you anything ever again. Oh, my gosh. This is crazy. Easy. All right, well, I'm fine with that. I already got enough from you. Wait a second. You already got enough from Speaker Man? Oh, my gosh, Speaker Woman is a gold digger. Well, it seems like she's never, ever going to get a boyfriend ever again. Because she just got exposed for being a gold digger live in front of 10 million people. Yeah, she sure did. And she just got exposed for cheating on her boyfriend. So, boys, never date her in your life. Whoa, that was only the first day out of five. So, let's head back to the game show. And hopefully, you can find your true love soon. Yeah, hopefully, I can, Mr. Man. And guys, that day was super duper crazy. Crazy. I did not expect her to be Speaker Woman, and I did not expect her to be cheating on her boyfriend. And she was also a gold digger. Like, what the heck was that? Well, hopefully this next date will be way better than that first one. Whoa, TV man, your first date did not go good. So hopefully your second date will be better. Let's bring out the second girl. Hi, oh my gosh, I heard that TV man was on here, and I had to join the show. Wait a second, crazy fat girl, uh, get away from me. Oh my gosh, TV man, you remember me. Yes, I remember you, crazy fat girl. I haven't seen you in ages. Oh my gosh, this is going to be the worst date ever. Wait a second. Uh, you guys have a pass? Yes, I am. It's crazy fangirl. Oh, all right. Well, this is going to be very interesting. Yeah, it sure is. She literally never gets away from me. Oh, my gosh. Crazy fangirl, please get away. No, I'm not going to get 
right away. We're gonna go on such a romantic date. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. Well, let's just get this done with. All right, guys. Let's go to the next location. And guys, we're at the next date. We are on a beach and I set up a cozy campfire and brought you guys some drinks to make this date super duper romantic. Oh, yay. I love the beach. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I'm going on a romantic date with Crazy Fangirl. Well, Crazy Fangirl, let's go ahead and let's sit down. Come on. Well, Mr. Man, what do we have to do on this date? Because I just want this date to be over with already. Well, you guys gotta get to know each other. And after the date, maybe your crazy fangirl will be your new girlfriend. Well, Mr. Man, uh, she literally knows everything about me. Because she is my crazy fangirl. She literally, like, stalks me. She studies me. She does everything that I do. Huh, very interesting. Well, I think you guys should just kiss. You know what, Mr. Game Show host? I think we should, too. Wait, no, I'm not kissing you. Hey! That is literally the worst idea you've ever had, Mr. Man. I'm sorry, but it has to be done. All right, TV Man, stand still. No, I'm not standing still. Get me out of here. Hey, TV Man, where are you going? We're on live TV. Yeah. I'm running away, and I'm never coming back to your game show, dude. This is disgusting. Bro, are you serious? You can't leave the game show. We still have three more days to go. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. Well, I do not want to be on this crazy fangirl date anymore, dude. So let's just go back to the game show, and let's just go on the next date. Uh, all right, dude. Yeah, we can go. It's sorry, crazy fangirl. It does not seem like TV Man wants to be your boyfriend. Uh, this is the worst day ever. Whatever, crazy fangirl. You're just going to stalk me later anyway. Well, TV Man, that date did not go well. So let's see if you can find true love on these next three dates. And if you don't find true love, you're gonna be lonely for the rest of your life. All right, Mr. Man, well, hopefully I can fall in love with one of these next three dates. Yeah, hopefully you can. Let's go back to the game show. And guys, we were back in the game show. If you think TV Man's gonna get a girlfriend, make sure to comment it down below. And speaking about girlfriends, let's bring out the next girl. All right, well, hopefully it's not someone crazy this time. Hello, I am Crazy Cat Lady, and I'm here to find love. Oh. Oh, no. The crazy cat lady. Uh, hey, crazy cat lady. Oh, hey, TV man. Well, this is your third date. It already seems like you guys know each other. Yes, he brought one of my kitties with his friend. Oh, uh, yeah. I did buy one of her kitties with my friend. And the kitty was absolutely disgusting. And I also really hate cats, so uh, I do not know how this date's gonna go. What? You don't like kitty cats? Uh, no, I don't like kitty cats. I'm sorry, crazy cat lady, but you know what? Maybe I can get past it. Uh, I don't know. All right, guys. Well, let's head to the next location. All right, uh, let's just go. And guys, we're on the third day. And for this day, you guys are gonna go to the movies. Yay, I'm so excited for this day. TV Man is so hot and muscular. Oh my gosh, this old lady is so creepy. Well, guys, come inside the movie theater. All right, well, I'm actually pretty excited to watch a movie. So let's see what movie is on today. And wait a second, is this Survivor? Oh my gosh. I can literally just go watch Survivor on my TV at home. Oh, you guys didn't choose the movie Cats? That's my favorite movie. What, your favorite movie is Cats? Are you serious? That's absolutely like the worst movie ever, Cat Lady. Hey, TV Man, don't disrespect the movie Cats. It's a beautiful movie. Uh, all right, old lady, whatever you say. But I'm pretty sure it got a one-star rating on Rotten Potatoes. Well, TV Man, how often do you go to the gym? Because you're really muscular. Oh, uh, I go to the gym every single day, Cat Lady. And, and you are being really creepy. Could you uh, please get off of me? And guys, what is happening right now? This Cat Lady is very creepy. Oh, TV Man, I can't wait for you to be my boyfriend. Uh, crazy Cat Lady, I do not know if I'm going to be your boyfriend. But let's just see how this day goes. Okay, can you please stop touching me? Yes, yes, of course I can. All right, thank you. Well, TV man, I think this old lady right here really needs a kiss. So how about you guys kiss each other? What? You want me to kiss her? Oh, I would love a kiss, and so would all my kitty cats. Oh my gosh, dude, why do you tell all these people to kiss me? Yeah. Like, I know you just want a good clip for your show, but that's so disgusting. This is literally our first day, and it's literally with the old crazy cat lady. Well, I'm sorry, that's what the viewers want. Well, I don't care what the viewers want, dude. I'm not kissing this lady. Oh, come on, TV man, it will be so romantic. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm not kissing that old crazy cat lady. I am getting out of here. This is so disgusting. Hey, get back here, TV man. You are my true love. Oh no, I gotta get out of here. I have to run back to the game show right now. That day was literally so horrible. And we're back in the game show. So, TV man, what would you rate that day 1 out of 10? Oh, uh, I would definitely rate that date a 0 out of 10. That was literally the worst date I've ever been on in my whole entire life, dude. And all of these dates on this game show have been so bad so far. I do not think I'm gonna find a girlfriend. Well, your dates would have gone better if you decided kiss the contestants. Dude, why do you want me to kiss these people so bad? Oh my gosh, you're literally so weird. It's literally just our first date. Uh, dude, it's not me. It's the viewers. Uh, whatever. Well, you have two more dates to go, so hopefully you can find some true love. Yeah, hopefully I can. My name is Skibbity Toilet, and I'm here to destroy Toilet City. Uh, I mean, find true love. And here is your next contestant. Uh, I don't remember bringing this guy here. Uh, Skibbity Toilet, what are you doing at a dating show, dude? Well, uh, I'm here to find true love, obviously. But this is super duper weird, Skibbity Toilet. You do not want to date me, dude. 
Uh, no, I don't want to date you. I want to kidnap you and kill you. Uh, no, I mean, I want to date you. Oh my gosh, Skibbity Toilet, you're so weird. Well, guys, it seems like we still have to go on this date, so let's go. Oh my gosh, this is about to get weird. And guys, welcome to Starbrook. Oh man, this place is so beautiful. I can't wait to have some coffee and kill TV Man. Skibbity Toilet, you are literally so weird, bro. Okay, just grab your coffee and sit down. All right, TV Man. Well, now we're on this romantic date. So the first question I want to ask you is, where do you live? Oh, uh, where do I live, Skibbity Toilet? Why do you want to know where I live? So I can come to your house and kill you, of course. Uh, Skibbity Toilet, this is not a show about killing people. This is a show about finding true love. Yeah, Skibbity Toilet, why are you even on the show? Well, I knew that you were going to be here, so I decided to go on the show. And what? then I was going to figure out all of your personal information, and then I was going to show up to your house, and then I was going to kidnap you, and then I was going to do a lot of bad stuff to you. And then after all of that, I was going to destroy all of Toilet City. Uh, Skibbity Toilet, you know you literally just gave your whole entire plan to 10 million people. Yep, you sure did. Wait a second, this is live? Uh, yes, this is live, Skibbity Toilet. There are literally 10 million people watching right now. Oh, no, this is not good. Well, uh, I'm sorry to everybody that just heard me say that. I did not mean any of it. It was just a joke. Now, to all the policemen watching this show right now, please do not show up to my house and arrest me. And I really gotta go now. Bye-bye. What? Dude, we're literally midday. Why are you leaving? Oh, it's okay, Mr. Game Show host. He didn't even want to find true love anyways, and I did not want to be his boyfriend. Well, it seems like I only have one more date left, and all these dates have been so bad so far, Mr. Game Show Man. Well, we have one more contestant, so hopefully we can find some true love. Yeah, hopefully I can. Man. Well, let's go back to the game show. Yeah, let's go. So, TV Man, how long have your dates been going so far? Well, my dates have all been super horrible, Mr. Man. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, well, if this last date isn't good, then it seems like I'll just be lonely for the rest of my life, like you've been saying this whole entire time. Yeah, so hopefully you find a true love on this last date. Well, may the final last contestant come out right now. Hi, everyone. I'm Camera Woman. Wait a second, Camera Woman? Wait a second, TV Man. Is that you? Yes, it's me, Camera Woman. What are you doing here? Please tell me you're not cheating on your boyfriend like Speaker Woman was doing earlier. What? No, why would I ever do that? Me and Cameraman have been broken up for ages. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, that is very relieving to hear. So it seems like I could finally have a normal date for once because my dates have been going so bad so far, Camera Woman. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, hopefully we can find true love. Whoa, this date's already off to a good start. Well, guys, let's go head over to the final date location. All right, let's go. And guys, welcome to the final location. I've rented out this $10 million mega yacht to help you guys find your true love. Whoa, uh, this is pretty cool, Mr. Man. Yeah, I agree. This yacht is amazing. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Well, camera woman, we're on this yacht now, so uh, let's start our date. All right, let's go ahead and take a seat on the couch. Whoa, guys, how do you know each other? Well, camera woman used to date cameraman, and cameraman is my very good friend. And I've known camera woman for a while now also. But they have sadly broken up, so it seems like I have a chance at camera woman. Yeah, and I've known TV man for a whole entire year. Wow, guys, this is a match made in heaven. And honestly, it sounds like true love. Yeah, this date is going pretty good so far. It's definitely been going the best out of all these other dates. Well, camera woman, let's go head to the front of the yacht because it's really relaxing over there. Okay, that sounds like so much fun. Whoa, guys, this is so relaxing and romantic. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Yeah, it's even nicer because you're here. Oh, is this love I'm sensing? Oh, thank you so much, camera woman. And it's also very nice because you're here as well. Well, TV man, should we kiss? Should we kiss? Um... Come on, dude, kiss the viewers want to see it. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, uh, let's kiss. Mwah. Yes, TV man finally kissed someone. Wow, camera woman, that was really awesome. Yeah, it sure was. Whoa, TV man, does that mean that you found true love? Well, this date has been very amazing. So, uh, yeah, it seems... Uh, good morning, world. Today is gonna be such an amazing day, and hopefully it's gonna be better than yesterday, because yesterday, I literally ended up in jail with camera woman's sister, and she was super crazy, so today, I'm just gonna sit down and relax, and let's see what's on TV today. So, we have the airplane show, and let's see family life? Huh, I wonder what this is. Do you wanna start a family and get a girlfriend? Well, this is the perfect show for you. We're looking for new game show contestants, so head on down to your local mail station and submit an application. Wait a second. Did they just say I can find a girlfriend if I go to the mail station and submit an application? No way. That sounds like an awesome idea. So you know what? I'm gonna head there right now and I'm gonna go submit an application. Hopefully I can find a girlfriend. And now I'm at the mail station. Wait a second. Are you the guy that I just heard on the TV? I sure am. Hello there, speaker man. Wait a second. Uh, how do you know my name? Because I have cameras watching you 24-7. Wait, what the heck you do? Yup, I sure do. Well, are you here to be in the girlfriend game show? Uh, yeah, I am because I really need a girlfriend. All right, perfect. Follow me, speaker man. Uh, okay, 
name, mister? And welcome to the game show. So, speaker man, I have picked out five amazing women, and you're going to go on a date with every single one of them. And whichever woman you like the most gets to be your girlfriend. No way, this sounds awesome. Well, let me go ahead and say the intro to the game show. Okay, <laughs> give me a second. Uh, all right, mister. Hello there, everyone. Welcome to 5 vs. 1 Game Show. I'm your host, Billy Bob, and today we have speaker man here. Oh, uh, hey, guys. Hopefully, I can find a girlfriend today. Yep, hopefully you can, speaker man. Well, I've selected five beautiful women for him to go on a date with. And whichever one he loves the most gets to be his girlfriend. Whoa. So may the first contestant come down the stairs. My name is TV Woman, and I'm here to find true love. Wait a second, uh, TV Woman. What are you doing here? Here is your first contestant, TV Woman. Wait a second, Speaker Man. I didn't know it was going to be you. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be you either. What are you even doing here? Like I said, I'm here to find my true love. Uh, all right, but don't you have a boyfriend? Speaker Man, 10 million people are literally watching. I'll explain when we get to the date. Uh, all right, TV Woman. All right, this is your first date, Speaker Man. So let's head down to the Brook Diner so you can find your true love. All right, yeah, let's go. All right, guys, we're at the Brook Diner now. Now the cameras are going to be rolling in three, two, one, and action. All right, guys, we're heading to Brook Diner right now. And TV Woman, you can have a seat right here. Okay, thank you, Speaker Man. Yeah, no problem. Oh, Speaker Man, you're such a gentleman. Well, guys, you get to talking, and I'm going to get the food ready, all right? All right, mister, thank you so much. And TV Woman, why are you even here? I thought you were dating TV Man. Well, I am dating TV Man, but things aren't going too well. They aren't going too well? Why? Because he has these stinky, stinky farts, and I can't even stand it. Wait, what, really? Because he farts too much? Yes, they're so vile and gross. Well, you shouldn't be cheating on him. Why are you even going on the show? So I can find true love, but I didn't expect it to be you, Speaker Man. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be you either. All right, guys, I'm back with your food. So here is your amazing steaks. Mmm, this looks delicious. Uh, thank you a lot. Yup, no problem. Well, I'm gonna stand here creepy with the camera. Because remember, we are broadcasting this date to 10 million people. Wow, that sure is quite a lot of people. Yeah, it sure is, and hopefully TV Man isn't watching this. Wait a second, did you just say TV Man? Uh, TV Woman, do you have something to tell all the viewers at home? Uh, no, I don't even know who TV Man is. Come on, TV Woman. You're literally dating him, man. Do you want to tell the world why you're here? Well, TV Man was my boyfriend, but he has the nastiest farts in the whole world, so I came to find somebody who doesn't fart that bad. So it seems like you're cheating, TV Woman. Uh, not really. Hey, TV Man, if you're watching this show right now, make sure to give this woman a call, because it seems like she is cheating on you. Oh, uh, guys, honestly, I don't think this relationship is gonna work out, because she's literally a cheater. Oh, burn. Yeah, well, I don't even like you anyway, Speaker Man. I'm leaving. Oh, burn two times. Well, Speaker Man, it seems like your first date has ended, which means that you did not find true love on that date. But don't worry, you have four more days to go on to find your true lover. Yeah, I know. Well, let's head back to the next place, and hopefully I'll fall in love with the next person. And we are back at the game show. Well, guys, it seems like Speaker Man did not find true love on his first date, which means that it's time for the second date. So may the second contestant please calm down the stairs. Hi, I'm Cat Lady, and I'm looking for the perfect lover. Wait a second. What the heck, Cat Lady? What are you doing here? I'm here to find true love, and wait a second. I think I remember you. Yeah, I remember you too. You literally sold me a muscle cat. Yeah, and you returned muscle kitty one hour later. Oh, yeah, because the cat was super duper rambunctious. Well, Speaker Man, this is your second date. So let's not try to start off on the wrong foot here because you guys could be very in love. Well, let's go ahead and let's head to the beach for your second date. All right, yeah, let's go to the beach. And now we are at the beach for Speaker Man's second date. Will he find true love on this date? Who knows? And let's find out. Okay, now go ahead and sit down. All right, uh, Cat Lady, you can sit right next to me. Okay, I will. Well, now we're on a date, Cat Lady, and uh, this is pretty awkward. Wait, why is it awkward, Speaker Man? Yeah, why is it awkward? Oh, uh, wait a second. Who was that? Oh, no, it seems like your cats are talking to you, Speaker Man. Yeah, I'm talking to you, Speaker Man. You need to respect my mommy. Wait, what the heck? Cat Lady, why are your cats talking? Oh, well, my kitties and I have a special connection, and they have to help me choose my perfect boyfriend. What the heck? Okay, that is super duper weird. Yeah, that is pretty weird, Speaker Man. Well, uh, how are you guys liking each other so far? Is it going good? Yeah, I like him. I think my kitties like him as well. Yeah, honestly, I cannot say the same. I'm sorry. What? Are you serious? You better date my mommy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, cats. I do not want to fight with you guys. Oh, man, this is getting real serious now. I think the cats are about to attack, so, uh, Speaker Man, this is definitely not your true love. We gotta get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get out of here, mister. Hey, get back here. 
Ah! You are disqualified from the show, lady. Get away. Whoa, well, that was super duper scary. Well, there still are a few more contestants left, so hopefully I can find my true love soon. Well, speaker man, are you ready for your third date? Yes, sir, I'm ready. And hopefully this girl is the one. All right, yeah, hopefully this girl is the one. Well, the next contestant, please calm down. Oh, hello there, speaker man. Wait, what the heck? Give me toilet. What are you doing here? I am here to find my true love, speaker man. Well, with you, I'm the only contestant here. With you, speaker man. <laughs> What the heck? That is so weird. All right, this is going to get pretty interesting. Well, uh, where do you guys want to go on a date? Oh, uh, I don't want to go anywhere with Skibbity Toilet. Well, how about we get a tank and then we destroy all of Toilet City? What the heck? Destroy the whole entire Toilet City? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. That sounds like the perfect date, Speaker Man. Oh, or even better, I could kidnap you and I could kill you. What the heck? All right, well, uh, let's just try to figure out a date. Let's just go to Skibbity Toilet's house. What? Skibbity Toilet's house? No, no, no. I do not want to go there. Yep, that sounds like the perfect date. Let's go. What, guys? Are you serious? I don't want to do this. Oh, my gosh. Well, I guess I have to, so let's go. And welcome to my secret lair, Speaker Man. Are you ready for this amazing date? Uh, yes. Give me toilet. Uh, I'm ready. All right. Well, 10 million people are watching you, Skibbity Toilet, so make sure not to kill Speaker Man or something like that because uh, the police will be after you. Oh, don't worry. I won't be killing him. I might just kidnap him inside of a cage and lock him there for 20 years. Whoa. What? Uh, mister, I really do not want to go on this date. Skibbity Toilet is super duper evil. Well, uh, Speaker Man, who knows? Skibbity Toilet could be your true love. Bruh, I do not like him either. Well, Speaker Man, you're just gonna have to give him a chance because that's a part of the game show. Now, come on, Speaker Man, let's go. Uh, Alright, yeah, let's go. Well, here's where we're gonna be having our first date, inside of this jail cell. This jail cell? Uh, Alright, so do you want to go inside of the jail cell? No, silly, I want you to go inside of the jail cell. Uh, nah, no thank you. Speaker Man, go inside of the jail cell so right now. You need to entertain 10 million people that are watching right now. Come on. Bro, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. All right. Now that you're inside of the jail cell, I can do whatever I want to you. So I'm just gonna keep here for 20 years. I didn't want to love you anyways. Ha <laughs> ha. Wait a second. Hey, let me out of here. Oh, uh, Skibbity Toilet, you're gonna have to let him out. Because he is literally on the game show and he needs to continue playing. No, I'm not letting him out. Bye-bye. What? No, no, no. Oh my gosh. I'm literally stuck here. Hey, mister, get me out of here. Stop calling me mister. My name is Billy Bob. The host of the Find your girlfriend game show. And I don't know how to get you out of here, Speaker Man. Uh, let me look around. Everyone watching the show right now, I'm sorry. We're having technical difficulties. Our contestant decided to get locked up inside of a jail cell. I didn't decide to get locked up in here. If anything, you forced me to. All I want to do is find a girlfriend. Well, Skibbity Toilet could have been your girlfriend. Bro, what? Skibbity Toilet is literally a boy. And I knew he was plotting something the whole time. All right, well, uh, let me try to find a key card. And oh, there's a key card. Okay. Well, uh, let me go ahead and get you out of this jail cell now. Wow, thanks a lot, Mr. Billy Bob. It took you long enough. Uh, it actually barely even took any time, Speaker Man. Well, it seems like the third date was not your true love. Which means that we have two more dates to go on. Yeah, and hopefully I can find my true love on one of these dates. Because I'm getting tired of all this stuff. Well, you heard it here first, folks. He is getting tired of this stuff, so let's head back to the game show headquarters so he can find his true love. Yeah, let's go. Well, guys, it doesn't seem like Speaker Man found his true love on that third date. Which means it's time for the next contestant. So now for Speaker Man's fourth date. Next contestant, please calm down. Hi, Speaker Man. I broke out of jail. What the heck? You broke out of jail? Wait a second. You guys know each other? Yeah, dude. She literally both got us locked up in jail yesterday because she robbed a bank. What? She robbed a bank? Okay, well, that's pretty crazy. Well, uh, this is the next contestant, so hopefully you can find your true love, Speaker Man. Yeah, and I don't think it's gonna be her, Mr. Billy Bob. Oh, trust me. We are already true loves. Whoa, okay. I didn't know you guys had a pass. Well, uh, let's go ahead and let's go to the next date. Oh, uh, all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's go. And now we're at the fourth date. The fourth date is going to be at Los Poncho. And I have rented out this whole entire restaurant for my contestants. Oh, yay. I love Mexican food. Yeah, I like it too. And uh, by the way, mister, do I still have one more date after this? Because I really do not like this girl at all. Yup, yup. One more date after this. But who knows? This could be your true love. All right. Well, here, I'm just going to sit down and uh, hey there, camera woman sister. Uh, hey there, speaker man. I can't believe that you left me in the jail all alone. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. We were supposed to spend our life together in that jail cell. It would have been so romantic. Uh, no, it wouldn't because I have stuff to do outside of jail. And you literally trapped us both inside of there. And by the way, you are super duper crazy. Hey, stop calling me crazy! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. We're literally on live television streaming to 10 million people. Whoa, okay, guys. What's happening here? Let me get this juicy sauce. Why are you going so crazy, camera woman sister? And why do you just bring out a hammer? What the heck? Well, 
speaker man and I got arrested together and it was so romantic, but then he broke out of jail without me. What? He broke out of jail? Are you serious? Okay, well, that is really, really crazy. Well, uh, I need you to put the hammer away and calm down because we have to finish up this date. Because who knows? Maybe you can win over speaker man's true love. Oh, be quiet, toilet man. I'm gonna smash this camera with the hammer. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, first off, my name is not toilet man. My name is Billy Bob, the host of the Find Your Girlfriend game show. And please do not smash the camera. We have 10 million people watching and you are going so crazy. Okay, get away. We need to call the cops on this lady. Run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get out of here, Billy Bob. I'm um, gonna break that camera. Oh, no. Fast run. This lady is so crazy, guys. Nobody date this woman. Now we are back at the game show headquarters and I think we lost that crazy lady. Well, it seems like every single date so far, Speaker Man has been having a hard time finding his true love. But we only have one more contestant, so Speaker Man, hopefully you can find your true love with this last contestant. Yeah, hopefully I can. Well, it's time for the fifth and final contestant. Contestant, may you please come down the stairs. Oh my gosh, I wonder who's gonna be. Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. Wait a second, Speaker Woman? Oh man, look at it. It's Speaker Woman and Speaker Man. This is a match made in heaven. Um, hey, how are you doing? Uh, I'm good. How about you? Uh, I'm doing good. Do you want to go on a date with me? Wait, what? You want me to go on a date with you? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, that's how the game show works. So you guys have to go on a date either way. Well, uh, come on. Let's go ahead and let's go to the fifth and final date. And hopefully you guys will get married or something and have kids or something or be girlfriends or something. Let's go. Uh, all right, mister. Yeah, let's go. And whoa, this place is so awesome. Guys, welcome to the fifth and final date. I have rented out this $10 billion yacht just for you guys. And remember, we have 10 million people watching. So hopefully Speaker Man finds his true love on this final date. Yeah, hopefully I do. And I'm already sensing something between us. Yeah, I am too. All right, well, you guys start your date. And uh, I'm just going to follow you guys around while you answer some questions with each other. Uh, all right, yeah. Speaker Woman, you can sit right there. And uh, how are you doing in this final lovely day? Well, ever since I saw you, my day's been amazing. Oh, man, this is going good so far, guys. Uh, yeah, me too with you. What? Well, you're looking very nice today. Aw, thank you. So are you. Guys, it seems like they're raising each other up. Oh, uh, well, what do you want to do? Well, how about we go sit on the front of the boat? Because it's really relaxing. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, here, ladies can go up first. Oh, you're such a gentleman. Yeah, I know. Well, here, follow me to the front of the boat. <laughs> and look at this. This is so awesome. Yeah, it is so lovely up here, just like you. Wait, what? You're calling me lovely? Aw. You're so sweet, Speaker Woman. Guys, I think Speaker Man is going to fight his girlfriend. Hey, Speaker Man, come over here. I have to tell you something, bro. Uh, all right, Billy Bob. You are doing so great so far. So here, give the lady these roses. Wait, what? You want me to give her those? Yep, I sure do. Now go ahead and give her the roses, bro. I think you are finally finding your girlfriend. Yeah, Sam, I think we're a match. Well, uh, hey there, Speaker Woman. I have something to give you. Oh, wait, really? What is it? It is these red roses just for you. Oh, my gosh. Red roses are my favorite. Wait, what? Are they really? Yes. How did you know? This is a match made in heaven. That's what I say. A match made in heaven. <laughs> Guys, this is going so amazing so far. And the 10 million people at home are spamming W's in the chat. Speaker Man, I think you found your new girlfriend. Yeah, I did too. Okay. Speaker Woman, will you be my girlfriend? Yes, yes. A million times yes. Oh my gosh. Let's hug. And there oh, I'm so upset. I've been in the adoption center for years and I really want to get adopted. But people don't want to adopt me because I'm a Speaker Man. Oh my gosh. This sucks. I really hope I get adopted sometime. Oh, hey there. You must be Speaker Man. Wait a second. Who the heck are you? My name is Pomni. Pomni? Huh? That is awesome. Well, uh, why are you even here? I'm looking to adopt you. You want to adopt me? I was literally just speaking about this. No one in my whole entire life wanted to ever adopt me. Well, I want to adopt you. No flipping way. That is so awesome. Well, are you my new mom? Yeah, I guess I am. Oh my goodness, this is so awesome. <sighs> it is finally time to adopt Speaker Man. Wait a second, Pomni. What are you doing here? Uh, Skippity Toilet, what are you doing here? I'm here to adopt Speaker Man. No, I'm here to adopt him. You are not allowed to adopt him. You're from the Amazing Digital Circus. I don't want you here, Pomni. Well, I got here first. Uh, guys, what is this arguing about? I want to adopt you, but she got here first. Uh, yeah, she sure did. And honestly, Mr. Skippity Toilet, I'd rather get her to adopt me than you. What? Are you serious? No Amazing Digital Circus characters are allowed in Brooklyn. Cave what? In. That is not true. Kane literally brought the amazing digital circus here. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure Kane brings you back where you came from. Now, you better watch your back, Pomni. And you too, Speaker Man. I'm going to take you back and adopt you. Ha 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 ha! Oh my goodness, Pomni. What in the heck was he with that? Well, it doesn't seem like Skibbity Toy that wants the amazing digital circus in Brookhaven. And he also wants to get rid of us. Oh my goodness, that is so bad. I don't want him to get rid of you. Yeah, I don't want to 
believe you either. Well, hopefully nothing bad happens, but let's go back to the digital circus and I'll show you around. Wait a sec, you'll show me around the amazing digital circus? Yep, I sure will. Follow me. All right, this is gonna be so awesome. And welcome to the amazing digital circus. Whoa, this looks so awesome. Yeah, it sure is. Well, come inside and I'll show you around. You'll show me around? Uh, all right, and uh, wait a second, who are even you? Oh, hello there. My name is Kane. Uh, hi there, Kane. Welcome to the amazing digital circus. It seems like you're new here. Yep, I sure am. Omni literally just adopted me. Oh, uh, what's your name, little fella? Uh, my name is Speaker Man. And I'm not a little fella. I'm a big fella. Oh, okay, big fella. Well, welcome to the Amazing Digital Circus. Uh, thanks a lot for having me. Well, Pomni, can you show me around already? Sure I can. All right, cool. Well, follow me. And right here is where you will be sleeping. Oh, my goodness. I'm pretty sure this crib is even bigger than the one that I had at the adoption center. Yep, only the best for you. Well, thanks a lot, Pomni. Oh, Pomni, Amazing Digital Circus is getting destroyed. Oh, my gosh, who's outside? Oh, no, why is there a tank outside? Wait a second. There's literally Skippity Toilet in the tank. Skippity Toilet, what are you doing at the Amazing Digital Circus? You do not belong at Brookhaven, therefore I'm going to destroy the Amazing Digital Circus. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man, go hide. Oh, my gosh. Uh, all right, Bobby. Oh, no, guys, this is so bad. Skippity Toilet is literally right outside, and he's going to destroy the whole entire digital circus. I got to hide ASAP. Ha, ha, ha. Say bye to your home, Pomni. Oh, my gosh. No. Uh, wait a second. Why isn't anything happening? I am literally shooting rockets at the digital circus. Ha, ha, ha. You can't destroy the digital circus. It's just digital. Wait a second. It's just digital? Do you mean it's like a hologram or something? Yep. You're correct. Now, bye-bye, Skibbity Toilet. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe that didn't work. I need to figure out another way to get rid of the digital circus. Wait a second. You just hear Pomni? He's going to figure out another way to get rid of the digital circus. Thankfully, the tank didn't work. Yeah, thankfully it didn't. Well, guys, don't worry. Skibbity Toilet will not be able to get rid of us. We are at Brookhaven, and we are here to stay. Hooray! Wait a second, Mr. Kane. What if Skibbity Toilet comes back with something even bigger than a tank, though? Oh, don't worry. He won't be able to do anything. The only way that he would be able to do anything is if he had, like, a time machine destroyer. But there's no way that he would ever be able to get a time machine destroyer. Ha, huh, time machine destroyer. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. Back for you, Digital Circus. Well, Speaker Man, I didn't finish showing you around the Digital Circus, so let's continue with our tour. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, hopefully Skippy Toilet doesn't come back again while we're in the middle of the tour. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't. Follow me. All right, Pomini, well, where are we going to go now? Now we're going to go to our kitchen. This is where we get all of our food. Whoa, this kitchen is awesome. And in here, we have all the food you can imagine. Whoa, this is awesome. There's ice cream. Mm, don't mind if I do. Yep, it sure is. Now follow me to the upstairs. All right, Pomini, I wonder what's going to be up here. Let's go see real fast. And whoa, there's literally a bright blue slide right there. Hey, Pomni, can I ride on that, please? Yeah, of course you can. No, wait, really? Oh, all right, here, let me hop over here. And, oh, my goodness. Let's go down the slide. We out. Hey, don't get hurt. Your first day of the digital circuit. Oh, uh, yeah, all right. I'm sorry, Pomni. Well, that house was super duper cool. Well, what are we going to do now? Uh, well, maybe we can. Ha, <laughs> I am back, the amazing digital circus. Wait a second, Pomni. Did you hear that? Skippy Toll is literally back. Okay, okay, here. Let's go downstairs real fast. Fast enough. Oh my goodness, he's inside the digital circus! Oh, Pomni, where are you? Hey, Skippity Toilet, you shouldn't be in here! Oh, hey there, Pomni, I'm back with a gun! Now, I know this isn't a time machine destroyer, but trust me, I'll be having that soon. Wait a second, you know about the time machine destroyer? Wait, what, what, what? Uh, no, no, I don't know about that. Skippity Toilet, were you spying on our conversation? Um, maybe. But that's besides the point, guys. I am here to get rid of you once and for all, Pomni, now take this! Ah! That did nothing because I'm digital. Wait a second. You didn't just die? Are you serious? Yes, give me the toilet. I'm literally telling you. I'm digital. Wait a second. So everything here is literally digital. I can literally shoot anything and it doesn't even do anything. Yep, that's correct. So it doesn't seem like you're going to be able to get rid of us anytime soon. Uh, trust me, Pomni. I will be back with that time machine destroyer. And you will be gone forever. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, no, Pomni. He just said he'll be back with a time machine destroyer. Uh, I can't believe he's listening in on our conversation. Yeah. Me neither. Guys, don't worry. Skibbity Toilet is not going to be doing anything to us. Wait, what? Why, Kane? Because we are the digital circus and we are here to stay. Yeah, that's the spirit, Kane. Well, guys, how are we supposed to stop Skibbity Toilet? Well, if we really wanted to stop his shenanigans, we could turn him into a digital himself. And then he wouldn't be able to do anything to us because he would be digital also. Wait, what? Turn him into a digital? Yep, that's correct. But the only way we're going to be able to do that is if we put a headset on his head. Which is going to be pretty hard. But you know what? I think we can pull it off, guys. And we have to do it before 
before he gets back with that time machine destroyed. Yeah, we sure do. Who knows what he would do if he comes back with that? Yeah, who knows? Well, guys, let's head on over to the store so we can buy a headset. And when Skippity Toilet comes back, we can go put it on his head. All right, yeah, that's a good idea, Kane. Well, guys, let's go to the store. And we are at the store. And hey there, little Timmy. Oh, hey, Del Bo. Wait a second. Who is this? Uh, this is Pomni. She literally adopted me. Oh, hello, Del Pomni. Well, what do you guys need inside the store today? Well, we need one of those VR headsets that you guys have. A VR headset? Uh, okay, why do you need because it? Because we need to put it on Skippity Toilet's head. Put it on Skippity Toilet's head? Uh, okay, that's really weird. Well, yeah, I can get you one of the VR headsets, but it's going to cost a lot of money. Well, I can't pay it, so can you pay it, Speaker Man? Wait, what? You want me to buy it? Yeah, sorry. I didn't bring any money. Oh, my goodness. Well, I think I have my life savings on me, so let me see. And here. This is literally all my life savings, Pomni. All right, it will go to good use. Yeah, hopefully it will. Well, guys, here is your VR headset. Now, make sure to be careful and not break it, because this thing is very expensive. So here you go. All right, thank you. Yep, no problem. Good luck, guys. Thanks a lot, little Timmy. Wait a second. Look, they're skibbity toilet. Oh, my goodness. Wait a second. He's going towards the amazing Daniel Circus. Oh, no. We got to go back fast. He better not have the time machine. Yeah, he better not. Quick. Let's head back to the digital circus. Oh, no. This is bad. Uh, <laughs> the amazing digital circus is going down. I have set up the time machine destroyer, and now it's time to destroy the digital circus once and for all. They have no place here in Brookhaven. Oh, my goodness, Pommy. What is that? I think it's the time machine destroyer. Oh, no. This is so bad. Hey, Skippy Tola, stop it. Oh, look who arrived. It seems like it's Pommy and Speaker Man. You guys arrived just in time for the show. And this show is way better than the digital circus. Give it a toilet. Don't do this. And why shouldn't I do it, Pomni? Because Brookhaven is our new home and you just gotta accept that. Yes, yeah, Skibbity Toilet, don't do this. Well, I don't want the amazing digital circus here anymore. I have tried so many times trying to get rid of it, but you just kept coming in my way. Now, if you excuse me, let me start the machine. <laughs> no, Skibbity Toilet, do not start the machine. Pomni, put the headset on his head fast. Okay, I'm on it. Five, six, four, two. Uh, Skibbity Toilet, take this. Hey, what do you think you're doing, Pomni? Get away from me. Let me start my machine. No, put this on. I said get away from me. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Give me toilet. Why did you just knock her out? Because, Speaker Man, I have to do what I should have done hours ago. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to destroy the digital circus once and for all. No, you can't do this. Give me toilet. Oh, my goodness. Omni, wake up. Uh, wait a second. I'm fine. I'm digital. And let me start the initiation. Three, two, one. Take this. Oh, my gosh. What happened to me? Wait a second. What is this thing on my face? Oh, my goodness, Pomni. Good job. Give it a toilet. It seemed like you became digital, so now you can't destroy us. Wait a second. Why isn't my time machine destroyer working? And why can I not press it? Oh, my gosh. I'm digital. Ha, <laughs> ha. me a toilet. That's what you get. And never try to destroy the digital circus ever again. Oh, my gosh. Now I will never be able to destroy it. I can't believe you did this, Pomni. One day I will try again to get rid of you guys. Don't you worry. Okay, keep talking. Talking. Bye bye, Skibbity Toilet. Yes, yes, Skibbity Toilet. Oh, guys, what is all that ruckus about? I was just taking a digital nap. Oh, uh, Kane, do you not see all this stuff right outside of the house? Wait a second, is this a time machine destroyer? Yeah, it sure is. Skibbity Toilet was setting it up. Yeah, and I just put a headset on his head. Do you remember you told me to get the headset? Oh, yeah, I actually do remember that. I just totally forgot because I accidentally fell asleep. But great job, Pomni. It seems like you saved the day. And the amazing digital circus stays at Brookhaven for another day. Hooray! Oh, uh, this coffee is so amazing, but I really wish I had a friend that I could talk to because there's literally no one here. Oh, hey there, speaker man. Oh, hey there, TV man. Oh, hey there, speaker man. Oh, hey there, TV man. Wait, what the heck? Uh, why are there two of you guys? Oh, uh, wait a second. Why are there two of us? Hey, yeah, what are you doing here? Guys, this is super duper confusing. Who is the real TV man? Well, I'm the real TV man. No, I'm the real TV man. There's only one TV man. So which one is real? Speaker man, I'm telling you, I'm the real TV man. This guy is a fraud. And why do you sound exactly like me. What do you mean? Why do you sound exactly like me? Guys, guys, guys. This is so weird. I'm gonna have to figure out who the real TV man is. Well, how are you gonna do that? Well, guys, I'm gonna put you through some challenges. And for every challenge, you win, you get one point. And at the end of all the challenges, the TV man with the most points has to be the real TV man. Alright, that sounds like a great idea. Yeah, it sure does. You're going down, fake TV man. Alright, we'll see about that, TV man one. Alright, guys. Well, who's ready to go first? Well, I wanna go first. No, I wanna go first. Guys, honestly, I cannot tell who's talking. So we're just gonna start with TV Man 1. TV Man 1, you're gonna go first. Ha ha ha, in your face, TV Man 2. Whatever, I'm still gonna beat you. Alright, guys, calm down. It is time to start the first challenge. And for this first challenge, you're gonna
gonna have to. Bring me my favorite food because the only TV man knows my favorite food. All right, well, I'm gonna bring you a better food than him. Yeah, we'll see about that, TV man one. All right, TV man one. Well, you can go get your food now. All right, I'll be right back, speaker man. Wait a second, I'm coming with you. And TV man two, you stay right there. So, TV man one, where are we gonna go? Well, to the grocery store, obviously. Oh, uh, all right. Well, what kind of food do you think I like? Well, you're just gonna have to wait and see, speaker man. Uh, all right. Oh, hey, guys, welcome to the store. Oh, hey there, little Timmy. Hey there, and hey, TV man. Oh, hi there, little Timmy. Well, what were you guys in the store today? Well, little Timmy, TV man has to find me a food because there are literally two of him, and I'm putting them through some challenges to figure out who the real one is. What? There's two TV men? Are you serious? I have to see this. Well, bro, you'll see it right after this. I'll bring the second one in. Oh, okay, Speaker Man. Well, uh, what's the first challenge? Oh, for the first challenge, she has to find me my favorite food. So, TV man, go find me my favorite food. All right, Speaker Man, let me go grab it. Obviously, it is right here. Pizza? Uh, all right, yeah. Well, I'm just gonna wait for you guys both to get the food, and after that, I'll tell you guys which one's my favorite. So, you can go check out now and head back to the place. All right, Speaker Man. And I know I won because I know pizza's your favorite food. Hey, little Timmy. Do you think pizza is Speaker Man's favorite food? Oh, I'm not really sure about that one, bro. He likes a lot of different food. But uh, I think he really likes pizza. So maybe that's his favorite food. Yeah, maybe it is. Well, how much will that cost, little Timmy? Uh, that will cost about $20. Wow, $20 for a pizza slice? Jeez Louise, Timmy, you gotta give me a discount or something. Nope, dude, no can do. Uh, all right, whatever. Well, I guess anything to prove that I'm the real TV man. All right, thank you so much, bro. Well, TV man, let's head back to the place and Timmy will be right back. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. And we're back, TV man, too. Uh -huh, TV man, too. I'm totally gonna win this thing. I literally just got his favorite food, and you are going down because you're the fake TV man. No, dude, I'm gonna win this first challenge. Trust me. Come on, speaker man. Let's go get your favorite food. Yeah, let's go, TV man, too. And TV man, we're here, and uh, oh, hey, little TV man, we're back. Oh, hey, there, bro. And hey, there, TV man, too. TV man, too, are you the real TV man? Oh, uh, yes, of course I'm the real TV man. And that's why I'm going to win this first challenge. I'm going to pick out his favorite food. All right, well, TV man, you can pick out my favorite food now. All right, TV man, too. Good luck. And obviously, your favorite your food is going to be Doritos, Speaker Man. You eat them all the time. Mmm, Doritos. Sounds good. All right. Well, purchase that, and then we're going to head back to the place. And once we're there, I'll tell you guys who won the first challenge. All right, so, little Timmy, how much will this be? Uh, that will be about $20. Bro, little Timmy, are you scamming both the TV, man? What? No, I'm not scamming them. Yeah, why is this so expensive, little Timmy? Are you jacking up the prices? What? Am I jacking up the prices? I uh, know I'm not jacking up the prices. I am literally just giving you the price that it literally says. All right, little Timmy. Well, TV Man purchased it already. Come on. Oh, uh, well, Speaker Man, I don't have the money. Bro, are you kidding me? Well, I guess I'm paying. Here you go, little Timmy. All right, thank you, bro. And Speaker Man, good luck on figuring out which TV man is the real TV man. All right, thanks a lot, little Timmy. Well, TV man, let's head back so I can choose who the winner is of the first challenge. And guys, we're back now. So both of you stand right here, and I'm going to tell you who the winner is of the first challenge. All right, but I'm going to win this one because I got the way better item. Yeah, whatever, TV man won. I got the better item. Well, guys, pull out your item, and I'll tell you who the winner is. All right, I chose Doritos, and I chose pizza. All right, guys. Well, the winner of the first challenge is Doritos. TV Man 2, you have one point. What? How did he just win? Well, dude, because obviously I like Doritos more. Uh-huh, TV Man 1, in your face. TV Man 2, are you serious? Doritos isn't even a real food, it's a snack. And Speaker Man, you eat pizza all the time. Yeah, dude, I do eat pizza all the time, but I like Doritos more. Oh my gosh, this is so bad because I'm the real TV Man. And if TV Man 2 wins, then you'll have a fake TV Man as your friend. Yeah, whatever, TV Man 1, I won the first challenge. All right, guys, calm down. And TV Man 1, if you want a point, then you have to win this next challenge. All right, Speaker Man, I'm gonna win this one. Because I am the real TV man. All right, guys, and for the second challenge, you're gonna have to take me to my favorite place ever. Oh, this is going to be easy. Let's go. Yeah, I know exactly where I'm gonna go, TV Man 2. And I'm going to get this point for this challenge. All right, guys. Well, since we started out with TV Man 1 last time, let's start out with TV Man 2 this time. So, TV Man 2, bring me to my favorite spot. All right, let's go. And TV Man 1, you're the fake TV man. You're going down. Yeah, whatever you say, TV Man 2. And we are here. No way. You rented me out a yacht? Uh, no, I didn't rent out a yacht. I brought you to the beach. Bro, are you kidding me? The beach? Uh, yes, the beach. You love the beach so much. We always go swimming. Dude, I mean, we go swimming sometimes, but I would rather like a yacht. Bro, are you kidding me? We could literally go swimming right now. Yeah, I know, TV man. Uh, but I really wanted to go on that yacht. All right, dude. You know what? If you want to go on the yacht so bad, then we could just sneak on Wait, it. Wait, what? Really? No way. All right, all right. Yeah, let's go on the yacht and let's sneak on it. This is going to be so insane. So let's go up here and let's sneak on it. Wait, what the heck? Uh, hello there. Who are you? Oh, uh, hey there, Mr. Rich guy. Uh, we just came on this yacht. Uh, who are you? I'm the owner of this yacht. Wait, what? Uh, you're the owner? Yeah, what are you doing on my boat? Oh, I'm sorry, mister. We thought this was our boat. Well, it's not your boat. Now get off my yacht right now. Oh, uh, well, do you actually, we just want to stay on here. Uh, get off right now. I'm going to call the police. Wait, what? He's going to call the police? Oh, no, TV man. Run back to the place fast. Quick, we got to go. And phew, that was so bad.
bad. Yeah, it sure was. I don't know why you wanted to sneak on that yacht. No, I was talking about the beach. That beach sucked. Well, I thought the beach would be a really fun place, but it seems like you didn't even like well, it. Hopefully, it's better than TV Man 1's place. Yeah, we'll see. Well, TV Man 1, where are you going to bring me? Oh, you'll see. It's your favorite place ever. Wait, what is actually my favorite place ever? Oh, all right. Yeah, let's go see. All right, and we're here. Oh, wait a second, TV Man 1. Why are we at my house? Well, because this is your favorite place. Well, yeah, my house is pretty cool, but nothing really inside of here is my favorite place. Oh, really? Well, follow me up here, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, okay, TV Man. What's up here? Look at this. This is your bedroom. Wait a second, dude. How do you know me so well? This is my favorite place ever. I love sleeping. Yeah, I know, Speaker Man. I'm telling you, I'm the real TV Man. Well, TV Man, we don't know that yet. But for now, let's head back to the place. Now I'll tell you guys which is better. All right, let's go, Speaker Man. And I'm definitely going to win this point. And guys, we are back. And now I'm going to tell you who the winner of the second challenge is. All right, hopefully TV Man 1 didn't have a good place. Well, TV Man 2, I actually definitely won this challenge. All right, guys, here, let me tell you one. And the winner is TV Man 1. He brought me to my bed, and that is honestly my favorite place. I sleep there all the time. Yes, I knew it. See, Speaker Man, I told you I'm the real TV Man. Yeah, yeah whatever, TV Man 1. I'm the real TV Man. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to figure that out after this next challenge. And Speaker Man, what is this next challenge going to be? Is it going to be knocking this fake TV Man out? No, dude. It is not going to be knocking TV Man out. Come on, fake TV Man. Let's go. Oh, you really want to go? Whoa, 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 guys. Cut it out. Cut it out. Are you serious, Speaker Man? This fake TV Man wanted to fight me, so I was going to fight him back. Guys, guys, guys. No need to fight. Because after the challenge, I'm going to figure out who the real one of you guys are. Yeah, and it's obviously going to be me. All right. Well, we'll see, guys. Well, guys, for the third and final challenge, you guys are going to have to bring me back the best present you can ever get me. Oh, man. This is going to be so easy. I'm winning this thing. No, I'm winning this thing, TV Man 2. All right, guys. Calm down. We will see who wins. Well, first, TV Man 1, I'm going with you. All right, Speaker Man. Let's do this. I'm going to win this final challenge because I am the real TV Man. All right, TV Man 1 and TV Man 2, I'll be right back. So, TV Man 1, what is this present going to be? Well, Speaker Man, you have been wanting this present for a while, and it's very expensive. But I've been saving up a lot of money, so I think I'm going to be able to buy it. Really? No way, bro. Uh, all right. Well, it seems like you're going to the grocery store, so what is in here? What? I'm not going to the grocery store, Speaker Man. Wait, what? You're not? Uh, where are you going? I'm going to the car dealership. Wait, what the heck? No way. Yes way, bro. Let's go inside and let's buy you this car. All right. And uh, hey there, Mr. Worker. Speaker Man, don't talk. I got this from here. Hey there, Mr. Worker. I have a lot of money for you and I want to buy that red Bugatti over there. Um, all right. The red Bugatti? You know how expensive that is, right? Yes, I know. It's $2 million. Okay, well, I have it right here. And I'm not even lying. You can literally look at it. It's real cash. Uh, all right. Well, this red Bugatti is very, very rare. It is a one-of-one -one car. So you buying it would mean that you're the only person in the world that owns it. So I have to be very cautious who I sell it to because I cannot sell it to any bad person. And it seems like you're a pretty good person, so you know what? I'll sell you the car. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. And speaker Man, there you go. We got your new car. No way. This is awesome. Thank you so much, TV Man. This <laughs> gift is so insane. Yep, I know it is, Speaker Man. Look at it. It's literally a full red Bugatti. Yeah, it sure is. Here, hop in. And look at that engine in the back also, dude. This is so cool, dude. Let's drive it. And whoa, look at us. We're going so fast. Yep, we sure are. And I'm going to win this challenge because I'm the real TV Man. Well, let's see if TV Man 2's gift can top this one. And hey there, TV Man 2. Do you like my new car? Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. That car is so beautiful. TV Man 1, how do you even have the money to buy that thing? Well, the real TV Man is a multi-millionaire, and I'm the real TV Man. So, obviously, I was able to buy TV Man 2. What? The real TV Man's a multi-millionaire? Uh, no, I'm not. All right, guys. Enough talking. TV Man 2, it's time for you to get me my gift. All right, Speaker Man, but it's definitely not going to be a $2 million red Bugatti because I do not have enough money for that. Oh, all right, TV Man 2. Well, show me where you're going to bring me. All right, follow me, Speaker Man. All right, let's go. And I brought you to the ice cream shop, Speaker Man. And you can get whatever flavor you want because I know you love ice cream. I mean, yeah, I do love ice cream, but honestly, dude, I don't know if this is going to top the red Bugatti. Well, Speaker Man, you literally know that I'm broke because I'm the real TV man. I don't know why you think I have $2 million. That guy is definitely a fake, and I don't even know where he got his money. Wait a second, bro. Thinking about it now, the real TV man is actually pretty broke. Yeah, and that's why I was barely even able to buy the Doritos earlier, bro. I'm telling you, I'm the real TV man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is all adding up. The real TV man is broke, so it's not able to afford a Bugatti. So that means you are the real TV man. Yes, Speaker Man, I've literally been telling you this whole entire time. And that other TV man one literally just keeps saying that he's the real one. Like, he doesn't shut up about it, dude. It's like he's trying to prove a point or something. Yeah, that's true, dude. Oh, well, wait a second. Who even is he? I don't even know, but let's grab our ice cream and let's go back. All right, yeah. Uh, hey, mister. I want to like a birthday cake ice cream. All right, one birthday cake ice cream just for you. Yeah, thanks a lot. And, uh, dude, I can't even afford this. Bro, am I going to have to pay again? Uh, yeah, you're going to have to pay again. Sorry, Speaker Man. Uh, all right, dude. Well, that's going to be $32. $32? Really? Oh, man. All right, well, here you go, little baby. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Well, since I know that you're the actual TV man now, let's go back to the other 
team, man. And let's figure out who he is. All right, good idea, Speaker Man. Let's go. And we're back in the place, and hey, TV Man 1. Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. Are you ready to give me the final point so I can win this thing? No, TV Man 1. We came back to confront you because we know for a fact that you're not the real TV Man. What? Are you serious? Well, who gets the point then? Well, TV Man 2 does, dude, because he is a real TV Man because TV Man is actually broken. He cannot afford a Bugatti. But Speaker Man, look, I literally bought you a Bugatti because you're my best friend. Yeah, dude, that's the point. A real TV Man cannot afford a Bugatti. Well, like I said, I've been saving up my money. So obviously I'll be able to afford Bugatti now. Dude, I don't even have a job. How am I supposed to even make money? Like TV Man 1, you're literally so fake, dude. And I got both of the points, so that means I'm the winner. So who are you, TV Man 1? Ah, oh, I can't believe you caught me. Wait, what the heck? Skibbity Toilet? Yes, I am Skibbity Toilet. I just wanted to be your friend so I could betray you, Speaker Man. Bro, what the heck? Are you kidding me? Well, do I get to keep the Bugatti at least? No, you don't get to keep the Bugatti. I'm taking it. Bro, what are you serious? Oh my gosh. Maybe you should just be my friend next time, Speaker Man. Ha <laughs> ha. And I will be back to kill you. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. Well, TV Man, at least I know that you're. Oh my gosh. I've been stuck in this adoption center for years. I really hope I can get adopted soon because I do not want to stay in here for much longer. Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, wait a second. Who in the heck are you? I'm Jax, and I heard you wanted to get adopted. What? You want to adopt me? Yep, I sure do. No way. That is so awesome. Well, Jax, where do you live? I live at the Digital Circus. Do you want to come? What? The Digital Circus? Uh, yeah, sure. I guess I'll come. All right, perfect. Here. Come with me. All right, Jax. And Speaker Man, this is your new home. This is the amazing Digital Circus. Whoa, this looks amazing. So here, come inside and let me show you around. Uh, all right, Jax. And whoa, this is so cool. Hello there, Jax. Wait a second. Who is right next to you? Uh, Jax, who's this guy with the teeth? Oh, this is Kane. He's the owner of the Digital Circus. Oh, uh, hi, Kane. Oh, uh, Jax, what is this guy doing here? Oh, I adopted him, Kane. Wait a second. You adopted him? Uh, yes, I adopted him. Is there a problem with that, Kane? Yes, there's a huge problem. He is not from the Amazing Digital Circus, so he's not allowed to be here. Did you just say I'm not allowed to be here? Yes, because you're not from the Amazing Digital Circus. Where do you even come from? Uh, I came from Toilet City. Yeah, that explains it. You look like a toilet. No, I do not look like a toilet. I am a part of the speaker species. And I am Speaker Man. All right, well, Speaker Man, you are not allowed to stay in the Digital Circus. What, Kane? Well, where is he supposed to live? I literally just adopted him. Well, I don't really know, Jax. I think you're just gonna have to return him. Huh, return me? No, Kane, he is staying at the Digital Circus. Circus. He is not leaving. Now, come on, Speaker Man. I'm going to show you to your room. Uh, all right. Oh, gosh. I cannot believe that Kane literally wants me out of here. Like, this place is so cool. All right, Speaker Man. So, what do you want? Do you want this pink crib or do you want the blue crib down here? Uh, obviously, the blue crib. Pink is for girls. All right, Speaker Man. Well, you can have that crib. All right. Thanks a lot, Jax. And whoa, this crib is massive. Yeah, it sure is. Well, Jax, I have a serious question. Uh, yeah. What is it, Speaker Man? Why does Kane not want me at the Amazing Digital Circus? Oh, well, basically, Kane doesn't really want anyone else being at the Amazing Digital Circus. Because we have a lot of people that live here right now. So any outsiders that decide to come in and try to stay, he gets really angry. And I think he's trying to get rid of you, Speaker Man. But don't worry. I'm gonna make sure that you stay here at all costs. Alright, Jax. Yeah, hopefully I can stay here. Because I do not want to go back to the dumb adoption center. Yeah, I don't want you going back there either. Hey, Jax, are you done showing him around? Uh, yeah, I'm done showing him around, Kane. Alright, well, Speaker Man, now it's time to go. Wait, what? No, no, no. I don't want to go. Hey, put me down. Hey, Kane, get off of him. No, he is not allowed in the Digital Circus. Well, Kane, where am I even supposed to go? You're just gonna have to stay out here because we do not need any more people in the Amazing Digital Circus. Oh my goodness. This sucks so much. Oh my gosh, Kane, I can't believe you. You are literally not even letting my son stay at the Amazing Digital Circus. Well, I'm sorry, but the Amazing Digital Circus is full. Oh my gosh, Kane really doesn't want me there. Yeah, he sure doesn't. Well, I'm gonna try every single way to make you stay, Speaker Man, because I'm not letting you go back to that adoption center. Wait, what? Really, Jax? No way. You're the best. Yeah, no problem, Speaker Man. Well, since he doesn't want you at the Amazing Digital Circus, maybe we could, like, go get him a present. And then after we give him the present, maybe he would let us in. Get him a present? Huh, that's actually a great idea. Yeah, well, what should our present be? I don't know. We're gonna have to go to the stores and see what the best present is. So let's go. All right, Jax. Yeah, let's go. And now we're at Rockstar Clothing. Hey, darlies. Welcome to Rockstar Clothing. Uh, excuse me, man. We are not girls. And, uh, Jax, is our present gonna be clothes? Well, Kay really likes fashion because he always wears a tuxedo. So I was thinking that we could get him some nice clothes. Oh, yeah, that's actually a good idea. Well, Mrs. Is there a boys' clothing section around here? Uh, yeah, right over here. All right, thanks a lot. Well, Jax, what should we get for him? Should we get him a tuxedo or what? Huh, I'm not really sure. Let's look through all these clothes and see if there's anything good. All right, that's a good idea. So let me see. What is this? Uh, Jax, I'm pretty sure that's a baby onesie. Oh my gosh, why is this in here? I don't even know. All 
Alright, well, we are definitely not getting him this. Well, let's see. What is this? Oh, this is kind of cool. It seems like it's a basketball jersey. Oh, yeah, that is actually pretty cool. But I don't really think that K would like this, so we're not gonna get it for him. Yeah, Jax, honestly, I think we should search for some tuxedos. Alright, Sneaker Man, here. Let me see if there's any tuxedos inside of here. Alright, Jax. And oh, look at this one. How about this? Cool, Jax, that's not bad, but it's literally red just like his normal tuxedo. So maybe we should switch it up a tiny bit. Alright, well, I think I found a perfect tuxedo here. Let me grab it. I can't wait to see how this looks. And here's the tuxedo. No way. That tuxedo looks so drippy. Honestly, I think Kane would rock that. Yeah, this tuxedo literally looks so nice. I think Kane would absolutely love his tuxedo. So, you know what, Speaker Man? Let's get it for him, and then hopefully we'll be able to get back in the digital circuit. Hey, girlies, is that all you're buying today? Yeah, Mrs. This is all we're buying today. And by the way, we are not girlies. We are boys. All right, girlies. Well, it's gonna be about $2,000. What? $2,000? Uh, I don't have $2,000. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, look at you guys. You guys are so broke. Hey, wait a second. What are you just say to me? You are broke. B-R-O-K-E. Hey, lady, why are you being so mean? Why would you come into a luxury brand store if you're broke? Uh, so we can buy a guy a new tuxedo. Well, give me that tuxedo if you aren't gonna buy it. Uh, no, lady. I actually think I'm gonna keep it, and I'm just gonna leave now. Bye-bye. What? No, get back here. Uh-oh, run, Jax. Quick, we gotta get out of your speaker man. She's chasing us. Yeah, let's go back to the circus. And now we're back at the amazing digital circus, speaker man. So let's go inside and let me talk to Kane, okay? Do not say anything. All right, Jax, I won't. Uh, hey there, Kane. Oh. Oh, what's up, guys? Do not try to ask to stay here again. I already told you you're not staying. Well, Kane, we actually came with a present, so maybe it can change your mind. Dude, I said let me talk. All right, sorry, Jax. Well, Kane, uh, we actually brought you a present, and hopefully after you get this present, you will reconsider Speaker Man staying here. Because I really need Speaker Man to stay at the Amazing Digital Circus. Oh, gift? Okay, uh, let me see it. Well, Kane, uh, you're staring directly at it. This new tuxedo is yours. Wait a second, you got me a yellow leopard print tuxedo? Are you serious right now, Jax? Uh, yeah, I'm being serious. It's a gift from me and Speaker Man. It was like $2,000. Now, can you please let Speaker Man stay here? Yeah, please, Kane. Oh, well, let me try it on real quick. And oh my gosh, this thing looks horrible. This is literally the worst gift I've probably ever gotten in my whole entire life. Speaker Man, you are not staying at the digital circus. But that was literally $2,000. Yeah, Kane, we literally spent so much money on that, dude. Well, I already told you, Speaker Man is not staying at the amazing digital circus. What? No, 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 Kane, please put me down. Dude, what can we do to change your mind, please? Because it's almost getting nighttime, and I'll literally have nowhere to stay. Well, there's nothing that you can do to change my mind. I'm not letting anybody else in the amazing digital circus. Now do not come back. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Jax, dude, there must be something that will change his mind, right? Well, we just got him a present and he still doesn't want to let you stay. But there may still be one last thing. Wait, really, Jax? No way. And if we do this thing, you think I'll be able to stay in the digital circus? I don't know, Speaker Man, but it's worth a try. All right, Jax, well, what is this thing? Well, Speaker Man, you stay out here. I gotta go inside and grab something. And I'm pretty sure that this plan is gonna work. Hopefully it'll work. Hey, Jax, what are you doing inside of here? You better have not brought that Speaker Man in. Kane, I didn't bring him in. Don't worry. You can literally see him. He's right outside. But there's no way that he's gonna be able to be in the digital circus. I am not letting him in. Alright, Kane, I know you're saying that. So I'm literally just gonna leave him on the street, okay? Yes, Jax. Thank you so much. I just don't want anyone else being in the amazing digital circus. There's already too many people. Alright, Kane, I know that. Well, uh, I'm just gonna go to my room. Alright, Jax. Alright, so let's see. This is Pomni's room, okay? Well, it seems like her clothes are actually right here. Perfect. So let me grab the red and let me grab the blue and the yellow. And I can't forget her hat. And now I'm gonna go downstairs and give it to Speaker Man. Hopefully he'll be able to get in. Oh, uh, where's Jax? He's literally been inside the digital circus for like 10 minutes now. Dude, I'm literally right here. Now, come on. We gotta go. Wait, what the heck? Where are we even going, Jax? I'll tell you in a second. We just gotta get away from the amazing digital circus. Uh, alright. Alright, Speaker Man. So, come inside of here, and I need you to take all this stuff. Wait a second. What's inside of there? Well, Speaker Man, I took Pomni's extra clothes, and I'm gonna give them to you. And you're gonna put them all on, and you have to disguise as Pomni. Because that is literally going to be the only way that you're gonna be able to spend the night. You want me to disguise as Pomni? Yeah, because if you disguise as Pomni, then Kane won't even suspect a thing. And then you'll finally be able to stay at the amazing digital circus. Oh my gosh. That is a great idea. Well, here, take the clothes and put them on fast. Because it's starting to get nighttime. All right, Jax, yeah, here. Let me go put the clothing on real quick. And oh my gosh, look at me. I look exactly like Pomni. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. You literally look so hilarious. But don't worry, you look like Pomni. So I think you'll be able to get in the amazing digital circus. Really, Jax? All right. Well, let's head over to the digital circus. And let's see if I can get inside. And we're back now, Speaker Man. So make sure you act like Pomni, okay? All right, Jax, yeah, I will. Hello, Kane, we're back. Oh, hey there, Jax. And hey there, Pomni. Uh, uh, hey there. 
here? It's really good to see you guys. But wait a second. Where is that speaker man? Oh, speaker man? Uh, I actually put him back into the adoption center. Because you said that there's no way that he's going to be able to stay here, Kane. All right. Thank you so much, Jax. Yeah, no problem. Well, guys, I'm getting really tired, so I think I'm going to head to bed. All right. Good night, Pomni. All right. Good night, Pomni. But wait a second. Why is Pomni running to the crib? Oh, my gosh. I'm so tired. Now I can just head to bed. And why does Pomni sound like that? Oh, uh, wait. What, what Kane? Hey, Pomni, why aren't you sleeping in your real bed? And why do you just sound like a man for a second? Oh, what do you mean? This is my real bed. Uh, no, Pomni, that isn't your real bed. Now, come on, let's go to your real bed, Pomni. Uh, okay, Jax. Wait a second, you are Pomni? You're Speaker Man. Uh, uh no, 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 I'm not Speaker Man. Yeah, no, this isn't Speaker Man, Kane, this is Pomni. Yes, it is Speaker Man, because you showed him this crib earlier. And if it really was Pomni, then why did she go to the crib? And look, there's literally speakers on your back. Oh my gosh, Kane, I guess you caught me. Well, Kane, please don't kick him out. You've literally been kicking him out all day. You gotta understand, I adopted him. He's my son now. So come on, Kane. Please let him stay. It's literally nighttime now, and he's gonna have nowhere to sleep. Oh, you know what? That Pomni disguise was actually a really good idea. And it almost worked. So you know what? I'll let you stay at the Digital Circus, Speaker Man. Wait a second. Yo, let me stay at the Digital Circus? No way. Thank you so much, Kane. Yup, no problem. I know you really want to stay here really bad. Thank you so much for rethinking your decision, Kane. Yup, no problem. Oh, now I'm able to stay in the... Oh, uh, where am I right now? Whoa, why are we trapped in a one heart together, Speaker Man? Did you make this for me? Wait a second, camera woman. I did not make this one heart, and honestly, that was your idea why we're on here together. Oh my gosh, well, this is perfect, because I have a huge crush on you. Oh, I finally made it. Sorry about that, camera woman. I am the one that built the one heart, because I am truly in love with you. Uh, TV man, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? I said I built the one heart. Wait a second, what is Speaker Man doing here? Uh, Speaker Man, how did you get here? Dude, I literally just spawned here, and I got no idea why. Well, you are not supposed to be here, so uh, get off the one heart. Come on, get out of here. Whoa, dude, I'm not gonna get out of the one heart. Stop it. And you know what? How about you get off the one heart? I was here first. Wait a second. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's what you get. Oh my gosh, but Speaker Man, this is my one heart. Therefore, you're not allowed on here. So let me be with Camera Woman in peace. Uh, well, TV Man, I actually like Speaker Man. Wait, what? But I built the one heart for you. Well, this one heart is nice, but I really like Speaker Man. Yeah, so get off this heart, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, how about this? Let's do a build battle on whoever wins gets to stay on the one heart. But whoever loses has to get off the one heart. Because it's only fair. I'm the one that built this thing and you like Speaker Man. Yeah, so we have to find some way to settle this. Alright, you know what, TV Man? That's actually a good idea. And honestly, whoever wins a build challenge gets Camera Woman's heart. Alright, that sounds like a plan. Well, Speaker Man, you're going down. Yeah, right, dude. Well, Camera Woman, what are you even supposed to be building? I want you to build me! Build you? Uh, alright. Alright, this is gonna be so easy. Well, Camera Woman, we're gonna get to that. And trust me, I'm gonna build a one-to-one -one replica of your beautiful face and I'm gonna win this build challenge. Alright, I can't wait to see. Well, you better get building. Alright, yeah, here, I'll get building. Well, I don't have blocks yet, so I have to mine this lucky block real quick. Yeah, perfect. I got all the blocks I need. So now I can get started on building your beautiful face, so I'm gonna bridge out here and perfect. I think this is far enough. Hey, look at me, camera woman. I'm already building your face. Wow, you're making a lot of progress, TV man. Yep, I sure am. And my build is going to be way better than speaker man, so trust me. Bro, I know it's not. You're gonna see TV man after her head is done. I'm literally gonna be able to stay on this one block with her for life. Yeah, right. Whatever you say. I gotta start building the outline of her beautiful face. So I'm gonna make it just like this. And I have to build up some and let's see. How many blocks down here? One, two, three, four. And then I build one, two, three, four up. All right, perfect. Well, now I have to play some blocks just like that. Now I can build it over here as well. And this is turning out so good so far. And honestly, I cannot wait to see what it looks like when it's finished. Bro, look how small your build is. And it's not even round like a camera. Oh my gosh, you're literally gonna lose this speaker, man. You suck. Wait a second. Oh my goodness. Your build is like 10 times bigger than mine. You know what? I'm gonna get rid of my build. I'm gonna redo just it. Just like this. Let me extend it real quick, just like that. And then I'm gonna build up like that. And how many blocks is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, perfect. Seven blocks. So I have one right here. Then I have to build up one just like that. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And perfect. I made it tall enough, so I gotta build over here real quick. And guys, my circle is literally complete. Uh, speaker man, your circle's a little uneven. Wait, uh, what do you mean? If you look back here, it's really uneven. Oh my gosh, are you serious? What the heck? Why is my thing literally lopsided? Oh, uh -huh, that thing looks so trash. Do you think I have a lopsided face? No, no, I do not think that. Well, here, look. I think I just fixed it. All right, phew. I was about to get upset. Yeah, I was sorry about that, camera woman. Uh, I still think it looks pretty lopsided. Right, no, it does not, TV man. Well, camera woman, here, come here real quick. I need to see your beautiful face. And okay, now I know how to make it. It's gonna look like a one-to-one -one replica of you. All right, I can't wait to see how it turns out. Yeah, me too. Hey, look at this, camera woman. Wow, you're making a lot of progress, TV man. Yup, I sure am. And this thing is going to look exactly like you. Let's hope it does. 
Well, guys, right now I'm building it inside of my face. But I realized Camera Woman has a visor around her head. So I'm going to have to build that as well. So I'm going to play blocks like this. And then I'm going to extend it by one more like that. And perfect. Hey, TV man. I bet you didn't realize that she had a visor on her head. Uh, no, Speaker Man. I actually realized that. And I just built it. Wait a second. What? Oh, my gosh. You're such a copycat. How am I a copycat? You're literally the one that's losing this thing. No, dude. I'm not going to lose this thing. You know what? I'm fed up with you saying that. Guys, earlier I mined that lucky block and I got all these chickens. So you know what? I'm going to go over to this base. I'm going to release them on them. And he is going to get so upset. Well, here. TV man, I have a present for you, dude. You have a present for me? Uh, okay. It better be something good. Yeah, it sure is. It's your favorite food ever. Oh, uh, okay. What's my favorite food ever? It's chicken. Take that. Oh, chicken. It's so cute. Wait a second. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> that's what you get, TV man. Hey, speaker man. That's not fair. You're not allowed to sabotage him. Oh, uh, speaker man. Why did you do that? Well, did you really make me mad? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm going to give revenge to you. Give me that lucky block. Hey, 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 stop it, dude. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, I'm gonna head back to my base. Please do not come over, okay? We can end the beef already. No, we're not gonna end the beef. Take my ketchup! Bro, oh my gosh, stop spraying ketchup on me. That's what you get, Speaker Man. Now, never come anywhere close to my base ever again. Oh my gosh, dude, okay. I won't come back for a while, but guys, honestly, after I'm dead extending her head, I think I'm gonna come over to his base and prank him again, because we're literally in a prank war right now. So, you know what? I'm just gonna go down here, and oh my goodness, I literally fell into the void but wait a second, I believe it's let's go. Well, this is kind of awkward. I guess I have to just fly up to camera room's head again. And I made it up. All right, perfect. Well, now that I'm back up, I can extend her head. But wait a second. This is literally taking forever, huh? Maybe there's a way to make faster. it faster. Let me think. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure inside of the lucky block, there's a special one that can make this process go 10 times faster. So you know what? I'm going to mine it real quick and let's see. Hopefully, I get it. Come on, come on. Give me the magical building one. Come on, come on in. Wait a second. I literally just got it. Speaker man, what is that on your hand? Well, okay. Everyone, I'm glad you asked. This is literally the magical building one. So I can literally click here and then click here. And then I can press slash on set dirt. And look at that. The whole entire ground just turned into dirt. Oh my gosh, you just ruined the one heart. But that is pretty cool. Yeah, I know. Well, here. I think I can undo. So let me do slash slash undo and perfect the one heart back to how it was. And you know what? I'm going to head back to your beautiful head. I'm going to start using this wand. All right. I can't wait to see how it looks when it's done. Yeah, me too. It's going to look so amazing. Well, I'm going to build up just like this. And I honestly think this is too long. So I'm going to mine backwards real quick. And this should be long enough right here. So let me place one block right there and one right here. And let me select a position. And then I'm going to select one more up here. And perfect. Now if I use a command slash slash that bedrock and the whole entire wall turns into bedrock. And look, that literally sped up everything so fast. So now I barely even have to build it anymore. Hey, Speaker Man, look at my build. I have already made a one-to-one -one replica of Camera Woman's face. Hold on, dude. Wait a second. I forgot to build all of her eyes. Oh my gosh. Obviously, you forgot to build her eyes because you don't even care about her. Bro, what? Are you serious? I obviously care about her. Yeah, but it seems like you don't even care enough to build her eyes. Dude, that was just an accident. Come on. Oh my gosh, guys. He's really making me mad. You know what? After I finish this pillar right here, though, I'm gonna head over to his base and I'm gonna prank him even more. Well, here, let me go down real quick. Now I have to extend this all the way back to the other side. Just about here. Now I can right-click and I can set this as bedrock. Well, my camera woman head is coming along so amazing. But look at your speaker, man. That thing literally looks so trash. It literally just looks like a gigantic cardboard box. Dude, it is not a cardboard box. Come on. Oh, I can't believe he's saying that. You know what? I literally am about to finish it. Let me set this as bedrock one more time. And perfect. Now I'm literally gonna go to his base and I'm gonna prank him so much. So let me just walk to the middle and uh, dude, I'm literally coming back over. And this time it's not to give you some chickens. Okay, Speaker Man, uh, what are you gonna give me this time? Well, dude, I'm gonna give you an explosive pumpkin. Wait a second, what the heck? Hey, what is that for? Get out of here. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, 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 stop hitting me. Okay, okay. But that's what you get. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. Why do you do that? You know what? Well, I'm done playing games. You better watch your back, buddy. All right, yeah. Keep on saying that, dude. And guys, that is a prank successful. Well, here. I'm gonna head back to my base so I can start working on Camera Woman's beautiful face. And to finish her face, I have to add all of her eyes. So let me get the blocks real quick. And now I can start working on it again. Oh, boys. You have a few minutes left until I judge your builds. Wait a second. A few minutes left? I'm not even close to being finished. Wait a second. What? We only got a few minutes left. I literally just finished your face. And I still haven't even built the inside yet. Well, you better get to work. I'm judging.
launching soon. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. Well, guys, this is bad. I only got a few minutes left. So I got to start working on the inside, but hold on. I literally don't have any blocks to make the inside bright. So I have to go back to the lucky block real quick and I have to keep on mining it. And hopefully I wait a second. Uh, TV man, what are you doing? What is that? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. Dude, what was that for? That's what you get, speaker man. I'm going to sabotage you and make sure you don't finish your build. Oh my goodness. Well, dude, I'm almost done. I just need a few more blocks from the lucky block. And after I get these blocks, I can literally start making the inside of my beautiful build. Oh, here. I think I just got the light blocks. So now I can head back to my base and I can light up the inside. Hey, speaker man, take this. Wait a second. What is that? Ouch. Dude, stop pranking me. Ha uh ha. -huh, I'm going to make sure that you never finish this build. Oh my gosh, dude. Whoa, wait a second. Where do you even go? Uh, behind you and I'm going to let out a stinky fart. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, oh my gosh. That stinks so much. I got to get out of here. Dude, oh my gosh. I got to get out of here too. Guys, you only got two more minutes left. Come on. Two more minutes? Are you serious? And he farted in my build so Oh my gosh. You're literally pranking me so much. And that's two more minutes that I get the prank speaker, man. I'm not going to let you finish your build, speaker, man. All right, dude. Whatever you say. Well, I'm almost done. But I need some blocks so I can finish the inside. So I got to mine this one block again. And hopefully I get the blocks I need. Come on, come on, come on. And perfect, I did. So now that I have these blocks, I can go back to the base. And I can finish up the inside of Camera Woman's beautiful head. Well, right here, I'm going to add a humongous couch. So Camera Woman, I can sit on it. And right here, I'm going to add a TV as well. And this is turning out so good right now. Oh, speaker man, I have a present for you again. Bro, another present? Let me finish this. I only have like one minute left. Nope, dude, I'm not going to let you finish this fart again. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, uh, I'm going to get you. All right, yes, speaker man, come and get me. Uh, where do you even go, dude? I'm right here. Take this. Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Dude, what the heck? You just made me fly. Ha <laughs> ha, you are never going to finish your build, speaker man. I'm going to win camera woman's love. Boys, only 30 seconds left. Hold on, 30 seconds. Can you add some more time to that, please? Please. No can do. Finish fast. Hurry up. Oh, my gosh. This is so bad. I haven't even made our bed yet. Well, here. Let me place that real quick. I got so much stuff I need to add as well. Well, the bed is finished now. So, I have to add the upstairs floor. Come on. Come on. I have to make a whole humongous floor. I'm going to add so much stuff up here. But wait a second. I literally got, like, no time. So, I have to speed around this fast. Boys, you have five seconds left. Wait a second. Five seconds? I didn't even finish my build. Wait, what? You didn't finish? Oh, my gosh. Well, look at this. I just finished the second floor. I got to add something up here quick. But, oh, my my gosh, I think the time is up. And boys, your time is up. Come to the middle so I can start judging your builds. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, honestly, I think my camera woman built a super duper good. It was like a one-to-one -one replica of your face, so I swear I'm gonna win this. Oh my gosh. I was so busy pranking Speaker Man, making sure that he didn't finish. I didn't even finish my own build. Well, my camera woman actually looks way better than yours, Speaker Man, so I still think I'm gonna win this thing. Yeah, right. Mine really looks like a one-to-one -one replica of her face. All right, boys, stop the arguing. Now it's time to judge. All right, camera woman, well, whose face are you gonna judge? first. I am gonna go to TV Man's first. All right, perfect. You're just saving the best for last. Oh, wait. You're going to my base first? Uh, okay, okay. Well, uh, here is my camera woman. It is an exact one-to-one -one replica of your face, and I also have camera turrets outside to defend us. Wow, it looks so beautiful! Yeah, it sure does. Well, follow me inside, and uh, I didn't really finish anything in the inside because I was so busy pranking Speaker Man. But here is a bed, and a bed is basically all we need. Because all we need to do is sleep. And we also have some chests right next to the bed just in case we need to eat some beans. Oh my gosh, dude, that stinks. Ew, what was that? Whoopsie daisy. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I kind of forgot that you were here, camera woman. Oh my gosh, dude. That smells a little stuck in my speakers. Wow, well, TV man, I think this looks so amazing. I love all the blue. Well, thank you so much, camera woman. I'm glad you like like it. I give you a nine and a half out of ten. Nine and a half out of ten? Are you serious? Yep, I'm serious. Speaker Man, your house better be better than his. Yeah, trust me, it is. Oh my gosh, guys. You literally got a nine and a half out of ten. Well, honestly, I'm confident that my build is gonna beat him. So let's go to my build and hey, camera woman, welcome to your face. Uh, what the heck am I looking at? Oh, uh, your beautiful face. This looks hideous. What did you do? Yeah, this does not look like camera woman at all, dude. You are definitely gonna lose this thing, Speaker Man. No, dude, trust me, uh, I'm gonna win this, okay? Well, guys, let me show you around inside. Okay, the inside is, uh, nice, I guess. Yeah, I know. Well, here, there's a little humongous couch right here where we can watch TV at. And there's also a bed in, uh, ignore the room above us because I did not have time to fill that in. Uh, Speaker Man, why is it so dark in here? I can barely even see anything. Bro, what do you mean? There's literally lights right here. You must 
be blind or something. Yeah, it is a little gloomy feeling. But I do like the TV and the couch. But pink is not my favorite color. I thought all girls like pink. No, dude. She is little Carol and she likes blue. Oh my gosh, why did I not think of that? Yes, yeah, speaker man, it doesn't seem like you know me very well. Well, guys, I know who the winner is. Let's go back to the one hunt. All right, Carol, man, guys, hopefully it's me. Because I swear this build looks just like her face. Well, let's go back to the one heart and camera woman who is a winner okay drum roll please okay come on come on come on please be me the winner is tv man yes yeah, i knew wait i won a second i thought you just said speaker man oh my gosh i would never choose yours in a hundred years what are you serious but we're meant to be together please do not kick me off the one heart well actually i had changed feelings i like tv man more see i knew i would win speaker man and that's why i built this one heart just for you camera woman oh i love you so much tv man i love you too mm -hmm. Bro, are you serious? Well, Speaker Man, before you go, we want to give you a nice special treat. A special treat? Oh, uh, okay, what is it? Yep, just turn around and look at your house. Oh, uh, all right, what is there? And watch it get exploded! Wait a second, what the heck? Why are you destroying my house? Wow, this is so amazing. Because it looks hideous. Oh my gosh, I just spent so long on that. Well, Speaker Man, it seems like you have to get off the one heart now. Hasta la vista. No, wait, what the heck? Oh, good morning, world. Today is going to be such a great day. Well, to start off my day, I'm going to head downstairs and get some breakfast. And after that, I'm going to go hit the gym. So let me get my bananas real fast. And oh, I love bananas so much. Well, now it's time to go hit the gym. And I'm going to hit my personal record today. Let's go. Oh, oh, come on. I can do it. Yes, sir. I literally just benched 500 pounds. Oh, wait a second. I'm getting a call. Uh, hello. Who is this? Hey there, speaker man. Oh, hey there, camera woman. What's up? Hey, speaker man. I just wanted to call you and say that my sister is in town and she really wants to meet you. What, she wants to meet me? Uh, all right. So do you think we could come by? Uh, yeah, sure, you guys can come by. All right, perfect. We'll be there in five minutes. Okay, see you soon. Uh, guys, that was kind of weird. She's called me out of nowhere. She literally just said that her sister's by and she wants to see me. Well, I better go upstairs to get prepared. And I'm gonna change my clothes real fast, so let's see. What do I have? Oh, huh, well, I have my tuxedo, so I guess I'll just put this on. And they should be here any moment now, so I'm gonna head downstairs. And I'm just gonna wait for them. Oh, speaker man, we're here. Whoa, what? That was fast. Uh, hey there, guys. Hey, Speaker Man. This is my sister. Her name is Camera Lady. Oh, uh, hey there, Camera Lady. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too, Speaker Man. Well, would you guys like to come inside? Sure, we'll come inside. All right, guys. Welcome to my house. Wow, Speaker Man. Your house is so big. Yeah, I know. Well, Camera Lady, why are you in town? Well, because I miss my sister so much. And I heard about you, and I wanted to meet you. What? You wanted to meet me? Yes, I heard so many good things about you. Oh, really? You're making me blush. Well, guys, do you want to play a fun game? Yeah, what's the fun game? Well, how about we play Truth or Dare? Ooh, Truth or Dare. That's my favorite one. Oh, it is awesome. Well, guys, who wants to go first? Oh, I'll go first. Oh, all right, camera woman. Well, Truth or Dare? Um, I'm gonna say Dare. Oh, all right. Well, camera lady, what should we dare her to do? Ooh, I have a funny idea. Really? What is it? We should dare her to jump in the pool with her clothes on. Oh, no, wait. That's such a great idea. Okay. Well, camera woman, we have a dare for you. Um, yeah. What's your dare? We dare you to jump inside my pool with your clothes on. What? Jump inside the pool? Are you serious? Yes. I don't want to do that. Oh, come on, sis. It'll be so funny. Uh, all right. Well, I guess we're playing truth or there, so it seems like I actually have to do it. But, uh, speaker man, you don't even have a pool. Oh, uh, yeah, I do. Look right here. I have a massive inside pool. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, uh, here we go. Make sure you guys have a towel for me because I'm going to get really wet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's so cold in here. I need a towel right now. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, everyone, but we do not have any towels. What, speaker man? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm gonna get so much revenge on you, Speaker Man. That was not a funny dare. Honestly, it kind of was. Well, guys, I guess I'm up next, so I want to dare. Yes, what should we dare him? Well, Speaker Man, I dare you to hop on the table and chicken dance. What? Are you kidding me? That's all I can think of? Oh, uh, all right. I will do that even without a dare. So here, let me hop on the table real fast. And now I'm doing the chicken dance. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, you're so funny. Let me get a photo of this. Wait, what? No, no, no. Don't take a photo of me. I'm so embarrassed. And post it to all social media. Oh my gosh. Gosh, she didn't have to do that. Speaker man, your dance is so funny. Well, uh, camera lady, truth or dare? Uh, I choose dare. What, guys? We've all chosen dare. Yeah, we're twinsies. Well, speaker man, what should her dare be? Well, honestly, I think we should let her decide. Oh, me decide my own dare? Yeah, you can decide your own dare. All right, speaker man, well, I dare myself to go on a date with you. You want to go on a date with me? Yes, I've liked you for so long. What? Are you saying you have a crush on me? And what do you mean you liked him so long? You literally met him today. Well, sister, I follow his social media posts, and I see all of them, and they're so funny. 
me. Well, Speaker Man, it seems like you have to go on a date with Camera Lady. Yeah, it sure seems that way. Yay, I'm so excited. Yeah, I can tell. Well, Camera Lady, where do you want our date to be? Huh, let me think. Oh, uh, all right. How about we go to the coffee shop? The coffee shop? Oh, uh, okay, sure. Well, guys, I'll be seeing you later. Yep, see you around. Bye, Camera Woman. And Camera Lady, now we're at the coffee shop. Yay, I'm so excited. I love coffee. Uh, head downstairs, guys. Wait a second. Whoa, Timmy, why are you working here? Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. Oh, I got a new job. And I work at Starbucks Coffee now. Bro, did you get fired from your other job? Uh, maybe I got fired. I don't really know. Oh, my gosh, little Timmy. Well, we're here on a date. And I want you to get this girl some coffee. Wait a second. You're here on a date? Uh, what the heck happened to Speaker Woman? Wait, who's Speaker Woman? Oh, uh, she's no one. Little Timmy, shut up. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. So it seems like you guys actually broke up or something. No, no, no. Shut up, bro. Just get this girl some coffee. Uh, Camel Lady, what coffee would you like? Huh, I think I will have a cappuccino, please. A cappuccino? Uh, I don't even know what that is, but I, I guess I'll look around. All right, thanks a lot, little Timmy, and we'll be sitting over here at the chair. Well, Speaker Man, I really, really like you, and I can see a future with us. What, you can? Uh, we literally just met today. I know, but it feels like it's been a lifetime. Yeah, but it really hasn't. So let's just see how this first date goes, and maybe we can have a second date later. Uh, okay, whatever. Well, where is my cappuccino? Yeah, Timmy, where's your cappuccino? Uh, dude, I'm literally trying to find it. I don't know where it is, and I'm trying to make it right now, okay? Give me a second. Let me get it for you. Here it is. Oh, it was right there. Okay, that makes a lot of sense because that is literally like the cappuccino machine. Well, uh, lady, here is your coffee. Uh, it's about time. Yeah, I know, lady. I'm sorry, but please don't be angry at me. It's only my first day here. Uh, all right, kid. Well, let's see how this tastes. <laughs> this tastes disgusting. Uh, why do you spit it all over my face? Uh, what do you mean it tastes disgusting, lady? I literally just spent so much time making that coffee and it was so delicious. Well, you should go back to whatever job you used to be at. What? You want me to go back to the grocery store? I literally got Fired. Well, you shouldn't be working here. Take that. Oh, my gosh, lady. What the heck was that for? You literally just threw a coffee at me and knocked me over, and it's all over my face now. What? You are such a mean person. Speaker Man, do not date this lady. She's too crazy. Hey, kid, be quiet. Come on, Speaker Man. Let's go. Uh, okay, girl. I'm sorry, little Timmy. Speaker Man, you better not date her. Oh, camera lady, why do you do that? Because he is such a bad barista. He should be fired. Well, that kid's my friend, and that was literally his first day there. Well, tell him to do better next time. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I will. Well, what do you want to do now? Well, how about we go and get me a new dress? What? Why? Are you kidding me? Aren't girl dresses so expensive? Uh, yeah, they are, but clearly you have some money. What? Who said I have some money? Oh, my gosh. Your house did. All right, whatever. I guess we can go there. But please do not be mean to the people. Okay, I can't promise anything, though. These people are so silly. And here is the store where you can buy your dress. All right, well, hey, Mr. Old Man, I want a dress. Oh, hey there, fellow teenagers. No cap. W. Riz. Uh, what are you even saying? Yeah, this guy's kind of weird, uh. Uh, mister, can you just show us where the dresses are? Can I show you where the dresses are? Uh, yeah, fellow teenagers, no cap. Well, here are the dresses right over here. Oh, there's so many pretty options. Hey, dude, W. Riz. Oh, uh, dude, why are you talking like that? Because I'm hip with the kids, no cap. Well, uh, Miss Lady, when you find your dress, you can come back to me, no cap. And I'll tell you the price, fellow teenager. Okay, thank you, I guess. Yeah, and camera lady, I gotta tell you something. Please do not get a super duper expensive dress. Because I'm kind of broke right now. What? What do you mean you're broke? I just found the prettiest dress ever. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm kind of broke, but yeah, that dress is pretty pretty. What? But I love this dress. It's so expensive, though. Yeah, I know, but I have no money, so I can't buy it for you. I'm sorry. Then go next door to the bank and give me some money. What? Go to the bank? Why do you want me to go to the bank? So you can steal some money, of course. What? Stealing money? I'm not stealing money. You're so crazy. Okay, fine. I'll do it myself, then. Wait, what? You're gonna do it yourself? Oh, my gosh. Hey, wait a second. Come back here. No cap. You're stealing my dress. Hey, hey, look what I got. I got a key card. Wait, what? Uh, what's that key card do? It opens the door, silly. Yeah, it sure does. Well, what are we gonna do now? Well, I've been carrying this baby with me for so long, and finally, I can use it. Wait, what? You got a C4? Oh, my gosh. And now it's time to go. What, Carol? When you're actually stealing all the money? Oh, my gosh. And hey, where do you just go? I went down the vent. Come with me. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is so bad. Camera woman, sister is literally so crazy. And where even are we? Uh, oh, camera lady, where even am I? We're underground right now. Go up that staircase and find the exit. Uh, all right, yeah. And whoa, hold Okay, that was pretty cool, but camera lady, you cannot steal. Now the police are gonna come after us. That's the fun of it. Wait, what? No, no, no. That is not fun at all. Hey, there you are. Give us back that money. What the heck? Camera lady, run fast. Quick run, speaker man. I cannot believe that you stole all that money. Hopefully we don't get arrested. Hey, get back here. You guys robbed the bank. Where did you go? Oh my gosh, the police car's right here. Quick. How do I hear this booze? Oh my gosh, hopefully he doesn't arrest us. Oh my gosh, where have they gone? <laughs> no way. The cop literally just passed us. You, now we can go to your house and hide all this money. Wait, what? No, no, no. We cannot hide all this money in my house. You're so crazy. I 
can't be caught with that money. They'll think I did it. Well, trust me. They won't find me. I'm going to hide in the pool. What? You're going to hide in the pool with all my money? Yep. They'll never find me down here. Hey, there he is. Hey, get back here. Whoa. Uh, hey, Mr. Police Officer. Uh, wh why did you just break this out of my house? Because you're under arrest for robbing the bank. Wait, what? why am I under arrest? I didn't rob the bank. Yes, you did rob the bank. I saw you steal the money. Now get in my cop car. Oh, wait, Mr. Policeman, I can't explain. I was not the one that robbed the bank. I know who did it. Nope, I don't want to hear it. You're the one that robbed the bank. Now I'm going to have to come back and figure out where all that money is. Wait, no, 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 Mr. Policeman, trust me, please. There is a girl named Camera Lady and she was the one that robbed the bank. Well, how do I know that that's true? Because she's in my house right now. She's hiding in the pool with all the money. Wait a second. The money's in your house. Okay, I'm going right now. Yeah, and she should be inside of the pool. And if she's not, you got to check the whole entire house. All right, well, let me look inside of the pool. Oh, lady, are you inside of the pool? And yeah, there she is. Ma'am, you're under arrest. Hey, let go of me. Nope, you are under arrest. Oh, my gosh, that was such a great hiding spot. How do you find me? Because your friend snitched on you. Now, you guys are both going to jail for robbing the bank. Wait, we both are? Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh speaker man, this wouldn't happen if you snitched on me. Yeah, and this wouldn't happen if you robbed the bank. You're literally the craziest person I've ever met in my life. All right, you two, get out of the car. And I'm going to put you guys in a jail cell. Oh, all right, Mr. Police Man. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man, you're literally the worst robber ever. Well, I wasn't the one who robbed it. Hey, Mr. Police Man, let me out. No, I'm not letting you out. You're the one that robbed the bank. Now, you guys are going to be in here for the rest of your life. No, dude. Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh, I cannot believe that we're in the jail cell right now. And honestly, camera lady, this has to be the worst day I've ever been on my life. What do you mean? It's been so much fun. No, it hasn't. You're out of the bank and you stole that dress. And you're so crazy. What do you mean I'm crazy? Dude, you literally did so much bad stuff today and I do not want to go on a second date with you. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, I'm going to go to bed then. All right. Good night. Uh, and guys, honestly, I think I'm going to try to figure out a way to get out of here. Because I really do not want to be stuck in a jail cell with her for the rest of my life. Well, here, let me check the sink real fast. And no, there's no exit there. We'll hop out the toilet. Let's see. And oh, there's no exit on here either. Well, huh? here, let me see under the bed real fast. And no, wait a second. Guys, look right up here. There is literally a ventilation system. So maybe I can hop inside of there and then sneak out. Oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. So here, let me go up here and let me jump up and no way. I'm literally in the vent right now. So let me just walk out here real fast. And yes, sir, I escaped. And I finally escaped. And I'm never going on a date with a camera woman's sister ever again. And guys, honestly, I think I have to go find a new... Oh gosh, I literally had the craziest dream last night. I had a dream that I had a speaker man family. Well, good thing it's not real because I cannot deal with a family. Like, imagine if I had a baby and a wife and stuff. That would be so terrible. Well, here, let me go get my breakfast real fast. Oh, good morning, honey. I got your breakfast already. Wait, what the heck? Who are you? Speaker man, I'm your wife. Huh? You're my wife? What do you mean? We've been married for five years. Five years? Huh? I don't even know you. Wait a second. Who is that? Oh, hey, yo, daddy. That's Speaker Junior. Speaker Junior? Is that my son? Yes, I'm your son. Do you not remember me, daddy? Uh, no. I don't even know who the heck you are. <laughs> Oh, wait a second. Where are you going, son? Speaker man, what's going on with you? Oh, uh, nothing's going on with me. What's going on with you guys? Did he break into my house? What? No. This is our house. It's not just your house. Yeah, Dad. We literally live here. Oh, uh, honestly, guys, I don't care if you think you live here, but I need you out of my house right now. Speaker man, calm down. No, I'm not going to calm down. I have no idea who you guys are, so get out. How about you just come over here and eat some breakfast with me, and we can figure out what's going on? Oh, my gosh. All right. Daddy, I don't like you anymore. I'm going to cause havoc to the city. Wait, what the heck, son? You're going to cause havoc to the city? Yes, Daddy. You're super duper mean. You made me cry. What? No, 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 son. Do not cause havoc to the city. Too bad, Dad. Bye. I'm going on on my own life. Wait, what the heck? No, son. Get back here. What the heck just happened? Speaker man, what have you done? Oh, I guess Speaker Junior's out to cause havoc to the whole entire city and live his own life. Oh, no. This is so terrible. We have to go get him. What? I don't even know who the heck he is. He is your son, Speaker man. He is my son. Oh, my goodness. Oh, guys, this has literally been the weirdest day ever. I just woke up and apparently I have a Speaker man family. And apparently, I have a son that's going to cause havoc to the whole entire city now. So, you know what? Speaker wife, I guess I'll help you. All right, good. We have to stop him. Yeah, we sure do. Well, speaker wife, let's go. No, come on. We got to take the car. Wait, what? Take the car? Yeah, the car. Come on. Uh, what the heck? I never knew that I had this car. Wait, what do you mean? We got it on our anniversary. What? We got it on our anniversary? Yeah, we did. Whatever. We just got to go and find Junior. Uh, all right, yeah. Here, let's go find Junior. All right, speaker woman. Well, what do you think our son Junior would be? Well, maybe he could be at the bank. He really likes his money. What? He likes money? Are you serious? Yep, he's just like you. Uh, all right, wait a second. I could have sworn I just saw him walk upstairs. So let me just do this until we go there with all the money. Wait a second. Did you see that? I swore I just saw an explosion. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> There's smoke. 
Oh my gosh, this is bad. Speaker one, stay right there. Oh, hello, Junior. Are you inside of the vault? Oh, look who it is. It's my daddy. Junior, what the heck? You exploded the whole entire Brookhaven vault and stole money? Yep, I sure did because you don't want to be my daddy anymore. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Son, please return the money. And I'll go back and be your daddy, okay? I do not want anything bad to happen. No, daddy, you made me cry and I'm stealing your car now. Wait, what the heck? You're stealing my car? Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm going to be a millionaire. Junior, come back here. Oh my gosh, Speaker Woman, this is so bad. He just robbed a bank and stole my car. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that this is happening right now. Our son is causing so much havoc. Yeah, he is, but he's probably going to cause even more, so we got to stop him. Yeah, we sure do. Well, let's figure out where he is so we can stop him. Meanwhile. Ah, uh, yes, I made it to the ice cream store. And now it's time to rob it. <laughs> hello there, man. Oh, hello there. Wait a second. Are you Speaker Man's son? Ah, uh, yes, I'm Speaker Man's son. And I'm here to rob your store. Oh my gosh, bro. You're here to rob my store? Okay, okay. Take all my money. No, I don't want your money. I want your ice cream. Now, give me ice cream right now. Oh, okay, bro. Okay. Here you go. Take all the ice cream. Take all the ice cream. Mm, yummy. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. That guy's so crazy. I need to call Speaker Man right now. Oh, TV woman. We've literally been searching around the whole entire brocade, but we still can't even find Junior. I know. We've been searching for like an hour. Yeah, we sure have. Wait a second. I'm getting a phone call. Uh, hello? Who is this? Hey, Speaker Man. It's little Timmy. Your son literally just came into the ice cream store and robbed it. He literally took all my ice cream. Wait a second, little Timmy. My son robbed your ice cream store? Yes, he did. And I need you to get over here fast. He's about to leave. He's about to leave? No way. Oh my goodness, TV woman. Junior is at the ice cream store and he just robbed it. Oh my gosh, he's going to be in so much trouble. Yeah, here, quick. Let's run to the ice cream store. Wait a second. Look, there's our car. <laughs> Wait a second. He's in the car. Oh my gosh, he's so tiny. I didn't even see him. Yeah, me neither. Junior, get back here. I robbed the ice cream store and I'm going to lock myself inside of the house now. Now. Wait, what? You're gonna lock yourself inside of the house? No, wait, Junior, get back here. Haha, <laughs> I get to eat my ice cream and pee. You are being such a bad boy. Junior, come on. What is in the house? Yo, Daddy, this is my house now. <laughs> and you are not allowed to come in. Bro, what the heck? Where did he even get that gun from? Oh, I just went to the gun store. And look at this. I get to eat all the ice cream I want. Sugar rush. Oh, my goodness. Speaker <sighs> woman, what are we gonna do now? I don't know, but we have to find a way inside the house. He has a sugar rush. Yeah, he sure does. Well, let's see. Wait a second. The garage is literally open. Oh, well, that was super easy. Yeah, it sure was. Well, let's go inside. And Junior, we're here to stop your sugar rush. Wait a second. How did you get in here, Daddy? You left the garage open, you silly goose. Oh, my gosh. You guys got me. Now, give me your ice cream. Yeah, and you're going in a timeout. Oh, uh, guys, I already finished the ice cream. And I am not going in a timeout, Daddy. I am leaving. Wait, what? Oh, my gosh. Put that gun down. Oh, my gosh, Junior. Don't shoot that gun. Yeah, listen to your mom, son. Hey, hey, I'm running away again. No, get back here, son. No, you are not. Come here. And I'm going to run into the Starbucks and I'm going to destroy the car. Wait, what? No, no, no. Do not destroy that car. Oh, my goodness. This day is literally so crazy. Come on, Speaker Man. We got to stop him. Yeah, we sure do. He is so close to Starbucks. Hey, 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 hey. No, son, stop it. Oh, my goodness. I have destroyed the car. Junior, stop it right now. Yeah, Junior, honestly, I don't think you deserve a timeout. I think you deserve jail time. I don't want to hear it from you, Daddy. You literally said that you don't like me. Well, yeah, and this is why. Because you're crazy and plus, I didn't even want a family. It was just a dream. Well, you know what, Daddy? I'm not going to jail. Oh, uh, yes, you are, son. Hey, wait a second. Put me down, Daddy. Oh, my gosh, I just pooped in my diaper. Oh, that is so gross. Okay, well, I guess the police officers are going to have to deal with that. No, Daddy, don't. Don't take me to jail. You have to learn from your consequences. No, Daddy, I don't want to go to jail. I'm sorry, son. Well, Mr. Policeman, I would like to turn in my son. He's approximately like one years old and he poops himself. And he robbed the bank and he robbed the ice cream store. All right, we'll take him in. Oh, it was that easy. Oh, okay, here we go. Hey, put me down, old man. <laughs> I'm sorry, son, but you have to learn for your consequences. And maybe if you become a nice baby, then you can get out of jail. And here is your jail cell. You are going to be here for the rest of your life. Wait a second. The rest of my life? I'm literally one years old. Bro, please, man, no. We can just keep in here until he learns his consequences. Well, he robbed the bank and he robbed the ice cream store, so that means he has to be in here for life. Sorry. Bro, what? Are you serious? You should have never turned him in. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I probably shouldn't. Well, son, honestly, I'm sorry, but it seems like you're going to have to stay in here for the rest of your life. No, daddy. I don't want to. Well, guys, I guess that's the last time I'm ever going to see my son ever again. Well, now I can just go back to my house and chill. Uh, Dad, I literally just escaped. Wait, what the heck? 
Nick, you escaped? Yes, now don't tell the police officer. But there was a vent inside of the jail cell and I jumped through. Oh my goodness. Why would they put a vent inside of a baby jail cell? I cannot believe it. Well, Daddy, to get revenge on the police station, I am going to run them over with a tank. Huh, a tank? Where are you even going to get a tank from? Oh, I'm going to go get it from Skibbity Toilet. What? Skibbity Toilet? No way. Oh my gosh. Son, get back here. I'm not going to allow you to buy a tank from Skibbity Toilet. I'm going to follow you. No, you're not, Daddy. You can't find me. Oh, uh, son, I literally see you right there. You're hiding behind that thing holding up the sign. Oh, man. Whatever, Daddy. Well, I guess you can follow me. Come on. No, son. I did not want you buying that tank from Skibbity Toilet. Well, too bad, Daddy. You can follow me and watch me buy it. No, son. Do not buy it. Nope, I'm going to. Bro, are you serious? Oh, my goodness. Hello, there, Skibbity Toilet. Hello there. Do you have the money? Yes, I have the money, Skibbity Toilet. Here you go. All right, this is your tank. All right, thank you so much, Skibbity Toilet. And, Dad, get away. Not of my watch, Junior. Hey, get back here. I am going to run over the police station. No, Junior, come on. Stop the tank. Oh, no, this is so bad. I got to get to the police station fast so I can stop Junior. Get Mr. Policeman, quick. Watch out, a tank's going to ram into this place at any moment. Oh, no, we got to get out of here. Yeah, quick, run. And now it's time to destroy the police station. Oh, my goodness. Who the heck is driving that thing? My son is driving that thing. You should have never arrested me, policeman. Now take this. What the heck is that? He just shot at the building. What the heck? Hey, son, stop it. No, Daddy, I will never stop. And you know what? You have been so mean to me. So now it's time to get revenge. Wait, what? Oh, no, no. Put that gun down, son. Any last words, Daddy? Yeah, police, man, arrest him. All right, hey, get over here. No, you're not going to arrest me. Take this. Oh, my gosh, what? You just shot the police officer. Yep, I sure did, Daddy. And all today, you're being super mean to me. You literally made me cry. And you made me so sad, Daddy. So now it's time for my revenge. Wait, what? Uh, what is your revenge, son? Hey, put down the gun. Hasta la vista, baby. Ah! Oh, where am I? Oh, my gosh, guys. I just had the weirdest dream of my life. And the dream was that I woke up from my dream and that I had a family. And I had a super crazy baby. And me and my wife tried to stop him and then I got shot. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that that just happened. Well, I'm going to go downstairs and get some breakfast. What? Oh, speaker, man. This date is going so good. Honestly, I'm really starting to like you. What? You're starting to like me? Oh, honestly? You're pretty funny, so I'm starting to like you, too. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe this right now. It's like we're a match from heaven. Uh, okay, whatever you say, Speaker Woman. Well, Speaker Man, I have a question for you. Oh, uh, okay, what is it? Will you will you date me? Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. Wait a second, what the heck? TV Woman, what are you doing and here? Now, why are your eyes full of hearts? I am your biggest fan, Speaker Man. What, you're my fan? Hey, you aren't his biggest fan. I'm his biggest fan. No, I am, Speaker Woman. Oh, uh, no, I am. No, I am, and I'm going to kiss him. Mwah. Whoa, what the heck? Why did you just kiss me? Oh my goodness, Speaker Man. Are you cheating on me with her? No, I don't even know why she kissed me. Yeah, right. I was a little bit asking if you wanted to date me. You know what? I'm out of here. See ya. Wait, no, Speaker Woman. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. Uh, TV Woman, what is wrong with you? Why would you kiss me directly in front of her? And we aren't even dating her or anything. Well, because I'm your biggest fan. And I will do anything for your love, Speaker Man. I'll even shoot someone. Bro, what the heck? You shoot someone? Oh, my goodness. You're literally my crazy fan, girl. Yeah, I know I am, Speaker Man. Well, come here and give me another kiss. No, no, no. I'm not going to give you another kiss. I got to get rid of you. What? You got to get rid of me? You can never get rid of me, Speaker Man. Oh, uh, really? I can't. Well, uh, here, trust me. I will by the end of the day. No, Speaker Man. There is no way that you can get rid of me. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Put down the gun. No, I won't. Now go on a date with me. Go on a date with you? Oh, my goodness. I really want to get rid of you, though. Oh, man. I guess I'll go on a date with you, but after the date, you have to promise that you'll leave me because you literally ruined my relationship with Speaker Woman. Well, Speaker Man, after our date, I'm not going to leave you. Instead, I want to go back to your house. Bro, what? You're going back to my house? What the heck? Now, come on, Speaker Man. Follow me to the date or I'm going to shoot you. What? You're going to shoot me? Oh, my goodness. Well, guys, I guess I have to go on this date with her. Well, trust me. By the end of the day, I'll literally get rid of her. Hey, what are you saying back there, Speaker Man? Uh, nothing. Let's go on the date. And welcome to our date. I can't wait for you to be my boyfriend. What? Be your boyfriend? What the heck? Yes. Now, go ahead and sit down right now. Oh, okay. 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 I'll sit down. Yeah, that's what I thought, Speaker Man. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe that this is happening. Baby woman, why are you my crazy fangirl? Because, Speaker Man, I'm just crazy in love with you. And I am your biggest fan. I want to marry you so badly. And trust me, Speaker Man, I will do anything for your love. Bro, what? You want to marry me now? You are so crazy. Hello there, guys. Welcome to Brooks Diner. What would you like to eat? Oh, hello there, mister. I would like a cheeseburger, and I want you to get him a love potion. Wait, what? You want him to give me a love potion? All right, a love potion? Oh, uh, yeah, that is on the special today, so I guess I'll get you that. Bro, what? No, no, no. Take that off the list. Are you sure you don't want a love potion? It seems like your girlfriend wants you to drink 
naked. Bro, this isn't even my girlfriend. This is TV woman. She is my crazy fangirl. Well, okay. I'm sorry, miss, but no love potion today. No love potion today? What did you just say to me? Oh, put down the gun, TV woman. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I will get him a love potion. Don't worry. Your cheeseburger is coming right off. Yeah, that's what I thought. And speaker man, when you drink this love potion, you are going to be so in love with me. And I am not going to be your crazy fangirl anymore. I am going to be your girlfriend. Bro, I'll be my girlfriend. Oh, man. What have I gotten myself into? Okay, guys, here is your cheeseburger, and here's the love potion. All right, Pookie Bear, drink up. Uh, honestly, I do not want to drink this. Speaker man, I said drink it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Put down the gun. Hey, lady, put down the gun or I'm calling the cops. No, I'm not going to put it down until Speaker man drinks the love potion. Well, I'm not going to drink the love potion, so, uh, hey, mister. Please call the cops on her. All right, I'm calling the cops right now. What did you just say? Did you say you're calling the cops? Yup, and you're going to get arrested. No, I'm not going to get arrested. I'm getting out of here. Speaker man, come with me right now. Wait, what the heck? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay, Mr. Tell the police man to chase us, please. All right, I will. And, uh, TV woman, where are we going to go? Now we're going to go to your house so I can give you so many kisses, Speaker man. What? Give me kisses? Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. But wait a second. Did you even drink that love potion? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I did. <sighs> okay, you better have. And if you didn't, then I'm going to have to use this gun. Uh, okay, well, good thing I drank the love potion. All right, Speaker man. Well, let's just go back to your house. Come on. All right, uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> TV woman, we're at my house. Yes, finally. Now we can have some alone time, Speaker man. Oh, okay, well, I'll meet you upstairs. Hey, guys, this is so bad. Hopefully that guy actually called the police on her, and hopefully the police men are going to be here soon. Oh, Speaker man, where are you? I'm ready to watch some TV. What? Watch some TV? Oh, okay, yeah. And I'm going to give you so many kisses. Kisses? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll just sit right over here. What, Speaker man? Sit right next to me. Come on. No, TV woman, I'm not going to sit next to you. I'm sorry. I said sit next next to me. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. I will sit next to you. I'm sorry. And now it's time for me to kiss you. Hello, police, open up. Oh my gosh, the police got here just in time. Um, wait a second, where are you going? I didn't kiss you yet. Please help me, please. Give me what is a crazy fan girl and I need you to get rid of her. Man, put the gun down. Uh, uh, okay. I'm sorry, Mr. Policeman, it's not what it seems. I was just about to kiss Speaker Man. Nothing else was gonna happen. Yeah, that's a lie. Because I heard from someone that you're making Speaker Man do stuff by threatening him with a gun. What? No, that's not true. Oh, Mr. Police Man, it is true. And right before he got here, he literally put the gun on me again. All right, yeah, that's what I thought. You're getting arrested. What? I'm getting arrested? No, hey, let go of me. Yep, this is what you get. Now you're going to jail and you're going to be locked there forever. Wait a second. No, Speaker Man, let me get a kiss before I get arrested, please. No, TV woman, you're a crazy fan girl. And you're going to stay in jail for the rest of your life. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, I will be back. Don't you worry. Wait, what? You'll be back? Yes, I will, Speaker Man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, that did not sound good at all. I think she's literally gonna break out of jail. And honestly, I don't know what to do anymore. I have to get rid of her once and for all, but how? Uh, let me think. Wait a second. What if I went to the tank store and I bought a tank? And if she came back to me, I could literally run her over. Oh my gosh, that's a great idea. Maybe after I run her over, then she'll stop being my crazy fan girl. So, you know what? I'm gonna head to the tank store right now and I'm gonna purchase a tank. <laughs> Perfect. I made it to the tank shop. So, uh, hey there, mister. I would really like to purchase a tank. All right, what tank would you like to buy? The green one or the green one? Uh, well, let me think. Well, I think I only see the green one, so how about the green one? All right, perfect. Well, that will be about $10,000. Wait, what? $10,000? Oh, my goodness. Yes, $10,000. What do you expect? I'm giving you a discount. Oh, man. All right. Well, I really need the tank, so I guess I'll buy it. Here you go, mister. All righty. Thanks a lot. The tank is yours. All right, perfect. Thanks a lot, mister. And guys, now that I have this tank, I can drive it back to my house. And I'm just going to set it up right outside so I can protect myself. So let's go. Wait a second. What the hell? Heck? Yes, I finally found a way to escape my jail cell. Now it's time to go back to Speaker Man's house. Wait a second. Uh, hello? TV woman? It is literally me in this tank right behind you. Wait a second, Speaker Man. You have a tank? Yeah, I have a tank. I literally just bought this so I can run you over. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. You bought this tank so we could destroy the city together? No, I bought this tank so I can run you over to hopefully make you stop being my crazy fangirl. Why do you want to run me over? Yeah, I sure do. And you know what? I'm going to do it right now. Wait a second, Speaker Man. No. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> this is what you get. Oh my gosh, what happened to me? Oh my goodness. I think it actually worked. Oh, hey there, TV woman. Are you still my crazy fangirl? Oh my gosh, what happened to me? Well, TV woman, you were my crazy fangirl and you were super in love with me. Oh my goodness, I should have never drank that love potion. That's probably why I was so in love with you. I'm so sorry, speaker man. And wait a second, why do I have these orange clothes on? Uh, because you literally got sent to the prison because you kept pulling guns on me. Oh my gosh, speaker man, I am so so sorry. I feel so embarrassed. Well, uh, I'm just gonna go home now. Bye. Well, Pop.
Omni, what flavor of ice cream is that? I got bubble gum. Bubble gum? Oh, my goodness. I have the best joke for this. Really? Uh, all right. What is it? Oh, Omni, why can't agents risk eating bubble gum ice cream? Uh, why? Because they can't risk blowing their cover. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. That's so hilarious. Yeah, I know. I'm so funny. Wow, Speaker Man. That was so hilarious. Jack, so are you being sarcastic? Yes, I'm being sarcastic. That was the worst joke I've ever heard in my life. Well, I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, at least someone likes my joke. All right, well, I'm just going to go get my ice cream then. All right, Jax. Uh, Jax is so boring. I don't really like him anymore. Wait, what? You don't like Jax? Isn't he literally your boyfriend? Yeah, but he doesn't know how to have any fun. Oh, uh, what? Are you serious? Yeah, and you can make me laugh, Speaker Man. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm super duper funny. Well, I was thinking and wondering, do you want to be my new boyfriend? Wait, what the heck? You want me to be your new boyfriend? You're literally cheating on Jax? Yeah, but don't tell him. What, are you serious right now? Um, I cannot believe that this is happening. You're literally cheating on Jax right behind his back. Shush, Speaker Man, be quiet. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Guys, I got my ice cream. What are you guys talking about? Oh, uh, nothing, Jax. Actually, we were talking about something, and it's very important. It's very important. Uh, okay, what is it? Uh, well, Jax, I like Speaker Man a lot more than you, so he's gonna be my new boyfriend. Wait a second, what did you just say, Pomni? Uh-oh. So you're cheating on me? Uh, kinda, I guess. Are you serious right now? Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. I'm sorry, Jax, but I just don't like you anymore. You're not funny like Speaker Man is. Oh my gosh, Pomni! You've really made me mad. Wait a second, Jax, where are you going? I don't know, I'm going somewhere. Oh my goodness, okay. Pomni, this is kinda bad. Yeah, it sure is. I didn't expect for him to react like that. Well, how did he really expect him to react? You literally just told him that you're cheating on him. Well, I thought he was gonna be like, okay, bye, but he seems super duper upset. Yeah, he sure does. Well, hopefully he doesn't take revenge on us for you cheating. Yeah, I hope he doesn't. Well, Speaker Man, what do you want to do now? Well, Pomni, honestly, I was thinking about going to the pool. Ooh, that sounds like so much fun. Yeah, I know. Well, here. The pool is right over there, so let's go. And we're gonna have such a blast. Okay, I'll be right there. I just gotta change into my bathing suit. Uh, okay, Pomni. And honestly, guys, I cannot believe that that just happened. Pomni literally just cheated on Jax right by his back. And I really hope nothing bad happens. Well, I'm just gonna hop in the pool right now. It's Geronimo. Oh, uh, the water feels so nice today. Oh, uh, Speaker Man, I'm here. Geronimo! Wait, Pomni, what the heck? Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was so much fun. This water's so refreshing. Yeah, it sure is. Well, Pomni, do you want to play a game in here? Yeah, let's play Marco Polo. All right, I'll go first. Okay, my eyes are closed. All right, Pomni, well, I'm gonna go right over here. She won't even be able to get me. Okay, Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Marco! Polo! Uh, Speaker Man, why do you sound like that? Uh, Bobney, that's not me. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, Jax, what are you doing with the sword? Wait, Jax is here? Hey there, Pomni. I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh, uh, hey there, Jax. I just wanted to let you know that because you cheated on me, you better watch your back. Because I'm getting revenge on you, Pomni, and you are not ready for it. Uh, Jax, put down the sword, please. That's scaring me a bit. No, I'm not gonna put down the sword, and you guys better be prepared. Hey, <laughs> Oh, uh, wait a second. What the heck just happened? Pomni, that is super duper creepy. Yeah, it sure. It's Jax is gonna take revenge on us now. Yeah, he sure is. Oh, no. Pomni, this is so bad. I honestly think that we should get out of the pool and maybe we should go hide in my house. Yeah, that's a good idea and hopefully he doesn't come there. Yeah, hopefully he does. Well, here, let's go back to the house. Good, quick, get inside my house. But wait a second. What in the heck? It seems like I have a new neighbor. And that neighbor has a castle? That's kind of strange. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, man. Okay. Well, Pomni, let's just go inside my house so we can hide. Yeah, all right. Let's go. Oh, hey there, Pomni. Pomni, I've been expecting you. What the heck? That's Jax's castle. Yep, and I'm coming in. Wait, wait, no, 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 Jax. You cannot come inside. Oh, my gosh. What are you doing? Ah, uh, get this bag off my head. Hey, Jax, where are you taking her? I'm taking her to my castle for revenge. Wait, what? In your castle for revenge? Oh, my goodness. Because this is so bad. Jax literally just kidnapped Pomni. And I have to save her. Oh, man. But I have to somehow get inside of this castle. Oh, wait a second. The front door is literally locked. Are you serious? Oh, my my goodness, I can't believe this right now. Well, here. I'm gonna have to check all around the house, and hopefully there's a way for me to get in. Oh, Speaker Man, where are you? You're next. Wait a second, you just tell him next. Oh, no. This is not good at all. Okay, okay. Well, let me see. Is there any way for me to get in? Oh, my goodness, the front door's literally the only way. Oh, Speaker Man, where are you? Oh, my goodness, the Jacks literally just walked out the front door. Okay, okay. Now is my time to run in, and he's going to stop my house. Oh, no, okay, okay. Well, let's see, where is Pomni, huh? Well, she's not in this room, and she's not in the living room. Oh, Oh my goodness. I really have to fight her quick because if I don't, Jax is literally gonna come back and he's gonna spot me. Maybe she's upstairs. Uh, no, she's not even upstairs. Are you serious? Oh, man. Well, I think I saw a basement. So 
was gonna go downstairs. And maybe she's inside of there. Well, here, let me go down real quick and look. The entrance for the basement is literally right here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go down real quick and oh my goodness, this is so scary. Hey, Pomni, are you here? Yes, I'm down here, Speaker Man. He trapped me in a room. Wait, what? Shh. Pomni, quiet down, okay? What room are you even trapped in? I'm trapped in this cell right here. Wait, what? You're literally inside of the cell. Oh my goodness. Are you alright, Pomni? Yeah, I'm alright. It's just kind of cold in here. Well, here, let me try to get her out real quick. And, oh my goodness, the door's literally locked. I can't get you out, Pomni. Oh no, this is so bad. Hey, what is all that ruckus coming from downstairs? Pomni, I think that was just Shaq's. Okay, okay, I gotta hide real quick. Well, let's see. Is this a good hiding spot? And no, I don't think it is. Well, let me check over here. And oh my goodness, okay, okay. This is the best hiding spot ever. Hey, Pomni, who are you talking to? Oh, I'm just going a little crazy in here, Jack, so I'm talking to myself. All right, Pomni, yeah, that's what I thought. Well, you better not get any ideas of escaping here because this is what you get for cheating on me. Oh, don't worry. I love my cell. And Jax, quick question. How did you get a castle this fast? Oh, Kane just teleported this castle here. What? Kane did this? Oh, my gosh. Yep, he sure did. And you're going to be trapped out here forever, Pomni. But I need to go find your friend, Speaker Man, because I don't know where he really went. Well, good luck inside your cell. Oh, Jax, you're so mean. Pomni, I'm literally right here, okay? Well, I'm going to have to try to get you out of here. Because you're literally stuck in a way in a second. There's literally a humongous axe on the table, so maybe I can use this to open your cell. Wow, well, Speaker Man, you're so smart. Yeah, I know. Well, here, let me grab her real quick. And now I can try to open the door. All right, Pomni, stand back. All right, Speaker Man, get me out of here. All right, Pomni, I'll try. Well, here, let me try real quick. And oh, my goodness. I think it's working. Let me see. Ready, set, open, door. And oh, my goodness. The door will literally open. You can escape now, Pomni. Yeah, you saved me, Speaker Man. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Mwah. Wait a second, Pomni. What in the heck? Why did he just kiss me? Because, Speaker Man, you're my new boyfriend. Wait a second. What did I just hear? Uh. Oh. There you are, Speaker Man. Get over here. Oh, no, Jax. I'm sorry. Run! You guys are both going to pay for cheating on me, and you know what? I'm locking the door. Oh, no. This is Pat Pomni. We got to find a way out of here. There's no way out of here. You guys are trapped here forever. Ha, 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 ha. Jax, you literally went insane. I know I went insane. You should have never cheated on me, Pomni. But wait a second. Uh, where are you guys going? Pomni, quick, run up these stairs. We got to escape from the room. Well, it seems like that room is locked also. Now, what? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna go back to a dungeon and be a good girl and boy? Or are you gonna meet my sword? Okay, Jax, calm down. I think what we're gonna do is run even more. Yeah, get out of here, Jax. Hey, I can't believe you cheated on me. Oh my gosh, get over here. Bobby, come on. Wait a second. This door is locked too. Why are there so many dead ends in your castle, Jax? You're meeting my sword now. Oh my gosh, run. Oh my gosh, he's literally crazy. Yeah, he sure is. Oh no. Let me use my axe and let me try to chop down the front door. I'm perfect. The door can open now. Oh, my gosh. Run out quick. Wait a second. Where are they going? Hey. How did you open the door? Get over here. Oh, no. He's coming inside of the house. Quick, lock the door. Hey, wait a second. Let me in. No way, Pomni. He literally just escaped out of his castle. That was crazy. Jax, I'm so sorry for cheating on you. But I think that was the best option after seeing what you did. Oh, Pomni, I'm sorry. I'm just really jealous that you cheated on me because you are my one true love. So, you know what, Pomni? Here, I got you these. Will you please be my girlfriend again? Please. No, Jax. You literally trapped me inside of a castle. I didn't even know you had a castle. Wait a second. So, you're not going to come back to me? No way. Not in a million years. You know what? I'm done, Pomni. I'm going back to the Amazing Digital Circus, and you're not allowed there anymore. And you can just stay here with your boyfriend, Speaker Man, and me and Kane will be the only ones at the Amazing Digital Circus. Okay, that sounds like a plan. Bye, Jax. And Pomni, now Jax is gone. And I can't believe that you- Oh, gosh, I'm literally so bored. There's nothing to do today. Well, maybe one of my friends can actually hang out. Oh, here, let me call up TV Man real fast, and uh, hey there, TV Man, buddy. Can you hang out? Oh, uh, no, I can't hang out today. Sorry. What? You can't hang out? Really? What are you even doing, bro? I'm walking my fish. I'm sorry. Bro, what the heck? You're walking your fish? Oh, uh, yeah. Do you not walk your fish? No, bro. I don't even have a fish. Well, I'm walking my fish. Sorry, bro. Bro, what? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh, man. So literally just hung up on me. I cannot believe that that just happened. Well, maybe one of my other friends can hang out. Let me call up cameraman real fast. And uh, hello there, cameraman. Can you hang out with me, buddy, please? Oh, hey there, speaker man. Uh, no, sorry. I'm walking my fish. Bro, what? You're walking your fish as well? Uh, yeah. Are you not walking your fish? It's annual walk your fish day. Bro, what the heck? How did I not know about this? Oh, my goodness. Well, have fun walking your fish, I guess, cameraman. Yep, you too. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that that just happened. Both of my friends are literally walking their fish for some reason. Well, you know what? There's only one more person that thinks around. So here, let me call up Speaker Woman. And
and uh, hello there, Speaker Woman. Are you here? Oh, hey, Speaker Man. What's up? Uh, I was just wondering if you wanted to hang out today because literally all my other friends are walking their fish. Walking their fish? Huh, that's so weird. Yeah, apparently it's National Walker Fish Day. And honestly, I didn't even know you could walk your fish. Neither did I. Well, Speaker Woman, do you want to hang out? Uh, maybe, but my sister's in town, so I'll have to check with her. Uh, all right, yeah, let me know. Hey, Speaker Girl, do you want to hang out at Speaker Man's house? Oh, my gosh, Speaker Woman, that would be so amazing. All right, perfect. Well, Speaker Man, we will be over there soon. Wait a second, you will? Yes, sir. All right. I guess I'll see you guys soon. Yep, see ya. Bye. Oh, my goodness. I cannot wait. Finally, my friends are going to cure my boredom. And we're here. Wow, that was fast. Uh, hey there, guys. Oh, my gosh. Speaker man. I have heard so much good things about you. Oh, my gosh. You look so hot and so muscular and so tall. I just want to give you a big kiss. Uh, what the heck? Hey, speaker girl, come down. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was just really excited to see you, speaker man. Oh, uh, yeah, I can tell. Well, speaker man, this is speaker girl, my sister. Oh, well, I guess it's nice to meet you, speaker girl. Yeah, it's nice to meet you, too, and I have a huge crush on you. Oh, uh, yeah, I think I could tell. Oh, well, guys, how about we play a game? Ooh. Ooh, I love games. What game should we play? Uh, let me see. I think we can play some Super Lario. Okay, that sounds like so much fun. Oh my gosh, I love Super Lario and I also love you. Bro, what the heck? Okay, you're getting kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Oh, okay, uh, I'll calm down. Sorry, Speaker Man. Well, where do you want to sit? Because I want to sit next to you. Bro, what the heck? Uh, okay, I'll just sit right here, I guess. Alright, and I'll sit right here. So let's play some Super Lario and I'll let you win every single time because I love you so much. Uh, okay, I think I'll just beat you anyways. Well, guys, Let's get started. Yeah, let's do this, guys. Two hours later. Hey, that's not fair. I would have won if Speaker Girl didn't let you win so many times. Ha, Speaker Woman, that's what you get. And my boyfriend has won. Wait a second, uh, boyfriend. Are you kidding me? I'm not your boyfriend, Speaker Girl. Because we literally just met. Oops, did I just say that out loud? Uh, I'm sorry, Speaker Man. I just meant to say that you're my friend that's a boy. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, guys, it's getting kind of late, so are you guys going to go home yet? Uh, I guess we can go home. What? No, Speaker Woman. I want to go on a date with Speaker Man. Wait, you what? You want to go on a date with me? Yes, I want to go on a date with you. And I want you to be my boyfriend. Uh, what the heck? I mean, I guess we can go on a date and see how it goes. But you've been really crazy. Yeah, I know I've been crazy. Crazy in love with you. Bro, what the heck? Now come here and let me give you a kiss. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No kisses yet. We're gonna have to go on a date first. And maybe after that we can kiss, okay? Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Well, I'm gonna go home and let you guys go on your date. And if she gets crazy, call me speaker man all right thanks a lot speaker woman and uh, speaker girl are you ready to go on the date now yes i'm so ready to go on the date speaker man oh my gosh and you smell so good what cologne are you using oh uh, i'm pretty sure that's just my body odor oh my gosh well you smell so amazing i want to smell you even more girl what the heck okay okay let's just go on the date because you're getting pretty crazy all right speaker man let's go and welcome to los ponchos this is where we're gonna be having our date uh los ponchos okay um this is kind of weird because this restaurant is super low quality but um whatever anything to make you love me speaker man oh uh, okay yeah this is my favorite taco shop by the way oh okay well i love this place now uh, all right hello you love birds welcome to los ponchos uh hey there maddie how are you doing i'm good what can i start you guys off with um excuse me are you hitting on my boyfriend uh no i just know speaker man yeah she serves me tacos uh, okay well can you get us two tacos and can you please get the food now and stop flirting with my boyfriend uh girl i was not flirting with your boyfriend i don't even like speaker man sorry speaker man uh, it's all right. Well, I'll go ahead and get you guys your food. Yeah, you better. And speaker Man, why is that girl flirting with you? Oh, uh, dude, I do not think that she's flirting with me. She's literally a worker here that's supposed to serve us tacos. Yeah, right. I'm gonna do something about her flirting with you. Wait, uh, what the heck are you gonna do? Hey there, lady, why are you flirting with my boyfriend? Uh, like I said, I am not flirting with your boyfriend. Yeah, sure, lady. Now give us our tacos. What the heck? Uh, what the heck is going on here? Speaker girl, put down the gun. Here, here, take your tacos. Yeah, that's what I thought, lady. I'll never try to flirt with my boyfriend ever again. Bruh, speaker girl, she was not trying to flirt with me. Yeah, whatever you say, speaker man, I'll sit down and let's finish up this date because I want to marry you. Oh, okay, you're kind of crazy, not gonna lie. I'm sorry, I'm just crazy in love with you. Yeah, I can tell. Well, here, let's eat our tacos. All right, and oh, these are trash. I mean, uh, no, these are delicious. Oh my gosh, speaker man, we have to go here more. These are so good. Oh, uh, are you all right? You kind of sound like you're about to throw up. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I'm 
I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. Uh, okay, good. Well, I'm actually a little full speaker, man, so I don't really want to eat my tacos. But what I really want to do is go back to your house so I can kiss you. Bro, what the heck? Okay, after this, we're not going back to my house. We're going to go somewhere else. Uh, okay, whatever, speaker man. Well, where are we going to go? Well, maybe we can go to the beach or something because it's kind of relaxing over there. Oh, my gosh. I love the beach. It is so relaxing. Well, how about this? Let's get out of this horrible restaurant and let's go to the beach. Oh, uh, okay. Well, we kind of have to pay. Speaker man, you are not paying someone that was flirting with you. I am not letting that happen. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I'll, I'll just come. I'll, I'm sorry, Maddie. Don't worry, speaker man. I understand. Now, come on, speaker man. Let's go to the beach. Uh, okay, yeah. Let's go. And now we're at the beach and oh my goodness. Hello, Timmy. Hey, buddy. Um, wait a second. Who the heck is that? Oh, hey, yeah, bro. What are you doing at the beach? You're never at the beach. Oh, uh, dude, I'm kind of on a date with this crazy girl right here. It is a little speaker woman's sister. What is speaker woman's sister? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious, bro. She is super duper crazy. Oh my gosh, dude, that's super duper bad. Hey, speaker man, stop talking to this little kid and give me more attention. Bro, what? I've been giving attention for like an hour straight. Can I not just talk to my friend for one second? Yeah, Wadey, can he not talk to me for one second? Um, who do you think you are? You're not the one on this date, little kid. Well, it doesn't matter because Pico Man is my friend. Well, we're on a romantic date. And you are literally ruining the date, little kid. Now get out of here. Lady, this is a public beach. Anybody is allowed on this beach, so I'm just going to stay here. All right, guys, calm down. I do not want you guys fighting. No, Speaker Man, I don't want this little kid on the beach with us. Hey, get off of the beach right now or I'm calling the cops. Bro, what the heck? Put down the gun. All right, lady. All right, lady. I'm sorry. I will get off with the beach. I'm sorry, okay? Speaker Man, I'll see you later. All right, yeah. See you, little Timmy. And uh, Speaker Girl, you did not have to do that. But Speaker Man, he was not leaving the beach and I want to have a romantic date. Like, look at this. There's literally a fire just for us. Whoa, where did that even come from? What the heck? And there's also a cooler full of drinks. I think that little kid left them here. Yeah, me too. Well, Speaker Girl, honestly, you literally just disrespected one of my best friends, too. I don't think this is going to work out. Wait a second. You don't think this is going to work out? What does that mean? Oh, uh, I mean, like, me and you. I don't think it's going to work out. But, Speaker Man, it has to work out. You are my one true love, and I just want to give you a big kiss. Ew, no, no, no. Do not kiss me, please. Speaker Man, we are not ending this date. Bro, what the heck? Okay, okay. We can still go to the date, okay? Yeah, that's what I thought, Speaker Man. And look at your arms. Oh, my gosh. They're so muscular. Okay, okay. Here, get away. I do not want to kiss right now. I wasn't going to kiss you, silly. I was just feeling your muscles. Well, let's go ahead and let's grab a sandwich. Let's just sit down and have a romantic date. Come on. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm just going to finish this taco from here. Wait a second. You brought the taco from that other place. Oh, my gosh. That's so disgusting of you, Speaker Man. Uh, no, it's not. It's my favorite taco. Well, honestly, Speaker Man, this is boring. Let's go back to your house or something. Uh, no, I don't think we can go back to my house. How about we go to, like, the pool? Go to the pool? Are you serious, Speaker Man? I just want to go to your house. No, I'm sorry. Let's go to the pool. Fine, but the pool is literally so boring. Honestly, it's the most fun thing around here. Well, let's go. And Speaker Girl, now we're at the pool, so let's go swim. All right, Speaker Man, and I'm going to go on the slide. Oh. Uh, all right. Uh, this slide is so high. I'm so scared. Wait a second. There's a little girl up there. Hey, little girl, what are you doing up here? It is my turn to go on the slide. Uh, no, it's not. I'm just deciding if I should go on the slide. I'm really scared. Well, don't be scared. Go down. Ah! What the heck, Speaker Girl? You would always push her down. Yeah, I know I did, Speaker Man. She was taking too long. Hey, that was so mean, and I can't swim. Help me. Wait, what? She can't swim? Hey, girl. Come on, you can swim, please. Look, I'll help you. Go to the other side. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, thank you so much, mister. And the girl you're with is so mean and ugly. Hey, what did you just say to me, little girl? I said you're so mean and ugly. Well, guys, calm down. No, Speaker Man, be quiet. Everyone's been trying to flirt with you lately, and I'm the only one that's allowed to flirt with you. Bro, what? She's literally like a five-year-old girl. Girl. Uh, actually, I'm five and a half. Well, little five and a half girl, you're going back to the pool. Hey, no! Ah! Stop pushing her in the pool. She can't swim. Yeah, I can't swim. You're so mean. Yeah, whatever. All right, Missy, I'm going to call the cops on no, you. No, Daddy, this girl's being so mean to me. She pushed me in the pool. Please arrest her. Oh, no, Speaker Man. Uh, this is not good. Yeah, you really should not have pushed her in the pool because her dad's a police officer. Well, uh, how about we get out of here, Speaker Man? Come on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Run. And maybe we could go back to your house so I can kiss you. No, what the heck? We're going to hide inside my house. Let's go. If you, we made it inside of the house. Yeah, Speaker Man, and now we're inside of the house so I can finally kiss you. Oh my gosh, you are so strong. It's so muscly. It's so cute. It's so hot. Oh, uh, Speaker Girl, I really do 
not want to kiss. Come here, speaker man. I'm going to kiss you. No, no, no. Please do not kiss me. Knock, knock, knock. Police. Wait a second. The police are at my house. Oh, no, speaker man. This is not good. I have to hide. What? You're hiding? Oh, my gosh. Oh. Well, I have to answer the door since it's a policeman. And hey there, Mr. Policeman. Hello there. Is speaker girl here? Uh, no. Speaker girl, no. I don't think she is. Are you telling the truth or are you lying? Uh, yeah. I'm telling the truth. Well, you're going to get arrested if you're lying. Oh, uh, okay, okay. She's literally upstairs on the toilet right now. All right, thank you so much. She's under arrest. Uh, okay, good. Thank you. She's super duper crazy. Oh, speaker girl, where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm here to arrest you for pushing my daughter in the pool. Wait a second. You're arresting me? Hey, no. Speaker man, save me with your muscles. Speaker girl, I can't do anything. You literally got yourself into this situation. Oh, my gosh, speaker man. I just wanted your love because you're so hot and so strong and so beautiful. Yeah, I know I am, but you're a crazy person, so I do not like you. Oh, my gosh, speaker man. Well, I'll be back to get your love. Don't worry. Yeah, right. I'll see you never. Guys, speaker woman's sister was so crazy, but now she got arrested, so I'm never going to see her ever. Oh, good morning, bro. Today is going to be such an amazing day. Well, here, I'm going to head downstairs to get some breakfast real quick. And uh, what do I even have? I have some apples and some bananas. Oh, don't mind if I do. Wait a second. Hey, who the heck are you? What are you doing staring at me? Oh, good morning, speaker man. Oh, uh, hey there. Who are you? Oh, I'm crazy TV woman. You're crazy TV woman? Oh, uh, yeah. I think I can tell. You look super duper crazy. Yep, and I'm crazy in love with you. Wait, what the heck? You're crazy in love with me? I sure am. Oh, uh, crazy TV woman. That is super duper weird. Well, can you please stop stalking me? Uh, no. I have a huge crush on you. Okay, well, uh, how long have you even been stalking me? Um, just for a few days. Huh? For a few days? Oh, my gosh. You are so crazy. Yep, that's why they call me crazy TV woman. Now let me in your house. No, crazy TV woman. Honestly, if you don't leave in the next five seconds, then I'm going to call the police on you. Oh, I'm not scared of the police. Wait, what? You're not scared of the police? Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, we'll see about that. Uh, hello? Mr. Policeman, are you on the phone? 911, what's your emergency? Uh, Mr. Policeman, there's literally a crazy woman outside my house, and she really has a humongous crush on me, and she won't leave me alone. Okay, I'll be there in a few minutes. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Well, crazy TV woman, I'm not sure if you heard that or not, but the policeman is going to be here any minute. Like I said, I'm not scared of the police. All right, yep. We'll see about that. Well, I'm going to sit on my couch and wait for him to come over. We will, we will. Where is this lady? Oh, and look, the police are here, crazy TV woman. Oh, no, I got high. Wait, what? You're hiding? I thought you weren't even scared. Uh, hello there, speaker man. Where is this crazy woman? Uh, hey there, Mr. Policeman. She literally just ran around. He told me she wasn't scared, but she went and hid. So where did she run to, speaker man? Dude, she literally ran that way over there. Oh, okay, let me just go get her real quick. Oh, well, it doesn't seem like she's over here, speaker man. Where is she? Mr. Policeman, you're so silly. She's literally outside, and she ran that way. Oh, she ran that way. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let me go find her and arrest her real quick. All right, thanks a lot, Mr. Policeman. And phew, hopefully that is the last of her. Her. Speaker man, is he gone yet? Wait a second, what the heck? Crazy TV woman, how did he just come out of the bathroom? Shh, shh, shh. Be quiet, he's outside. Well, Speaker man, I saw no one outside, so I can't really make an arrest. Whoa, wait, Mr. Policeman, look. She's literally inside my bathroom, dude. Wait, she's inside your bathroom? Okay, let me take a look. Ma'am, if you don't come out right now, I'm gonna chase you. Wait a second, oh, I thought she was in your bathroom, dude. Bro, what? Where the heck did she just go? Uh, I don't even know. But I feel like you're pranking me. Because there was no one outside, and there was no one inside of here, so you must be lying. Bro. What? Are you serious, dude? No, 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 I'm not lying. She literally just appears and disappears. I don't know what's going on, dude. This is really creepy and she's crazy. Well, speaker man, I feel like you're lying to me, so you know what? I'm just gonna leave. I don't even think there's actually a crazy TV woman. No, 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 police man, please. Don't leave me. She's way too crazy. Nope, you're lying to me. I'm leaving. Bye. No, Mr. Police Man. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it. How is crazy TV woman teleporting like that? Because I'm TV woman, silly. Wait a second. What the heck? Hey, Mr. Police Man. Oh, my goodness. He's gone ahead. Why are you still here? See, I told you I wasn't scared of the police. They literally do nothing. Well, yeah, because they can't even see you. Well, you already know I have a huge crush on you. So I'm going to get you to go out on a date with me. Honestly, TV woman, I really do not want to go out on a date with you still. So please get out of my house or I'm going to call the police again. And this time he's actually going to find you. Uh, no, he's not. The police never do. And if you don't go on a date with me, I'll just wash you for years and years. Wait, what? You'll wash me for years and years? Yep, I'm very sneaky. Oh, my goodness. Honestly, I think that's worse than going on a date with you. Does he that crazy TV woman, I guess I'll just go on a date with you, okay? Yay, awesome. Come on, speaker man. All right, but I'll only go on it one time. Oh, guys, I can't believe that this is happening.
happening right now. Hey, crazy TV woman, are we almost at the eating spot? Yep, we're almost here. Uh, all right, so are we going to Brooks Diners? Uh, no, it's a little further this way. Uh, all right, I wonder what's this way. Look, it is the dumpster. Wait a second, the dumpster? Oh, uh, why are we even at the dumpster? Because there's so many delicious food in the dumpster. Are you serious? You want to eat out of the dumpster on a first date? Yep, I just got to get my food. You crazy TV woman, that is disgusting. What? No, it's not disgusting. The food in here is delicious. Hey, what do you guys think you're doing taking all my food? Oh, wait a second. Is that a homeless guy? Uh, Jerry, we've been over this. It's my food, not yours. Oh, my gosh, TV woman. You know what? I guess I'll let you share a little bit of my food. But do not come back. Because I need to have something for dinner tonight. I do not want to eat those rats and those trash. Well, you are going to eat all the rats again, Jerry. I'm not eating the rats. Now, I am going to get my food for our dinner. Uh, okay, whatever, TV woman. Well, hello there, fine young man. Oh, uh, hey there, Mr. Homeless Man. What are you doing at the dumpster today? Uh, I'm going on a day with crazy TV woman because she's a stalker and she won't leave me alone. Whoa, that sounds so awesome. Okay. Well, have a fun time, everyone. I'm going to go to bed. Bye, Jerry. See you later. Oh, uh, TV woman, that was super duper crazy. I think we should end the day right here. Uh, no, Speaker Man, we're not going to end this day. It literally just got started. Bro, come on. And I've been saving this pizza for a special occasion. Oh, I can't believe it. Now, come on, Speaker Man, let's go eat. Uh, all right, crazy TV woman. And now we officially started our date. Yeah, I guess we did. Well, crazy TV woman, tell me about yourself. Well, Speaker Man, I like to stalk you, and I live in that trash can over there. Yep, those are the two things I know. Well, tell me something I don't know. Well, one time when you were asleep, I broke into your house and I stole your video game console. You stole my video game console? Are you serious? I was wondering what that is. Yeah, that was me. Oh my goodness. Where did he even put a TV woman? Oh, sorry. I sold it. Huh? You sold it? Yeah, I bought this dumpster pizza with it. You really bought the pizza with it? Oh my goodness. Yep, and some kid has it now. I think his name was Little Timmy. Wait a second. Little Timmy has it? Yeah, he does. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm gonna go get my console back right now. Hey, no. Our date is not over yet. Alright, well, you're coming with me then. Uh, okay. And hello, little Timmy. I would like to buy something from you. Oh, hey, yo, Speakle Man. Do you want to buy your bananas again? No, dude. That is not what I want to buy from you. Oh, uh, okay, Speakle Man. Well, what do you want to buy then? Dude, I want to buy my video game console back. Oh, uh, your video game console? What do you even mean? Dude, this crazy TV woman right here literally broke inside my house and stole my video game console and she sold it to you. Oh, yeah. I remember this person. Well, Speakle Man, it actually seems like I have your video game console. So, you know what? I'll just give it to you, Speakle Man. Wait, what is that easy? Uh, thanks a lot, little Timmy. Yeah, just don't let it get stolen again and bought by some crazy lady. All right, dude, I won't. Thanks a lot. Hey, crazy TV woman. Honestly, I'm gonna head back home to play on my video game console. So our date is over. See ya. Uh, no, it's not. Wait a second. What the heck? Okay, crazy TV woman, put that down, okay? I do not mean any harm. Our date is over when I tell you it is over. But come on, crazy TV woman. I just want to go home and play my video games. Too bad. We're gonna continue our date and we're gonna go somewhere super duper special. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, where are we gonna go? You'll see. Follow me. All right, crazy TV woman. And here we are at our next location. Oh, uh, okay. Why are we at the horse stables? Because I love horses, and these are my pet horses. Wait, what? These are your pet horses? Yep, I have pet horses. Whoa, this is so cool. Well, Speaker Man, do you want to ride them? Uh, yeah, sure, crazy TV woman. I guess we can ride them. Okay, hop on. All right, and where are we even going to ride them to? I think we should ride them up the mountain. Up the mountain? Are you serious? That mountain is literally so huge. Eh, it's not that. Big. Uh, all right, whatever you say. Well, crazy TV woman, let's go up the hill. Yeah, get it. Hey there, what do you guys think you're doing? Give me my horses back. <laughs> Wait a second. Crazy TV woman, who is that? Oh, uh, uh, I don't know. Let's run them. Crazy TV woman, are these not your horses? Uh, no, they're not. What? Oh, my gosh. Hey, uh, Mr. Cowboy, we're sorry. Give me my horses back right now. Hop off of them or you're going to get shot. Wait, what? You're going to shoot us? Yep, I sure am. Get off of them now. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, Speaker Man. Hop off this horse and take on the drones. Wait, what, TV woman? You're going to get shot. Oh, my gosh. This is so crazy. Get me out of here. Whoa, look at me. I'm flying on a drone. Hey, wait a second. Where do you think you're going? Oh, my gosh. They got away. I couldn't even shoot them in time. Well, at least I got my horses back. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, I can't even believe that. Crazy TV woman literally stole those horses. I thought they were hers. And, uh, crazy TV woman, where even are you? I'm going to the water at the beach. Wait, what? The water at the beach? Are you serious? All right. Well, let me show you in a second. And I just want to tell you that you're super duper crazy. And this date is over. I want to go home and play some video games once and for all. What? No, Speaker Man, you're not allowed to leave this date until you give me a kiss. 
kiss. Wait, what? I'm not allowed to leave until I give you a kiss? Yep, I just need one kiss and then you can leave. Oh, uh, crazy TV woman. Good luck with that. I'm never going to kiss you. You know what? I'm going to fly back to my house on this drone. Oh, my gosh, bigger man. I'll meet you at your house. Wait, what? You're going to meet me at my house? Oh, no, no, no. Do not come to my house, please, okay? Because I do not want to kiss you. I just want to play my video games in peace. No, speaker man. I'll be right there. Oh, my goodness. Well, I made it to my house, so I'm just going to head inside. And let me lock these doors real quick. Perfect. Now, I'm just going to go upstairs. I'm going to hide from crazy TV woman. Hopefully, she doesn't break into my house or anything like that. Uh, speaker man, I'm at your house. Let me in. I won't leave you alone until you kiss me. Wait a second. Oh, my gosh. She's literally here. Well, good thing about hiding. Because she'll never be able to kiss me. Oh, speaker man, I'm breaking in. Wait a second. What the heck? You're breaking in? I swore I just locked the doors. Well, I can teleport, silly. Oh, my gosh. Come on, crazy TV woman. Get out of my house. Just one kiss. That's all I ask. No, crazy TV woman. Leave me alone. Uh, I'm going to only leave you alone if you kiss me. No, I'm not going to kiss you, okay? All right, here I go. Ew, oh my gosh! Oh, that was disgusting. Where's the bathroom? Oh, oh. oh, well, that was a great day. Bye, Speaker Man. Do you want to hang out after school with me? Oh, uh, TV woman, I'm sorry, but I can't really. What? Why not? Well, because I have some stuff going on after school. Please, Speaker Man, I like you a lot. Yeah, TV woman, I know you like me a lot, but I do not like you back. I'm sorry. What? Why don't you like me? I just don't. I'm sorry. Speaker Man, you're so mean. No, I'm not mean. Oh my gosh, you're weird. All right, guys, class is dismissed. Everybody can go home. Oh, all right, teacher. Thanks a lot. All right, I'm going to head straight home, and I'm going to head straight to bed. And oh my gosh, I really do not like that TV woman girl. She is super duper weird. <sighs> and finally, that was such a long walk, but now I'm back home. And I can just go upstairs and lay my bed, and I can go to sleep now. Good night, guys. Speaker man, let me in. Wait, what? Are you serious? TV woman, what are you doing breaking into my house? Well, it doesn't seem like you're doing anything busy. Well, yeah, I was literally just about to go to sleep until you broke into my house. Like, what are you actually doing? Speaker man, I've already told you. I have a huge crush on you. Yes, I know you have a huge crush on me. Well, now can you get out of my house? I don't like you. But why don't you like me back? Just explain. I just don't. You're annoying and weird. Uh, I'll do anything for you, Pookie Bear. Hey, what? Pookie Bear? No, I'm not a Pookie Bear. That's weird. Please, I'll do anything. Just give me a chance. No, no, no. You're weird. Get out of my house, lady. Uh, okay, but I'll be back. Just you wait. Okay, whatever. I'm not gonna let you inside. Well, here, let me just lock the door and thankfully she left. Oh my gosh, she is so annoying and weird. Why does she even have a huge crush on me? That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Well, honestly, I don't really want to go to sleep after that just happened, so I'm just gonna go roam around the neighborhood and huh, let me go get my car real fast. And wait a second. Did she just get a house right next to me? Hey there, speaker man. We're neighbors now. Hey, yo, what? No, no, no. I don't want to be neighbors with you. Well, too bad. I can't move my house. Holy mackerel. Okay, that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Uh, I think I'm gonna head over to my friend TV man's house so we can talk about this. Okay, that is super duper weird. I'm just gonna head over there. Hello, TV man. How are you home? Oh, who's at my door? Wait a second. Titan speaker man. Hey, come in. All right, uh, TV man. I have something to talk about with you. Uh, yeah. What do you need to talk about? Tell me anything. Well, there's this girl named TV woman, and she is super duper crazy. She's been stalking me all day, and she literally bought a house right next to me. What? She bought a house right next to you? Well, maybe she just wants to be your friend or something. No, she wants me to be her boyfriend. What? Her boyfriend? Yeah, her boyfriend. What am I supposed to do? Well, maybe you could just be her boyfriend, and she would stop being so crazy. A TV man. Man, she is crazy. That's why I don't want to be her boyfriend. Oh, uh, then I don't really know, Speaker Man. You're kind of out of luck. What are you serious right now, bro? Knock, knock, knock. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, TV Man, she's here right now. Uh, okay, uh, go to my room. Go upstairs. Oh, okay, okay, okay. TV Woman is so crazy. She's literally following me everywhere. Oh my gosh, okay, this is bad. Uh, hello there, TV Woman. Is everything okay? Yes, everything is fine. I just know that Speaker Man's here and I got him some flowers. Wait a second. You got Speaker Man flowers? Yes, and it's his favorite color red. Speaker man, look at this. She's not crazy. She brought you flowers. TV man, TV man, stop it. She's super duper crazy. Trust me. Oh, there you are, speaker man. Oh, uh, hey, TV woman. I brought you some flowers. Aren't they so pretty? Uh, no, no, no. I don't like them at all. What? You don't like my flowers? No, honestly, I don't. Can you get away from me, please? No, you have to take my flowers. You are my true love. We are soulmates. What the heck? No, no, no. We're not true love. You're just a stalker. <sighs> I have a crush on you. Now be my boyfriend. Hey, oh, what? No, no, I do not want to be your boyfriend. Get away from me. All right, tight TV woman, you need to get out of my house right now or I'm calling the cops. Uh, no, I don't think I'll be leaving. Well, uh, please just put away the gun. All right, well, Titan Speaker Man, will you please be my boyfriend? I'll literally do anything for you. TV woman, for the last time, I do not want to be your boyfriend. You're so crazy and creepy. Say that again, mister. Hey, yo, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, tight TV woman, that's enough. I'm putting you to sleep. Ah. 
Mom. And now I can take her out of the house. Oh my gosh, she's so crazy. See, I told you, TV man. This is literally what I was talking about. But thank you for putting her to sleep. But hopefully, when she wakes up, she doesn't stalk me anymore because she is super duper crazy and creepy. Yeah, I'm sorry for letting her inside of the house. Well, I'm just gonna drop her in the middle of the street right here, and hopefully, she'll be okay. Yeah, hopefully, she will. Well, TV man, thanks for letting me come over, but I have to go run some errands now. All right, speaker man, if you ever need any help, just let me know. All right, thanks a lot. Well, I'm gonna go now. See ya. TV woman is the craziest person I've ever met in my life, and hopefully she doesn't wake up soon, because if she does, I think she's gonna try to do more crazy stuff to be my boyfriend. Well, here, I gotta figure out where the grocery store is. Oh, and finally, I found the grocery store, and help! Hey there, Jeremy, how's it going, buddy? Oh, hey there, speaker man, welcome back to the grocery store. Hey, thanks for having me while here. I'm gonna get some Doritos and some Reese's bars. And I think that should be it. Alright, let me go ahead and see how much this is for you. Uh, okay, let's see. It seems like it's gonna be about $10. $10? Alright, here, let me grab my wallet. Wait a second. Oh, uh, Jeremy, I kind of forgot my wallet. What? Are you serious? Well, how are you going to pay? I don't really know. Wait a second. There's a bank down the street, so maybe I can just go grab some money from there real fast. Yeah, that's a good idea. Go ahead and grab some money and then come back here. All right, Jeremy. Well, I'll be right back. Trust me. Okay, well, I got to go to the bank and grab some money real fast. I, feel I made it to the bank, but wait a second. What is this red bike doing out here? I think I know that bike from somewhere. Wait a second. What is TV woman doing inside? Give me all your money. Oh, uh, okay. Well, what do you need the money for? I'm going to buy a present for my boyfriend. Wait, what the heck? She said for boyfriend? What is she talking about me? Oh my gosh, I gotta put a stop to this. Hey, TV woman, what are you doing? Oh, hey, I was robbing a bank so I could get you a present. Look how much money I have. What the heck? Okay, here's all the money that we have. Take it. Thank you. Bye. What are you serious, TV woman? You didn't have to do that for me. I can buy a present for myself. Nope, I'm gonna give you the best present ever. She really just robbed that whole entire bank to get me a present. I wonder what it's gonna be. And, uh, hey, mister, can I get like $10, please? Because I really gotta buy these Doritos in this Reese bar. Dude, I literally just gave that girl all the money in the bank. I can't do anything. Bro, are you serious right now? You don't have $10 to spare? No, I don't have $10. She literally has all the money. Go ask her for it or something. She's buying you a present, right? Yeah, I guess she is. All right, you're a weirdo. See ya. TV woman is so crazy. She just robbed the bank to give me a gift. But I really wonder where the gift is gonna be. Wait a second. What is a bright red car doing coming straight towards me? Speaker man, here's your gift. It's a $200,000 car. Hey, what? A $200,000 car? Are you serious? Yep, I'm serious. Here are the keys. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. You're literally so crazy. I don't want to be your boyfriend. What? Be my boyfriend, speaker man. I've literally done so much for you. I know you've done so much for me, but I didn't want any of it. And you're just doing it because you're crazy. Aw, you guys are so cute. Speaker man and TV woman, you guys make a great couple. Thank you. We do. Skippy Toilet, I do not like her at all. She's crazy. I was just joking. I bet she doesn't even like you. You're so fat. What? I'm not fat? What are you talking about? Did you just call my boyfriend fat? Hey, hey, hey. Put away the gun. Put away the gun. Take this. Oh. TV woman, what are you doing? Why are you shooting Skippy Toilet? Because he called you fat, and you're not fat. You're perfect just the way you are, speaker man. I know, but you didn't have to shoot him. You're so crazy. I'm getting away from you, but thanks for the car. Hey, get back here. No, see ya. Be my boyfriend. What? No, you're still chasing me. Are you serious? Oh, no. Okay, okay. I gotta lock the doors. Ah! Why did you break into my house? Finally, we're all alone together. I don't want to be alone with you. Come on, you better be my boyfriend. I've done so much for you. I put my life on the line so many times just for you. Yeah, but you didn't have to. And put away that gun, please. I don't want to get shot. And I already told you I didn't like you. Why are you even doing all this? Because I want to be your boyfriend. Oh, I got to get out of here. Uh, get back here. Hey, yo, wait a second. What the heck? What is the tank doing right here? Hey, TV woman, you thought you could kill me? Yeah, but toilet how are you alive? Because Skippity Toilet never dies. Ah! Oh my gosh, Skippity Toilet, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, Speaker Man. It seemed like you needed help from this crazy lady. Yeah, I sure did. You're a lifesaver. Well, Speaker Man, do you want to be friends? Oh, uh, where am I right now? Speaker Man, what are you doing here? Huh, Pomni, what are you doing here? Speaker Man, you are locked on a one raft with Pomni. A one raft with Pomni? Are you serious right now? What? I don't even like Man. You guys are going to have to build the best one raft. The best one raft? Yeah, and if you don't, then you'll be stranded out here forever. Wait, what forever? No way. I don't want to do this. Hey, oh my gosh, Pomni, what was that for? Get off of my raft. All right, Pomni, calm down. You guys have to work together to get off of here. What? I have to work with him? Uh, fine, whatever. 
ever. Yeah, I can't believe I have to work with you, Pomni. And I can't even believe I'm on this one raft. Oh, my goodness. Well, guys, let's get to building. Yeah, let's start building. I don't want to be on here forever. Yeah, I don't want to be on here forever either. Well, guys, what are we even going to build? Well, Speaker Man, we got to make the best raft ever. So let's start making this thing super duper big. Super duper big? Uh, all right. Well, here, let me help you real quick. Uh, how do I even build? Use that hammer in your hand and then you'll start building. Uh, all right, Kane. And guys, make sure you make this raft big enough for me because I need my own room. Wait, why? You need your own room on this? Yep, I sure do. It has to have a king's throne, some gold, and a personal chef that can make me food whenever I want. Oh my gosh, are you serious right now? Yep, I have to relax in my king's throne. All right, well, you heard him, Pomni. We're gonna have to make him his own room, and we're gonna have to put a king's throne in there. Wait, he's not the only one that gets a room. I want a room as well. Wait, you want a room too? Oh my goodness. Well, we're gonna have to build two rooms, it seems like. Uh, Speaker Man, where is your room gonna be? What, my room? Honestly, Pomni, I don't think I need a room. I'll just spend time in your room. There you will not. Wait, what? I want? Are you serious? Yeah, you're stinky. You need your own room. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, it seems like literally all three of us need our own rooms. And hopefully, we make our raft cool enough so that we don't get stranded out here forever. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get started. All right, Pomni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get started. Well, whose room should we work on first? I think we should work on mine. Oh, uh, no. You guys have to work on mine, remember? I need to take a relax break. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Pomni. You have to work on Kane's first while here. Well, let's finish building the raft real quick. And after we make it long enough, then we can start working on Kane's room. Yeah, and after that, I call working on my room. All right, Pomni. Well, Kane, is this raft big enough right now? Yep, I think it's big enough. Well, let's get started on my room. All right, well, Kane, what do you want your room to look like? Well, for my room, I want it fully red. Fully red? Uh, Kane, how are we supposed to do that? I'm pretty sure we literally only have wood. Well, if you pull out your blueprint, you'll see a catalog of items. Uh, all right, here, let me try that real quick. And whoa, there are literally so many blocks. Yep, there sure are, and you can choose any of these blocks. And after you place down the blocks, you can use your paintbrush to change the color. All right, that's that was awesome, Kane. Well, Speaker Man, let's get started on his room. Yeah, let's do this while well, here. Kane, you can have this whole entire corner of the raft, all right? All right, that sounds good to me. Yeah, so let's start off building the walls right here. And after, I think we should paint it, Pomni. Yep, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, me too. Well, here. The layout of his room is almost done and perfect. The layout is complete. Well, let's build up the walls real quick. Wow, guys, my room is looking really good so far. Yeah, it sure is, but Kane, after we're finished creating it fully, it's gonna look even better than this. Oh, boy, I am so excited to sit in my throne. It's going to be so relaxing and you guys get to do all the work. Kane, no, you gotta help us. No, Pomni, I put you here for a reason. And that reason is to build the best one round. So you guys are going to have to build it, not me. Oh, uh, all right, Kane. Well, guys, it seems like the walls are almost fully complete, so I think it's time to color it now. All right, good idea. Let's make it all red. Yeah, let's do this. So here, let me get the paintbrush real quick, and I'm gonna choose red. And now I think we can paint all these blocks. Look at this, Pomni. The whole entire wall right here is turning bright red. Wow, it's looking great, Speaker Man. Yeah, it sure is. Well, Kate, how are you liking your room so far? My room is looking absolutely amazing, guys. You're doing a great job. Really? Thanks a lot. All right. Well, we literally have almost every single wall painted red. So after this, we're gonna have to add the interior. Yeah, the interior is the most important Part. Yeah, it sure is. Well, Kane, what did you want for the interior again? Well, the first thing I want is a golden throne. A golden throne? Really? Yep, so I can relax and sit down. And next, I wanted a personal chef, which means that we are going to have to get a kitchen. What? How are you supposed to get a personal chef out on this raft? Well, I could teleport them, of course. Oh, you can teleport them? No way. Uh, Kane, if you can teleport them here, why can't you teleport us out of here? Well, because you have to build the coolest one raft, obviously. Bro, are you serious, Kane? Come on, just teleport us already. Nope, guys, the one raft is not complete yet, so come on. Let's get to working, team. Let's make my golden throne. Oh, my goodness. Okay, Kane. All right, Kane. Here's your golden throne. Wait a second, Pomni. This is not a funny joke. Why is there a toilet here? You gotta put down my real throne. Oh, my gosh, Pomni. That is hilarious. And I made it golden for you. Hey, wait a second. Tommy, you can't just put a golden toilet here. I need a real throne right now to relax on. Come on. Speaker Man, do something about this. All right, I'll do something. Uh, this is so comfortable. Come on, Speaker Man, do something. I am, dude. I'm literally sitting on the golden golden throne right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, whatever. Well, I guess this golden toilet is gonna be my throne. Ha ha ha, Kane. We're joking. If you want an actual golden throne, we'll get it for you. All right. Yes, I want an actual golden throne. Come on, guys. All right. That was not a funny joke. I do not want to sit on a toilet. Okay, whatever you say, Kane. Well, Pomni, honestly, I think I want this toilet in my room. What? You want it in your room? All right. We'll save it for later. All right. Good. Well, Pomni, let's get started on building this throne. So, let's see. What can we use as a throne, huh? Maybe we can use this couch right here. Oh, yeah. And it's already 
already gold. Yeah, sure. It's okay, here. Kane, let me know if you like this. Oh, huh, it actually looks pretty good. Yes, this is perfect, guys. Great job. Now, I'm gonna sit in my golden throne for the rest of the time. Really, Kane? You aren't gonna help us? Nope, I'm not gonna help you guys. Now, go ahead and make me my kitchen for my personal chef. Ugh, Kane, you're so lazy. Yep, say whatever you want. Oh, my gosh. All right, Kane. Well, Pomni, let's get started on making his kitchen. So, what should we even add to the kitchen? Well, every kitchen needs a fridge and an oven. An uh, oven? All right. Well, it seems like you already added the fridge. So, I'll add an oven. Well, let's see. Huh? Where could the oven be? Literally in the object section. The object section? Oh, yeah. I see it right here. Okay. Thanks a lot, Pomni. Well, let me grab that real quick and I'll place the oven right here. All right. Perfect. Well, guys, my kitchen is looking so good so far. Great job. Thanks, Kane. Well, what else do you even need? Well, I think that's about it for my room. So, you guys should probably get started on your room. What? We're already finished? No way. Yeah, I can't believe that we already finished your room, Kane. Yep, that's basically all I wanted. So go work on Pomni's room now, and afterwards, you can make speaker mail. All right, yeah, let's do this. Well, Pomni, where do you want your room to be? I want my room to be right here. Right here? Oh, all right, yeah, sure. Well, how do you want your room to look? I want my room to look just like my hat. Just like your hat? All right, so the color scheme's gonna be like blue and red? Yep, and yellow. All right, Pomni, yeah, this is gonna look awesome once it's finished. Yeah, it sure is, and on the inside, I'm gonna have lots of plants and a nice comfy bed. A lot of plants and a comfy bed? Uh, all right, Pomni. It seems like we're done with the outline of your room. So now we can start working on the walls. All right, let's make the walls super duper high. Yeah, let's do this. Just like this. And whoa, okay, Pomni, is this high enough? Uh, no, I think it has to go a little bit higher. What, a little bit higher? Really? Uh, all right. Well, yeah, here, let's build it a little bit higher. And tell me when to stop, Pomni, all right? Okay, keep on going. What, keep on going? Are you serious? Oh, my goodness, Pomni. Is this high enough yet? Uh, oh. Bro, what? Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Now, am I high enough? Uh, maybe a little too high. Bro, are you serious right now? Hot, right? Well, let me break down some in Pomni. Tell me when to stop. Okay, stop. All right, well, right here is how high your walls are going to be, all right? Hey, I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm not really excited to build all the walls this high. Well, actually, this wall is almost complete. Wow, Speaker Man, you go so quickly. Yeah, I sure do. Look at that. These walls are almost complete already. Yeah, they sure are. Well, here, I just have to build up a tiny bit more just like this. And, uh, by the way, Pomni, are we gonna make all the walls this high? Uh, no, only that wall. I was just joking with you. Wait, what? You were joking with me about making the walls this high? Yep, I sure was. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that I just fell for that. Haha, uh -huh. we'll come down here and make the walls all this high. Oh, all right, Pomni. Thanks for wasting my time. Of course, it's what I do. Bro, all right. Well, we're done placing the roof of the walls on your room. So, how do you want to paint it? I want the bottom room to be yellow, then blue, and red. So, yellow for the floor, then blue and red for the walls? All right, that sounds like a good idea, Pomni. I really wonder how it's gonna look once we finish it. Yeah, it's probably gonna look amazing. Yeah, it probably will be. Well, here, I'm gonna paint this side right here bright red. And then after this wall is, and after this wall is complete, we can start painting the other side bright blue. Okay, sounds like a plan. Yeah, so here, let me just paint it just like this and perfect. Look, this literal, look, this literal whole entire side is painted bright red. Wow, good job, Speaker Man. You're a really fast painter. Thanks a lot, Pomni. And now I'm gonna start with the blue. Yeah, well, here, let me help you, Pomni. Okay, thank Thank you so much, Speaker Man. Yeah, no problem. Well, are we gonna paint the floors yellow? Nah, I think they're fine how they are. Let's start working on the interior. And hopefully this room looks good enough so Kate gets us off this raft already. I know, this raft is making me seasick. Yeah, it's making me kind of seasick too. Oh my goodness, Pomni. I think I'm about to barf. Ew. Speaker Man, get away from me. Oh my gosh, okay, that did not feel good at all. I literally just barfed all over you. Now I smell like poopy. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Pomni. Uh, I guess it's all right. Now let's work on the interior. All right, yeah, that's a good idea. So you said you wanted a lot of plants in a bed, so here. I'll get a bed for you, and you can get some plants. All right, will do. All right, so let's see. Where are the beds even at? It's in the object section, obviously. What? No, it's not obvious. Well, here. I got it, so I'm going to place it down right about right here. Speaker Man, wait a second. You literally placed it backwards. Can you not just sleep on your bed backwards? No, no, I can't. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, I guess I'll break this bed, and I'll place it again, okay? Just like this. All right, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. What color do you even want it? I want it to be blue because it's on the blue side. All right, well, here, let me paint it blue and perfect. Wow, your house is looking amazing, Pomni. Yeah, I agree. And now it's time for your house, Speaker Man. What? It's already time for my house? Oh, all right. And hopefully after my house is done, then we can literally get off this raft. I know. I can't believe we're stuck on here. Yeah, I can't believe it either. Well, Speaker Man, what do you want your room to be like? Huh, what do I want my room to be like? Huh, maybe my room can be like speakers, like my head. Huh, okay. I think we can just make one speaker. Though. Yeah, that's a good idea. We can make one humongous speaker. Oh, hey, guys. How's it going? Oh, wait a second, Kane. Oh, hey. We just finished Pomni's room, so now we're starting on my room. Wow, guys, this raft is looking so amazing so far. 
all. Yeah, I know. Speaker Man and I have worked so hard on it. Yeah, you guys sure have. Well, guys, keep on building on your raft. Because remember, you have to make it the best raft so you can go home. But if it's not the best raft that you can make, then you're going to be trapped here forever. Oh my gosh, I literally forgot about that. We have to make my room literally super duper insane. Because if our raft is not the best, then we're going to be stuck on this raft forever. Oh no, I don't want to be stuck here forever with you. Yeah, me neither. So let's start building. We're going to have to build the speaker super duper high. Yeah, we sure are. Speakers are huge. Yeah, they really are. So I think I'm going to build up all the walls this high right here. Well, look at this. The first side of the wall is almost complete. Wow, you're so fast. Yeah, I know. It just looked that perfect. It is literally complete already. So, Pomni, we still have, like, three more walls to build. So, let's do this. Huh, for the inside, I'm thinking that I get two floors. One for me to sleep and one for a living room. Well, I just finished this wall so we can start building the inside soon. Oh, yeah, we sure can. Nice going, Pomni. Well, I'm about to finish my wall any second now. And perfect. I literally just completed it. Nice. Well, we still need the roof, so how about you work on that? All right, yeah, here. I'll work on the roof, Pomni. And after we're done the roof, I think we're actually going to have to color my room real quick. And after that, we can start building on the inside. So let's place the blocks just like this, and oh my goodness. I can barely see where I'm even placing. I know. It's gotten so dark so quickly. Yeah, it sure has. Well, now that the whole entire outside is complete, let's start painting real quick. And I'm gonna paint it all black. All right, speaker man. Well, we can't forget about the red eagers on you. Oh, yeah. We can't forget about that. We're still gonna have to build some speakers. So you know what? I think I'm gonna do that right now. So here. Let me just place a block right here so I can jump down real quick. And I'm gonna start working on the first speaker. I think there's gonna be two. All right, cool. Oh, guys, are you almost done? I really want to get off this raft. Oh, uh, I can, yeah. We're almost done. All right, cool. I can't wait to see what all these rooms look like. Trust me, you're going to like them a lot. All right, I better. Well, Pomni, we're literally almost done with the outside. So soon we can start working on the inside of this. All right, well, I'll start working on the floor while you work on the speaker. Okay, Pomni, yeah, good idea. And just like that, one of the speakers are done. But I still need to place one more. So here, let me place a block down here real quick and let me drop down. And now I can start working on the second speaker. So let's place it just like this. And perfect. The speaker is basically complete, but I still need to place some red. Alright, and the floor is almost complete as well. Alright, perfect, Pomni. I can't wait to see it. Oh, wait a second. I literally cannot even fit through the door. Are you serious? Uh-oh, it seems like we're gonna have to make the door wider. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Whoa, whoa, Pomni. This is so nice. Yeah, well, I think we can start working on the interior now. Yeah, I think we can do that as well. Well, on the first floor, I'm gonna place down a couch and stuff, and on the second floor, I'm gonna place my bed. So let me open the blueprint real fast and let's see, huh? Where are the beds? I think they're the object, and perfect. Here is a bed. So let me walk upstairs and I'm gonna place it right here. All right, that is a great spot. I think Kate is gonna like this room. Yeah, me too. Well, finally, let's do the living room. So I'm gonna grab a couch and I'll place it right here. And perfect. My room is fully complete. Wow, this looks so amazing. Yeah, it sure does. Great job, Pomni. Thanks. Speaker man, I really hope Kate is gonna like this. Yeah, me too. Well, here. Let's go over to Kate's room and uh, hello, Kate. Are you there? Uh, are you guys done yet? Yes, Kate. We're literally done. We completed my room and Pomni's room. All right, perfect. Well, if these rooms are good enough, then you guys are gonna be able to go home. But if they're not, then you're gonna be stuck here forever. Well, Pomni, do you think we did a good enough job? Yeah, I think we did. All right. Well, hopefully Katie thinks so as well. All right. Well, the outside of Pomni's room is very nice. It looks exactly like her. And when you go inside, there are some plants, a teddy bear, and there is a bed. Okay. This is a pretty good room. I like this one. Yeah, he likes it. Well, let's go ahead and let's head to Speaker Man's room. But if this room is bad, then you guys are going to be stuck on here forever. Oh, no. Hopefully, we did a good enough job in my room. So, it seems like it's a speaker, which is very fitting for Speaker Man. And you have a couch right here and some stairs going up. And what is up here? Let's see. And it seems like there is a bed. But, oh, no. Oh, you guys forgot to color those blocks right there. Uh oh, uh, can't just ignore that. Oh, uh, okay. Well, Speaker Man, I actually do really like your house. Wait, what? You actually do? No way. Yeah, I do. And you know what? I think you guys built the coolest rap, which means that you don't have to stay here forever. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe this. Okay, thank you so much. Well, uh, can you teleport us home now? Well, guys, I'm going to teleport home, but uh, you guys have to go home on this rap. Bro, what? Are you serious? Yep. See you guys later. Oh, my gosh. See ya, Kay. Oh, I'm so bored. I've literally been watching TV for hours. So maybe I can call one of my friends and maybe they can hang out or something. So let's see. Let me call Speaker Man. Uh, hey, Speaker Man, do you want to hang out? Oh, hey there, TV Man. Uh, dude, I can't hang out. I'm doing stuff right now, bro. What? You're doing stuff? Uh, what stuff are you doing? Oh, uh, nothing, dude. What, bro? Are you serious? Oh, okay. Whatever. Well, I guess I'll just call my girlfriend now. All right. Yeah, see you, bro. All right. Well, it doesn't seem like Speaker Man can hang out, guys. So I guess I'll just call my girlfriend. Okay. Uh, hey, TV Woman, do you want to hang out? Uh, sorry, TV Man. I'm not able to hang out right now. 
now. What? You're not able to hang out? What could you be doing? Uh, nothing. I gotta go. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, don't hang up on me. Oh, my gosh. Why can't my girlfriend hang out? That's so weird. Speaker man and my girlfriend can't hang out. Oh, my gosh. Well, I don't really know what to do, guys. I do not want to watch TV right now because I've literally been watching it for hours. And it doesn't seem like anybody can hang out. So, I guess I'll just go on a walk or something like that. Oh, my gosh. This is gonna be so boring. Oh, man. This walk is so boring. Let's see. Is there anybody I can talk to? Is there anyone side of the bank? And no, nobody's working today at the bank. That's interesting. And nobody's at Rockstar either. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Well, there has to be someone working at Starbucks, right? Wait a second. There's Speaker Man. It seems like he's on a date with someone. Oh, uh, hey, Speaker Man. What's up? Oh, uh, hey there, TV man. What are you doing at Starbucks, bro? Is this a thing that you were busy with? Oh, uh, yeah, bro. Yeah. Uh, Speaker Man, why are you being suspicious? What do you mean being suspicious? Uh, I'm just being myself, bro. Wait a second, Speaker Man. Who are you here with? Uh, no one. Oh, hi, TV man. Wait a second, TV woman. What are you doing here with Speaker Man? I thought you said you were busy. Uh, I am busy. I'm hanging out with Speaker Man. You're hanging out with Speaker Man at a coffee shop. You guys are literally sitting across from each other, dude. This literally looks like a date. Wait a second. Are you cheating on me? What? No, no, no. That's not what it is. Yeah, TV man. Oh, we're just here as friends. Uh, Speaker Man. I can't believe you did this to me, bro. You were literally my best friend, and now you're making TV woman cheat on me. Bro, it wasn't my idea. It was hers. What? No, it was his idea. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Whatever. I'm breaking up with you, TV woman. And Speaker Man, you are really making me mad. Uh, okay, TV man. Well, uh, I'm gonna get out of here, buddy. See ya. Yeah, you better get out of here. And you better watch your back, buddy. Oh my gosh, TV woman. How could you do this to me? I'm sorry, TV man, but your farts were way too smelly. I couldn't be with you anymore. My farts were way too smelly. Oh my gosh, that's the worst excuse I've ever heard in my life. Well, you know what, TV woman? Just get out of here. Fine, I will. Goodbye. Yeah, go have fun hanging out with Speaker Man. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't believe it. TV woman was literally cheating on me with Speaker Man. And I am furious right now. What? So you know what? I think it's time to get revenge on them. And Speaker Man is not ready for what's coming to him. So, huh, what should I do to get revenge on Speaker Man? Huh, let me see. Maybe I could go to the car dealership and buy a tank. And then I could go to his house and explode his house. Oh my gosh, that is the best idea. So I'm gonna head down to the car dealership and I'm going to buy a tank. And Speaker Man is not ready for what's gonna happen to him. He should have never stole my girlfriend. And now I'm at the car dealership and perfect. It seems like they have a tank. Well, let me just go inside of here and see how much it is. Hello there, Mr. Car Man. Oh, hello there. Are you here to purchase a car, sir? Yes, I'm here to purchase a car. How much is that tank gonna be over there? Who, that tank? That is our exclusive one-of-one -one tank that was used in the army. So it is about one million dollars. One million dollars? Are you serious? Yes, sir. I am serious. Oh my gosh. Well, I really need that tank, dude. I do not have a million dollars. What can I do to get it? Well, you can give me one million dollars. Bro, I literally just said I don't have a million dollars. Oh my gosh. Well, you know what? I'm already furious. So I might as well just use my TV powers to take you out. Hey, sir, stop it. Oh, perfect. It seems like the car dealership guy's passed out now. Which means I can just go take the tank for myself. And Speaker Man is not going to be expecting this. He should have never taken my girlfriend. He made me so furious. And now I'm at Speaker Man's house. So let me hop out of the driver's seat and hop in the top of the tank. And Speaker Man, I'm here. Wait a second. What in the heck? A uh, TV man, what are you doing outside my house with a tank? You made me furious, Speaker Man. I can't believe you stole my girlfriend. So you know what? I am going to explode your house using this tank. Wait, what? You're going to explode my house? Hold on, dude. Let me come downstairs so we can talk real fast, okay? I do not want any harm, bro. And TV woman, go hide fast. Wait a second. And TV woman is still with you. Oh, uh, no, no, she's not, dude. Okay, here, I'll just come downstairs real fast and, dude, okay. We can talk about this, buddy. Speaker man, there's nothing to talk about, dude. You literally stole my girlfriend. Yeah, I know, bro, but, like, accidents happen. Speaker man, it wasn't an accident. You know you did it on purpose. And you made me super furious, so you know what? I don't even care anymore. I'm exploding your house. No, 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 bro, please, no. This is what you get. <laughs> dude, why'd you do this? Because, Speaker man, you stole my girlfriend. Oh, my gosh, what happened to the house? I exploded at TV Woman because you decide that you want to be with Speaker Man instead of me. TV Man, why are you trying to ruin Speaker Man and I's relationship? Because you're supposed to be with me, TV Woman. Well, we weren't good together. That's why I broke up with you. Yeah, whatever you say, TV Woman. And you know what, Speaker Man? Take this. Hey, what the heck? Oh my gosh, TV Man, what did you just do to my boyfriend? I knocked him out, TV Woman. And I am furious. <laughs> oh my goodness, Speaker Man, are you alright? No, I'm not alright, TV Woman. And this is not the last of me. <laughs> oh, man. That felt really good, guys. I'm so glad that I was able to take out my anger on Speaker Man. I literally destroyed his house and I knocked him out. Oh, my gosh. That was so amazing. But I still have more stuff to do to him because I am very, very furious. But this is just the beginning of the stuff that I'm going to do to Speaker Man and TV Woman. Well, now that I destroyed their house and knocked him out, I think I'm just going to go back home and relax.
Max. And now I'm back in my house. So I'm just gonna go inside, sit on the couch, and think of some more stuff that I could do to Speaker Man. Because I'm still very furious at it. Wee woo, wee woo. Hello, is anyone home? Oh, wait a second. Who is at my door right now? Wait a second. Oh, uh, policeman, what are you doing inside of my house? I did not invite you inside of here. We got some complaints about this guy, Speaker Man, right here. That you literally blew up his whole entire house with a tank. Yeah, TV Man, you literally blew up my whole house with a tank. Well, you see, Mr. Policeman, this guy right next to you literally stole my girlfriend. And I am furious right now, so I got revenge on him. Well, that doesn't matter. A house is worth more than a girlfriend. So you're under arrest. Wait, what? I'm under arrest? Yep, you sure are. You're going to jail. What? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, I can't believe you. Haha, <laughs> that's what you get, TV Man. Oh my gosh, I'm even more furious now. Speaker Man, this will not be the last of me. Alright, whatever you say, buddy. Yeah, you're going to the police station. You're going to get locked up in jail. Oh my gosh, guys, I can't believe that Speaker Man literally just arrested me. He literally stole my girlfriend. That was just revenge. But now it seems like I'm just going to be in jail. Well, at least I have more time to think of what I can do to Speaker Man. Well, TV Man, let me show you to your jail cell. Alright, Mr. Police Officer. And your jail cell is right here. Now go inside and stay inside. Oh my gosh, okay, whatever. Haha, <laughs> TV Man, good luck getting out. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. When I get out, I'm going to get revenge on you. Just you wait, Speaker Man, and I'm going to ruin your relationship with TV Woman. Alright, whatever you say, buddy, good luck getting out. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, now I'm stuck inside of this jail cell. So when I get out of here, I'm going to kidnap Speaker Man. So that TV Woman won't have a boyfriend. But how can I break out of here? Huh, let me see. Can I get through this door? Nope, I can't get through the door. Well, maybe I can climb through the toilet. No, I can't climb through the toilet. Oh my gosh. Well, let's see. Is there a vent anywhere? Oh my gosh, there's a vent right up here, guys. How does the policeman not know that there's a vent? Okay, well, let me see. Maybe I can get inside of here. And oh my gosh. Guys, I'm literally inside of a vent right now. Okay, it seems like I'm actually escaping this prison. I did not think it was gonna be this easy. But oh my gosh, I'm literally too big to get inside the vent. All right, well, let me just go ahead and crawl out of here. Come on, come on. And oh my gosh, I already made it out of jail, guys. Guys, this is so perfect. Now I just need to go find Speaker Man and I'm going to kidnap him. So let's see, where would Speaker Man be, huh? Maybe he would be at his broken house that I just destroyed. So let's go to the broken house and let's see if he's there and let's kidnap him. So let's see, is Speaker Man at the house? And oh my gosh, he is. Okay, well, I need to make sure the coast is clear. Let's see, is TV Woman anywhere? And no, it doesn't seem like TV Woman's here. Okay, well, it seems like he's literally just sitting down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to him and use my TV powers to make him pass out. And then I'm going to carry him to my house and kidnap him. So let me go ahead and sneak up behind him. And let me just use my TV powers. Oh, what the heck? And perfect. It seems like he's passed out. All right, well, let me go ahead and pick him up. And now I gotta get out of here quick before TV Woman comes. And I'm back at my house. And it seems like Speaker Man is still passed out. So you know what? I'm just gonna put him on this bed and lock him in here. And there we go, guys. I have kidnapped Speaker Man. So let me go outside and let me lock the door. And perfect. Now that Speaker Man is kidnapped, TV Woman does not have a boyfriend anymore. And that's what she gets for cheating on me. Oh, where am I? Wait a second. TV Man, what are you doing? Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. I did not expect you to wake up this early. Bro, wait a second. Am I in your house? Yes, you're in my house. I kidnapped you. What, you kidnapped me? Where's TV Woman? Honestly, dude, I have no idea where she is. But now that you're kidnapped inside of here, she doesn't have a boyfriend anymore. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be here forever. Her relationship is ruined. Yup, and she's never gonna be able to find you. You're gonna be kidnapped in here forever. Knock, knock, knock. TV Man, are you home? Uh, TV Woman, what are you doing here? Well, I came to apologize, and I brought you some pizza. TV Woman, help me. I'm kidnapped. Uh, TV Man, what was that? Oh, uh, that was nothing. Well, uh, thank you so much for apologizing, and thank you for the pizza. Wait a second, did you kidnap Speaker Man? Oh, uh, what? No, I didn't. Yes, he did. Help me, TV Woman. What? I can't believe you kidnapped Speaker Man. TV Woman will lock the door so I can get out of here. There you go, Speaker Man. Now, come on, let's go. Yeah, and see it, TV Man. We aren't friends anymore. And I'm not apologizing to you. I'm keeping my pizza. Oh, uh, whatever. I'm still so furious at Speaker Man, and I'm gonna get revenge. Oh, good morning, world. Today is gonna be such an amazing day. And the first thing I'm gonna do is head downstairs to play with my friends. But wait a second. Who in the heck is calling me? Uh, hello, who's this? Oh, hey, Speaker Man. It's Camera Woman. Uh, Camera Woman? Why are you calling me? Uh, I was just wondering if you can come over. I don't feel very well. Oh, you don't feel well? Uh, well, where's Camera Man? Uh, he's not home, and I'm scared to tell him. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll be right over. Okay, thank you. Yep, I'll be right there. Why is she randomly sick? Uh, okay. Well, I guess I'll figure out once I get to her house. And I'm at her house. Uh, hello, Camera Woman. Are you home? Yeah! Uh, okay. Seems like she's home. I'm just gonna come inside. Uh, camera woman, where are you? Uh, speaker man, I'm in the bathroom. Blech. The bathroom? Uh, where even is the bathroom? It's downstairs. What is downstairs? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Camera woman, why are you sick? I don't know. My stomach just really hurts. Oh my gosh. Do we need to go to the hospital or something? Yeah, I think I do. Oh man. Uh, all right. Well, I guess I'll carry you there. Okay. Thanks a lot, speaker man. Yeah, no problem. Okay, we're at the hospital. And hey, Mr. Doctor, this is camera woman right here. She's been throwing up a lot and uh, we 
we do not know what's wrong with her. All right, come ahead and follow me. Okay, doctor. And camera woman, we're going to figure out what's wrong with you. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to need to run some tests on her, so let me check this. Okay, that seems all right. Okay, let me check this. All right, and now let me listen to her heartbeat. Hold on. And her heartbeat is sounding fine, so that's good. And you said she was throwing up, right? Yeah, she was throwing up a lot. All right, well, let me go ahead and listen to her stomach, and let me see if I can hear anything, huh? Okay. Well, I'm not hearing anything over here, so let me look right here, and I'm not hearing anything, and wait a second. Oh, what is it, doctor? Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Oh, my gosh. I hear a heartbeat inside a camera woman's stomach. Wait, what? Camera woman, you swallowed a heart? What? Did I? No, she didn't swallow a heart. I think she's pregnant. Huh? You're pregnant? What? No, no, no. This can't be true. Well, camera woman, it is true, and you're gonna be having a baby in about two hours. Wait, what the heck? Two hours? Yep, that's correct. Oh, no, I gotta tell cameraman about this. Yeah, call him fast. All right, I will. Uh, hello there, cameraman. Uh, hey there, speaker man. What's up? I'm at work right now. Uh, dude, your wife is literally pregnant. She's gonna give birth in two hours, and you don't even have baby supplies yet. Wait a second. Camera woman's pregnant? Yes, dude. She's literally pregnant right now in the hospital. How did I not know about this? Oh, my gosh. Well, we gotta do something about this. We gotta prepare for this baby. Yeah, we sure do, bro. Well, where are you guys right now? We're at the hospital right now, bro. All right, well, let me call off work real quick, and I'll be right over. All right, I'll see you soon. And guys, I cannot believe that camera woman is pregnant. And we only have two hours before the baby is born, so we're gonna have to shop for supplies for the baby fast. And hopefully we get all the supplies in time, because if we don't, that would be super duper bad. Speaker man, I'm here now. Quick, we have to go. Yeah, dude, we gotta go fast. Well, speaker man, I don't know what to get for a baby. I've literally never had a baby before in my life, so uh, what do we get for it? Dude, honestly, I don't really know. Well, I'm pretty sure babies wear clothes, so maybe first we can get some clothes, and after that we can get some food for the baby. All right, speaker man, that sounds like a good idea. We do not have much time, so we gotta hurry this up. Yeah, we sure do, dude. So let's head to the clothing store, and then we can shop for some clothes for your new baby. Hey, you guys. Welcome to Rockstar. How may I help you? Uh, hey there, lady. I'm looking for some baby clothes. Do you have any by chance? Uh, baby clothes? Yeah, they'll be right over here. All right, wait a second. Is it the girl section? Oh, uh, cameraman. Do you know if you're having a boy or a girl? Uh, I don't know, speaker man. You're the one that was in the hospital. Did they not tell you? No, they didn't, bro. Oh my gosh. Well, we don't even know if it's gonna be a boy or a girl now. Well, you know what, cameraman? I think we're gonna have to try on some clothes for the girl section and the boy section to find out what the best clothing is for your baby. Wait a second, speaker man. Do you wanna try it on? Yeah, dude, we're gonna have to try it to see if it's comfortable. Oh my gosh, speaker man. I'm gonna look ridiculous, but you know what? Whatever. Let's just do it. All right, well, here, let's try on the first pair of clothes and hopefully this is good. And here is our first pair of clothes in a way. What the heck are you wearing? Dude, what are you wearing? You're wearing mermaids. Bro, what the heck? I'm wearing mermaids? This literally looks so ridiculous on me. Yeah, look at me. This looks ridiculous on me also, bro. I do not think my baby's gonna like to wear this. This looks so silly. Yeah, it sure does. Well, how about this mermaid thing? Do you think your baby would like to wear this? No, dude. Oh, all right. Well, here. Let's try on some more clothes. And hopefully, these pairs of clothes are actually good. And here's the next pair of clothes. And, bro, look at me. Do you think your child would wear this? Heck no, dude. It's literally rainbow. And look at me. I'm literally wearing, like, some pink shirt. Oh, my gosh. This looks so bad. Wow, boys. You look great. I thought you were getting it for your baby, though. Yes, we're getting it for my baby. But uh, we have to try it on first to see if the baby would like it. Uh, okay, that's a little strange. Oh, well, cameraman, I think it's time to buy one of these pairs of clothes. So, which one should we buy? Honestly, speaker, man, let's just buy mine. I don't want to shop for any more clothes. And if it's a boy, then he's just gonna have to deal with wearing pink. Alright, cameraman, that is a good idea. So, let's go up to the counter and let's buy these clothes. Uh, hello there, lady. Can we please buy these pink clothes? Yes, of course you can. Alright, and how much will they be? They will be about 60 bucks. Dang, 60 bucks? What? 60 dollars for baby clothes? Are you serious? Uh, yeah, I'm serious. Babies need clothes, too. Oh, man. Well, cameraman, good thing you're paying. I mean, it's my baby speaker, man, so I kind of have to pay. Oh, my gosh. This baby's going to be so expensive. Well, thank you so much, and congrats on your baby. You too. Wait a second. You too. Uh, no, I meant to say thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Well, cameraman, that's not the only shopping we have to do. Because I still think we need to get some baby food and something after that, but I'm not sure what we have to do after that. Yeah, me too, but we only have one hour left, so uh, we should probably get going. Yeah, let's go to the store right now. Hey, cameraman, now we're at the grocery store. Yep, and while we're here, we have to shop for a few things. We need to get milk, bottles, and... And pizza. Pizza? What? Your baby's gonna eat pizza? No, he's not gonna eat pizza, speaker man. I'm just a little bit hungry, so come on. Bro, all right. And uh, hey there, little Timmy. Oh, hey, Dale Bros. What are you guys doing at the grocery store today? Well, dude, cameraman is having a baby, so we're gonna have to shop for some food for him. Oh, okay. Do you need some help? Uh, yeah, I actually might need some help, Timmy. All right, bro. I was a baby once, so I can.
can really help you. All right, thanks a lot, little Timmy. Well, dude, what do we have to get first? Well, first, you obviously have to get some milk. Because every single baby needs milk because milk is so delicious. All right, little Timmy. Yeah, I knew that babies needed milk, but that's basically all I know. Well, guys, what do we need next? Well, your baby needs to be able to drink the milk. So you are going to have to get us some baby bottles. Some baby bottles? All right. Well, little Timmy, where would those be located? Uh, they're literally right here, Speaker Man. Stop playing dumb. Oh, okay. Silly me. All right. Well, I'll get some bottles also. And is there any, like, baby food that we could give him? Or is there literally only Doritos and pizza inside of here? Uh, well, I don't actually think we have baby food inside of here, but, um... Basically, all the baby needs is to just drink milk. Because the only thing that babies ask for is, ma, ma, mommy, I want milk. So, yeah, all you really need is milk. Yeah, that's true. Well, Kimber Man, you still want that pizza? Yeah, let's still get that pizza. I'm pretty hungry. All right, yeah, good idea. Well, little Timmy, I think that's all we need for right now. Well, Kimber Man, we have to do one more thing after this. Okay, what do we have to do, Speaker Man? All I know is that we're missing something, and honestly, I don't really know what it is. Well, what have you guys gotten from the store today? Well, first, we got baby clothes for the baby, and now we're getting the food and stuff. Oh, okay, so you only got baby clothes and food. So that means that you still have to get the baby diapers, and you also have to get the baby a crib. Because the baby is not allowed to sleep in a regular bed. Oh, all right, little Timmy. So you hear that, cameraman? We need diapers and a crib for the baby. All right, speaker man, remember that. And Timmy, how much is this food going to cost? Well, it's going to cost you about $100. What the heck? Uh, Timmy, why is that so expensive? Because babies are expensive, bro. I'm uh, sorry, but I can't really change the prices on anything. Uh, okay, whatever. This baby is literally going to make me go bro. All right, thank you so much. And remember, you have to go get diapers and a crib, so you should probably go do that. Yeah, and by the way, cameraman, I think we only have like 30 minutes left, dude. So we have to get our stuff and then head to the hospital fast. Yeah. The baby's going to get birth. Yeah, bro, the time is ticking. We got to go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Thanks a lot, little Timmy. Yep, no problem. Well, cameraman, do you know where we can find diapers in a crib? Honestly, dude, I have no idea, but let me just check my phone, and maybe there's a diaper place around here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Check it. All right, let me search this up, and okay, it seems like there is a diaper place around Wait, here. Wait, really? Oh, where is it? Well, it doesn't give me an address. It just says behind Starbrook's Coffee. So that is very, very suspicious. Behind Starbrook's Coffee? Yeah, okay, dude, that is super duper suspicious. That must mean that someone's selling diapers in the alleyway right behind here. Yeah, well, that's apparently the only place that we can buy diapers. So I think we actually might just have to go behind there, Speaker Man. Oh, man, all right. Well, hopefully we don't get robbed or anything. Yeah, hopefully we don't. And if we get robbed, then you can just use your speaker powers on them. Yeah, I sure can. So let's just walk behind here and, oh my gosh, who the heck is this? Uh, hello there, sir. Could you please move out of the way? I think we have to go down here to find some diapers. Oh, hello there. I'm the one that's selling the diapers. Wait a second. You're selling the diapers? Yep, I sure am. Oh, well, uh, actually, I don't want to buy any diapers. I'm sorry. Uh, I have to go. Speaker Man, let's get out of here. Yeah, dude, let, let's get out of here. Hey, wait a second. Where are you guys going? Oh, uh, we gotta go home because, uh, he has to poop himself. What? No, I don't have to poop myself, Speaker Man. Should be quiet. This is our way out. Oh, yeah, okay, Speaker Man. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Oh, well, mister, I actually just really have to poop, so, uh, we gotta go. Sorry, bye. Hey, wait a second. Where are you going? If you need to poop so bad, you can take one of my diapers and poop inside of it. Uh, okay, you are really, really weird, dude. That is disgusting. Come on, dude. Buy the diapers already. Oh, my gosh, cameraman. Honestly, dude, I think you just gotta buy them so he leaves us alone. All right, Speaker Man. Yeah, uh, let me just do that. Uh, okay, okay. I'll buy the diapers if you just leave me alone, okay? All righty. Well, here are the diapers, and it's going to be about $20. $20 <laughs> for some diapers? Uh, okay, mister. Please just take my money. All right. Thank you so much. Yep, uh, no problem. Oh, my gosh. That guy was super duper creepy. Yeah, he sure was, dude. He really wanted to sell you those diapers. Well, cameraman, now it's time to go buy the crib for your baby butt, too. We literally have like 10 more minutes before your baby's born, so we got to do that fast. Yeah, bro. So let's go find a crib store. Yeah, let's go. And cameraman, look, there's literally cribs right here, so I think they may be for sale. Yeah, okay, uh, let's go talk to this old lady. Uh, hi there, old lady. Can we buy a crib? Oh, hello, young man. Yes, you can buy a crib. All right, perfect. Well, old lady, we literally have like 10 more minutes left because my baby is about to be born. Oh, congratulations. Thank you so much, but we really need a crib. Okay, well, we have two options. A pink or a blue. Oh, no, don't do this to me again. What's the gender of your sweet baby? That's the thing, old lady, I don't know. So you're really making this decision hard. And they were literally doing this at the clothing store also. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, Speaker Man, do we pick blue or pink? Well, dude, we got pink clothes for your baby, so maybe you should get a blue crib. Well, Speaker Man, we have to make it match, dude. If we're already getting pink clothes, then we have to get a pink crib. And you know what? If it's not a girl, then uh, we can't really do anything about it. Yeah, we sure can't, bro. Well, I guess you're gonna have to get a pink crib. All right, that is a perfect choice. This crib will be $700. $700? What the heck? Yes, and for an extra $200, you can get same day delivery. Same day delivery? Are you serious? I need this crib right now. Okay, well, I guess you're gonna have to pay the whole toll. Oh my gosh, I have to pay $900? Dude, I cannot believe it. This baby is literally so expensive. And we literally have like five minutes until it's born. Yeah, dude, so you might as well just buy it right now. All right, well, uh, here you go. This is literally the rest of my money, lady. All right, thank you, boys. Have a great day. Yeah, you too, and speaker, man. The baby is about to be born. We gotta get to the hospital fast.
fast. Yeah, we sure do, dude. Let's go. Hey, bro, we're at the hospital. We gotta go inside fast. Your wife is literally getting purse. I cannot wait to see my baby. And oh my gosh, you look. Wah, wah. Oh, he's so cute. But wait a second. It's a boy. Oh my gosh. Dude, I cannot believe it. We literally bought all girl stuff. Here's our new baby cameraman. And we're gonna have such a good life. Yeah, I don't know about that one, camera woman. We are literally broke. Wait, what? We're literally broke? Why are we broke? Because I literally spent like $3,000 on this baby. $3,000? Yeah, camera woman, $3,000. All the prices got inflated, so cameraman had to spend that much money. Oh, no, I can't believe that. Okay, speaker man, why'd you bring me here? Well, TV man, I need your help. I don't know what I'm gonna do. My crazy fan girl said that she's gonna kidnap me if I don't go on a date with her. No matter what you do, do not go on that date with her. She just wants you to love her. You know what? Now that I think about it, she's probably gonna kidnap me regardless. So I'm not even gonna go on that date with her. Yeah, bro, you're just being silly. Well, TV man, thanks for the help, and it's getting pretty late, so I'm just gonna head back home, bro. Thanks a lot. All right, yeah, no problem, but remember, do not go on that date, speaker man. Okay, I will not go on the date with her. Uh, and guys, honestly, it's super duper late out, so I'm just gonna get ready for bed. So here, let me brush my teeth real fast. And that was my bedtime routine. Well, now it's time to head to bed. And everyone, have a good night's sleep. Hello, is anyone home? Oh my gosh, are you serious? I literally just got into bed. Who could be waking me up at this hour? Hello, who is it? Oh, hello there, speaker man. Uh, I have a message to deliver you. Oh, hey there, mailman Skippy Toilet. Uh, yeah, what's the message? Well, it says it's from your crazy fangirl. What? Are you serious? My crazy fangirl? What could she have sent? Well, it says from your crazy fangirl. If you don't go on the date, you will regret it. And make sure to dress nice, Pookie Bear. What? Are you serious? She said I'll regret not going on a date with her. Oh my gosh. What could that mean? Oh no, hopefully she doesn't kidnap me. Well, that's what she said. Do you want to take the note or something? Oh, uh, nah, you can keep the note, dude. What? Okay, well, it's literally your mail. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna leave now. Have a good night. Yep, you too. See ya. And guys, I cannot believe that just happened. She literally told me to go on a date with her or else. Oh, man. Well, I'm gonna have to deal with that later, but for now, I'm just gonna head to bed. Good night, guys. Oh, who can be calling me? Are you serious? Hello, you just woke me up. Hey, speaker man, I'm just calling to remind you that we have a dinner date tonight. Uh, who is this? Uh, it's your crazy fangirl. What? Are you serious? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remembered that. And if you don't go bad, stuff is gonna happen to you. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks a lot, crazy fangirl. See ya. Guys, I cannot believe that just happened. My crazy fangirl just called me and woke me up from my sleep. And she said we have a dinner tonight, and if I don't go to the dinner, I'm literally gonna regret it. Okay. Well, guys, what I think I'm gonna have to do is prepare for the dinner. So let me call my friend TV Man. Now, hey, TV Man, I need your help, buddy. Uh, all right, dude. What's going on? Well, TV Man, my crazy fangirl sent me a message last night, and she called me today. And she literally said if I don't go on a date with her, something bad's gonna happen to me. Oh, uh, Speaker Man, I already told you nothing bad is going to happen to you if you go on a date. She's literally gonna kidnap you regardless. Now, please listen to me and don't be silly. Bro, she literally sent mail to my house that said if I don't go on this date, bad stuff is gonna happen to me. So, dude, I have to go on this date. Oh my gosh, well, if you have to go on the date, then you should be prepared. We're gonna have to get you a nice suit, and we also have to get you a weapon. Now, I'll be at your house any second now. Oh, all right, TV Man, I'll see you soon. Well, I'm already here. Let me in. Wait, what the heck, TV Man? Man, how do you get here so fast? Okay. Well, TV man, are you ready to get this stuff? Yeah, bro, I'm ready. How many hours do you have? Oh, I don't know. I think I only have like two more hours. Yeah, you slept in really late. Well, here, get in my car. Let's go to the suit shop. All right, TV man, let's do this thing. And we're here. Now it's time to get you a nice tuxedo. Yeah, it sure is. What color should I even pick out? Well, you're already wearing red, so maybe you should try a different color, like black or something, just like mine. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, hey there, lady. I would like to buy a tuxedo because I have a date later today. Okay, the tuxedos would be right over here. Oh, all right. Right, thanks a lot, Miss Lady. So, Speaker Man, go ahead and try some on. Let me write that. All right, TV Man. And here is my first suit, and it is super duper gold. Yeah, I don't know if that suit fits you. I'm gonna give it about a four out of ten. Hey, Lady, what do you give his suit? Well, that is one of our most expensive suits that you have on. Yeah, I can tell it's fully gold. Yep, that suit will run you about sixty thousand. What the heck, sixty thousand dollars? Yeah, we did not have sixty thousand dollars to spend on a suit. Definitely go put that one back. All right, yeah, I will. Well, let's pick out another suit. And here is my next suit. And you, what even is this? Dude, what are you even wearing? You look like an abstract painting. Yeah, I know. This is weird. Hey, lady, what is this tuxedo? Oh, this is our Bucci and Chewy Japan collab. What? No way. Bucci and Chewy Japan? Oh, my gosh. This has to be so expensive. I don't know what fashion designers are putting into these tuxedos to make it so expensive. But they look absolutely crazy. Yeah, 
they sure do. Who would even be wearing this? Well, all the ladies love it. Well, do you think a crazy fangirl would love it? Yep, she would. All right, well, we're still not getting it. Go put it back. What? Are you serious? Okay. Well, let me put on another tuxedo. And hopefully, this is the one. And here is my third suit. And whoa, this actually looks super duper nice. Yeah, that does look pretty nice. Well, I told you not to go with the red suit, but you know what? It actually looks pretty good. I think you should do this one. Hey, lady, what do you think of this suit? Oh, well, uh, it doesn't seem like she's here. She probably like went into the back or something. Yeah, she probably did. Oh, hey there, sneaker man. That suit looks really good on you. Oh, uh, hey there, crazy fangirl. Thanks a lot. Hey, crazy fangirl, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to get ready for your date? Well, I came here to buy myself a dress. Oh, okay. Well, uh, Speaker Man just got his tuxedo, so we're probably gonna go now. Yeah, we are. I'll see ya. All right, I'll see you at our dinner date. I'm so excited. Yeah, uh, he'll see you at the dinner date. Haha, -ha, bye. Okay, TV Man, that was super duper creepy. She literally just spawned there. Well, let's head to the weapon store now so I can get a weapon. And now we're at the weapon store. Come on, let's get yourself a weapon. Yeah, let's do this in, uh, where even is the store? Well, we have to go to the courtroom, actually, because we have to get it licensed to you. So, hello there, Mr. Judge. Can we get a weapon? Oh, hello there. Okay, yes, you can get a weapon. Well, what I need you to do is sign this paper with your name. And then when you do that, I can give you your weapon. Oh, all right. Thanks a lot, old man. Well, here, let me sign real fast, and there I go. All righty. Thank you so much. And now, which weapon would you like? Would you like the plunger? Would you like the mop? Or would you like a gun? Uh, TV man, which one should I choose? Well, speaker man, you know how crazy your crazy fangirl is, so I think you're gonna actually have to choose that gun, bro. What? Are you serious? Okay, uh, mister, I would like to choose a gun, please. All righty, here you go. All right, thanks a lot, Mr. Old Man. And TV Man, I now have a gun. Yeah, but you're not allowed to use that gun. That is only supposed to be for protection. Now, go ahead and put it away. Thanks. Thank you so much, Mr. Judge. Yep, no problem. Well, Speaker Man, we have to get back to the car because your dinner date should be starting any time now. Yeah, it sure is. Well, now that you have your tuxedo and weapon, where are you going to take her on a date? Oh, well, I was kind of thinking Brooks Diner. Brooks Diner? Are you serious? That's literally like the cheapest restaurant you could ever go to. Well, yeah, I know. What the food is so delicious there. Yeah, I guess it is. Well, uh, hopefully the crazy fangirl likes it. Yeah, hopefully she does. I don't want her doing anything bad to me. Yeah, well, I'm gonna go ahead and take you back to your house because I think your date is starting any second now. Oh, yeah, it sure is. And you're looking very good, speaker man. You got this. Just make sure that she doesn't do any bad things to you. And also, make sure to drive to her house and pick her up. Oh, Alright, thanks a lot, TV man. Now, call me if you need anything, buddy. Good luck. And guys, now it is time for my date. So, as TV man said, I'm gonna have to drive to her house and pick her up. So, here, let me go with my car real fast. And guys, now it's time to go pick up my crazy fangirl. And now I'm here. Hello, crazy fangirl. Are you ready for our date? Speaker man, yes, I'm so ready. Now go ahead and hop my car and it's time to go on our date. Yay, I'm so excited. Well, yeah. speaker man, where are we gonna eat? Oh, you'll see, trust me. And now we're at Brooks Diner. Oh, Brooks Diner? You couldn't get anywhere nicer. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. That's the only thing I could afford and I like Brooks Diner. Well, let's go sit over here and I think the man's gonna serve us. Oh, we're sitting in a booth, really? Oh, uh, yeah, would you rather sit on the ground? Uh, no, it's fine, I guess. But this booth is so uncomfortable and it smells like farts in here. Well, I'm sorry. I can't really do anything about that. Oh, hello, guys. Welcome to Brooks Diner. What would you guys like to eat? Uh, what do you guys even have? Well, we have tacos and burritos. Well, do you have calamari? What, do we have calamari? Uh, no. This is Brooks Diner. This is not a five-star restaurant. What about a beef wellington? A beef wellington? Do we look like Gordon Ramsay here or something? Do you know where you are right now? You're literally at the Brooks Diner. Yeah, crazy fangirl. This is not the top-of-the-line restaurant. They don't serve all that expensive. Stuff. Yeah, this place smells like farts in here. They don't even have any beef wellington. Okay, you know what? I guess you don't want anything to eat. Sir, what would you like to eat? Oh, uh, well, can I get a burrito? Yep, sure thing. And do you even want anything, Miss Little Lady? Fine, I'll guess I'll take a taco. Alrighty, well, I'll get those food for you in a second. Alright, thanks a lot. Speaker Man, why'd you bring me here? This place is literally so poor. Well, because I'm kind of poor and this is the only thing I can afford. Uh, I guess it's okay, Speaker Man, but don't bring me here ever again. Okay, okay. Honestly, I guess I just won't bring you on a date in general because you're super duper annoying. You're trash talking everything. What? Did you just say you won't take me on another date? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, yeah, because you're pretty annoying. Well, guess what? If you don't take me on a date, I'm gonna kidnap you. What? You're gonna kidnap me? Okay, okay. I guess we can go on another date, maybe. But I'm gonna have to take you here again next time because I'm super duper poor. No, no, no. I told you I'm never going here again. You gotta take me somewhere else. All right, lady. Please sit down. Your food is here. Uh, I guess I'll see if the food is good here at least. Well, guys, here is your burrito and here is your taco. Finally. I'm so hungry. But only one plate. Why do we have to share off of one plate? Well, because I still have to do the dishes. Now, be grateful. Yeah, and stop complaining. Ugh, this tastes disgusting. 
disgusting. Hey, what you put in this? Whoa, whoa, lady, calm down. Those are our world-famous tacos. Crazy fangirl, stop it. This food tastes like dog food. No human can eat this. Hey, lady, like I said, this isn't a five-star restaurant. Yeah, stop complaining so much. Hey, man, I can't believe you brought me here. Now you're going back to my house. What, what, what? Okay, okay. Put the gun down. No, I'm kidnapping you. Now get in the car. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Well, I have a gun too, just so you know. I don't care about the gun. Get in your car. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now you're coming home with me. Oh, okay, crazy fangirl. I thought you said if I went on a date with you, you wouldn't kidnap me. Well, that date was horrible, so you deserve to be kidnapped. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, speaker man, let's watch TV. Oh, uh, okay, crazy fangirl. Hey, you better sit next to me. Okay, okay. Well, wait a second. I kind of have to take a big doo-doo, so uh, here, excuse me. You better be quick. Oh, my gosh, guys. I gotta call TV man fast. I need him to save me. Uh, hello, TV man, buddy. I need your help, please. Uh, yeah, dude. What's up? She literally kidnapped me. Can you come here and save me? What? She kidnapped you? I told you she was gonna kidnap you regardless. Yeah, I know, bro, but please come to our house and save me. Oh, my gosh, dude. Okay, I'll be there in a few seconds. Just uh, get ready. Be at the front door or something. Okay, I'll be right there. Hey, guys, I have to get out of here fast. Uh, hey, crazy fangirl. I just gotta stretch real fast. I'll be right there. Uh, okay, but be quick. Okay, crazy fangirl. Hey, come on, TV man. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, speaker man, are you done your stretching? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll be done in a second. Come on, I need to get out of here. Speaker man, don't worry, I'm here. Oh, perfect. I'll see you, crazy fangirl. Hey, get back here. Hey, crazy fangirl, get away from speaker man. Oh my gosh, you have a gun. Yeah, I have a gun. Now never try to kidnap my friend ever again. Now, good night, crazy fangirl. What? I can't believe you say speaker man. Yeah, I never try to kidnap Speaker Man ever again. Speaker Man, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay, TV Man. Why didn't you use your gun, bro? Well, I pulled it out, but she wasn't afraid at all. Oh my gosh, your fangirl is so crazy.